modify the name of the fruit. All members of the Hundred Beasts are Phantom Beasts author, Life as Day, Chapter 101. On the sea, the Black Wings were sailing towards the capital of Seven Waters, and they had been leaving the Empty Island for a few days. Nami had already calculated how many Baileys she had received on the trip to the Empty Island. My lord, if you exchange all the gold and treasure for Bailey, there will be 909 billion Baileys. When Nami said this number, her lips were trembling. Too much. Too much to be afraid. She had never seen so many Baileys. Before the dragon occupied the village of Kokosa, it was only when she collected 100 million Baileys. This time, Suyu easily obtained nearly 100 billion Baileys. When the pirates heard this number, their eyes widened and they couldn't help but exhale. What? 100 billion Bailey. This number can buy dozens of heads of Kaido boss. One of the pirates couldn't help but say, What are you talking about? Do you want to be thrown into the sea to feed the Neptune? The pirate next to him shouted, I didn't mean it, I was excited for a while, I said the wrong thing, I should be able to buy dozens of white beards. That's pretty much it. The head of the white beard was already the most valuable one in the sea, and Lord Suyu had obtained dozens of white beard heads at a time. Hundred billion Bailey, this is the first time I've seen so much money. I'm afraid even Boss Kaido doesn't have so much money. Suyu's face was calm, not as shocked and excited as the other pirates. Bailey was a number to him. He values powerful combat power more than hundreds of billions of Baileys. Bring up the boy Aniru. So you said to Batman. Understood, sir. In Blackwing's cell, Aniru is fighting with Smoker Smog. God, do you still dare to claim to be a god? Will God be caught and thrown into prison? Smog sneered. Damned fellow, when I escape, I will definitely kill you, and I dare to insult God. Aniru gritted his teeth. Oh, what kind of small place did you guy come from? So ignorant. You laugh at me? Aren't you being held too? We are not the same. The Navy will definitely save me. What is the Navy? You don't even know about the Navy? Smog looked at Aniru wordlessly. Why did he argue with the Sky Aniru? This guy doesn't know anything. When I first came in, I was still shouting that my divine power was gone. After Smog's inquiry, it was learned that Aniru actually possessed the power of thunder, and that it was most likely the strongest natural thunder fruit ability in the legend. The capture of Aniru also surprised Smog. Unexpectedly, so you could even catch the ability to ring the thunder fruit. Their strength is terrible. Listening to what Aniru said, it was not Suyu himself who defeated him. Boom. The cell's door opened and Batman walked in. Let me go. Aniru shouted. Let's go. The grown-ups want to see you. Batman said to Aniru. Who are you adults? Untie it for me. You'll know when you see the grown-ups. Batman looked deeply at Aniru. Hey, where have you imprisoned Hinata? I want to see Hinata. Smog shouted. Oh. You'll be able to see Hinata later. Batman sneered. When Smog saw that Hinata had joined the pirates, he would definitely drop his jaw. Smog was relieved to learn that Hinata was not dead. These days he was imprisoned on the Black Wing, and he didn't see Hinata in prison, and his heart was vaguely uneasy. Where can Hinai be held without being held in prison? The biggest possibility is that it has been killed. There was another possibility. He did not dare to think about it. He also did not want to believe that Hinata would betray the Navy. Aniru is taken to the deck by Batman, and after seeing Yamato, Aniru wants to fight Yamato again. Hey. Let's play one more time. I'm sure I won't lose to you again. Aniru shouted. Yamato wrapped his arms around him and looked at Aniru faintly. Is it up to you? Green tendons appeared on Aniru's forehead. He wanted to refute it, but as soon as he thought of Yamato's wolf's tooth stick that day, he stopped again, not daring to be arrogant. Aniru, join us. Suyu held out his hand. The thunder fruit is very strong, and without modifying the fruit ability, Aniru can also become a strong figure. If Aniru is unwilling to obey him, modify Aniru's demonic fruit ability. Why should I join you? Aniru said calmly, after seeing Yamato's strength. He was curious about Suyu. How strong is Suyu to make someone so strong as Yamato become his subordinate? Aniru didn't want to be someone else's man, but he didn't want to die either. The empty island is too small, even if you rule that place, what is the use? Suyu got up, stood at the bow of the ship, and spread his hands. This world is very big. There are many strong people in the sea, and your strength is not yet the top, and there are many people who can beat you. Instead of curling up on a small empty island and calling yourself a god, let me conquer the world. Witness the loneliness of those who are strong. Aniru's eyes changed, and finally, he said in a deep voice, how strong you are, I want to see your strength. Ha ha ha. Then I'll show you how strong I am. So you slowly drew his sword, and Fenra, the tooth of the demon wolf, came out of its sheath. The pitch black blade glowed viciously in the sunlight. A knife flow. Fall on the king. Suyu's self-created sword move. The meaning is that a knife can even cut the king. This king. More than just one piece. And the king who sits on the supreme throne of Pan Ancient City. Huge flying slashes rush out. The sea tumbled, and on the side of the black wing, the sea surface broke, revealing the sediment on the seabed. A sea king was very unlucky to be cut in two by a knife, and the huge body was easily cut off under this move. Just like Tofu, Lord Suyu is getting stronger again. This knife is more powerful than the one in the terrifying three tricks sailing ship. 
adult talent are unimaginable, if I can have one tenth of an adult, oh no, it is one percent of the talent, I can definitely become a strong man. One percent of the talent of an adult is not simple, and he can definitely become a carder of the Hundred Beasts Regiment. The pirates were amazed, and their admiration for Suyu deepened a little. Aniru opened his mouth wide and looked blankly at the disconnected sea. Is this still the power that man can have? Aniru had some doubts about whether Suyu was a human being or not. Could it be that Suyu is the god? This knife directly plunged Aniru into a deep self-doubt. He had a premonition that he couldn't stop this knife. The woman who defeated him had mastered the method of attacking him, and Suyu, as the number one person on the ship, must have mastered that power as well. I join you, Aniru said. Very well. Batman, uncuff his hands. Suyu nodded satisfactorily. After uncuffing Hayalashi, Aniru regained his thunder ability and couldn't help but laugh. How many of your strengths are you on this ship? Aniru asked Yamato. Third, above her were Yoma and Suyu. Runiyuan and Hinata's strength is not as good as hers. Third, Aniru frowned. The person who could defeat him was the third? He also thought Yamato was the number two man on the ship. It was only one point worse than Suyu. I didn't expect to be third. Isn't his strength the fourth only on the ship? Suddenly, a hand rested on Aniru's shoulder. His body tightened, and he found that the owner of that hand was Suyu. What are you going to do? Nothing. You wait quietly for a few minutes. Suyu said lightly. Aniru endured the discomfort in his heart and waited quietly. Suyu communicated the system in his mind. System, modify Aniru's demon fruit ability. That's right. He wants to modify Aniru's demon fruit ability. He saw an eye for Aniru's careful thoughts. Not surprisingly, Aniru would sneak away at night when no one was there. At the speed of Aniru, it would be difficult to catch him if he sneaked away when no one was there. Since Aniru is not truly surrendering, modify Aniru's demon fruit ability. Ding the host chooses to modify Aniru's thunder fruit ability. Please do not take the host's hand away from Aniru's shoulder. Name, Annie Road. Abilities, thunder fruit, sea and smell domineering, top, talents, armed color domineering talent, advanced, seeing and hearing color domineering talent beyond level. The talent is really serious. So you couldn't help but say in his heart. Seeing that the domineering talent of the color has surpassed the level, the armed color is actually only advanced. Aniru's heart net can envelop the entire empty island, although there is a reason for the increase of the thunder fruit, and there is also a reason why Aniru is super talented. A few minutes later, Aniru suddenly turned white and fell to the ground. Ding congratulations to the host for successfully modifying the ability of the Aniru fruit. The Anilu natural ringing thunder fruit was modified to animal dragon fruit. Esper species green dragon beast form. Green dragon? Isn't that Kaido's demon fruit ability? The system will not rob Kaido of his demon fruit ability and give it to Aniru. Wrong. So you noticed that the green dragon mentioned by the system also had a beast word on the back. At this moment, he suddenly realized that it was not the green dragon form, but the green dragon beast form. One of the four sacred beasts in Digimon, it can unleash thunder that shocks the world, claiming that its power can rival the gods. This demon fruit is a good match for Aniru and it is the result of the evolution of the ability of the thunder fruit. Suyu nodded darkly. The thunder of the thunder fruit does not work on the rubber of the Nika fruit, so can the thunder of the green dragon beast hurt the rubber of the Nika fruit? Suyu was looking forward to the day when Aniru and Luffy would fight. Name, Annie Road. Loyalty, 100%. Abilities, Animal Dragon Fruit, Esper Species Green Dragon Beast Form, Seeing and Smelling Domineering, Top, Talents, Armed Color Domineering Talent, Top, Seeing and Hearing Color Domineering Talent, Beyond Level, Overlord color domineering, beyond level, the green dragon beast is the most divine of the dragon digital beasts, thus allowing Aniru to have the overlord color domineering spirit system, extract Aniru's transcendent and domineering talent. So you said in his heart, ding the host chose to extract Aniru's transcendent and domineering talent. Extraction successful. So you seeing and smelling color became even more powerful, and as long as he absorbed the transcendental and domineering talent again, his seeing and hearing talent could transform into an external level. Chapter 102 Prepare a room for Aniru, and he will be our companion from now on, Suyu said to the other pirates. The pirates immediately prepared a room for Aniru. Robin walked over to Suyu's side and asked in a low voice, You're on the empty island, see me parsing the main text of history. See, Robin was suspicious, and sure enough, Suyu had already found that she had analyzed the historical text. Don't you want to know what the historical text is? Robin asked. Fishman Island, Emperor Poseidon, Suyu said slowly. Robin looked at Suyu in disbelief. How did he know what was in the main text of history? Could it be that Suyu could also understand the main text of history? Never heard of it. Suyu waved his hand. As I said, I am not interested in the main text of history. Poseidon is one of the three weapons, don't you want to get it? Judging from the fact that Suyu subdued Anilu, Suyu was very enthusiastic about powerful forces. How could he let the Sea King Poseidon go? Aquaman I will go to take it. This matter is not urgent. You don't say it. No one knows the news that Poseidon the Sea King has been born. Suyu looked at Robin. Robin understood this look. Suyu certainly could not tolerate betrayal, 
and once she said it, the consequences were very serious. I've never thought of saying it, so don't worry. Robin smiled. There are so many strong people on Suyu's ship, the potential is endless, and it is much better to follow Suyu than to follow others. Robin is also a smart guy. Naturally, he would not choose to betray Suyu. The capital of Seven Waters, Spandam, who was resting, received orders from his superiors. Then all the CP9 team members were gathered. Rob Lussi, Kaku, Gabra, Khalifa, Owl, Snuggle, Bruno, and others. Something's going on. Rob Lucy asked. The Sea Thief's Void Wing is approaching the Seven Waters capital, and our superiors have ordered us to cooperate with the CP0 operation to capture the Void Wing. Spandam said. Capture the wings of nothingness? That Sea Thief with a bounty of two billion? What a joke. Khalifa immediately stood up and shouted very excited. They have fought with pirates with a bounty of 50 million, and the other side is already very powerful. The bounty is 2 billion, what a concept of the sea thief. A sea thief of that rank, even the navy, would find it very tricky. Khalifa, we're CP9, Luke whispered. Yes, Luke is right, we are CP9, and the navy can't catch the wings of nothingness, just because we can't. Spandam smiled darkly. He took out two demon fruits. These two demon fruits, just give them to you, you can enhance your strength and it is convenient to complete the next task. Also, we're only assisting CP0 in capturing the Void Wings, not CP9 alone. Luke glanced at the two demon fruits, Khalifa, Kaku. These two demon fruits have been given to you. Kaku and Khalifa ate the demon fruit, and their faces turned bitter. It's so hard to eat. It's so unpalatable, the two said at the same time. Dot. On the other side, on a naval vessel that was sailing on the sea, Peach Rabbit received a message from Zephyr's telephone bug. CP0 is about to start, in the capital of the Seven Waters. Zephyr's deep voice came from over there. Peach Rabbit clenched the fast knife. I see, when in danger, run away directly, and I alone bear all the blame, Zephyr said. If there is no accident, as long as the strength of the Peach Rabbit rises a little more, there will be a general level combat strength. With the merits of Peach Rabbit, it is logical to become the next admiral. Zephyr did not want to delay Peach Rabbit's promotion because of this incident, so he decided to bear all the blame alone. Peach Rabbit also understood Zephyr's intentions and nodded. After Zephyr bears the responsibility for this crime, it will be fine. Zephyr's exploits are too great, teaching too many strong people, and now the three admirals of the navy and many vice admirals are all divisions out of Zephyr. With such merits, as long as Zephyr is not prepared to destroy the navy or destroy the world, he will not be punished. Is the tea dolphin with you? Zephyr asked. The tea dolphin is on another ship, and he has decided to go with me. Peach Rabbit said. I wish you all peace and success in your mission. Zephyr hung up the phone bug. Peach Rabbit put away the phone bug and stood at the bow of the boat, the sea breeze blowing, her righteous coat rising in the sea breeze. Justice will judge evil in the end. Peach Rabbit's eyes were firm. The black wing docks in the capital of Seven Waters. There's an unusual atmosphere. So you said with a smile. No matter what kind of enemy, it will not be our opponent. Yamato lifted the mace from the side. Batman, Kinrami, you are in charge of guarding the Black Wing, and the other pirates are left. Obey orders. My lord, master, I want to follow you. Sauron said to Ryoma. Sauron, you should stay too. Ryoma said in a deep voice. Master, is the enemy strong this time? They're not our opponents, but you're too unfit to get involved in a fight like this. Sauron clutched his long knife and was determined to get stronger faster. Suyu led the combatants deep into the capital of Seven Waters and several people stopped when they passed an octopus shop. He went to the octopus shop and asked for ten octopus. There were several other people in the octopus shop, all dressed in white. A few, where are the people? Suyu said casually. Several white-clad people Chi Chi set their eyes on Suyu. It is worthy of the wings of nothingness, and it recognized us so quickly. Suyu pointed to his heart. I can feel the disgusting smell emanating from your body. Several white-clad people were not annoyed and one of them sighed and said with some disappointment, we also prepared you an octopus roast that can paralyze the Sea King class of 100 meters, but unfortunately you did not eat it. Paralyzed 100 meter Sea King octopus grilled? You seem to look down on me and use that junk paralysis drug against me. So you said lightly, the powerful monsters on the sea are much stronger than the ordinary Sea Kings. His bounty was 2 billion, and these guys even thought that junk drug worked for him. It's stupid. Oh, how do you know without trying? I don't believe that a 15-year-old child has a stronger physique than the 100-meter sea kink class. Before the white-clad man could finish speaking, he moved, and a short knife flew out of the cuff and stabbed Suyu's neck directly. Cheers. A flash of thunderlight blocked in front of Suyu, and he clamped the short knife at the white-clad man with two fingers. How can you do something to an adult as soon as you come up? Aniru looked at the man in white with a proud look. After being modified by the demon fruit, Aniru's personality is still arrogant, but when facing Suyu, he will put away that pride. But in the face of others, Aniru is still the same. The man in white narrowed his eyes and said coldly, I don't think I've seen you. When did you join them? It wasn't so long ago. Lightning appeared on Aniru's fingers. Thunder connected the white-clad man with a short knife. 
and the razor swam around the white-clad body, causing his hair to explode. The remaining white-clad men scattered and retreated. The power of thunder, what a demon fruit ability he is. Could it be that the strongest natural thunder fruit ability is the one? Has the wings of nothingness even accepted such a being? What an incredible fellow. However, he provoked the Draco Lord, and there was only one way to die. The four white-clad men confront Yamato, Hinata, and Runeyuan. Suyu was in the octopus restaurant drinking tea casually. It was as if an ancient king was watching the battle of his generals. The white-clad man who confronted Aniru was wearing a red flower on his head, and after withstanding Aniru's thunder attack, he had not lost his combat effectiveness. You guy, you're very strong. The man in red and white gritted his teeth and said, I know I'm strong, I don't need you to stress it. Anilu looked at Siu beside him, and looked at the red-flowered white-clad man. We can't let you disturb the adults to drink tea. Let's change the battlefield, Aniru said. The man in red and white sneered and taunted, Do you think you can eat me? Bang! Aniru's body surface was covered with a layer of thunder, and his speed increased to the extreme, and his large hand instantly pressed on the face of the red flower white man. Bang! The red flowered white clad man was dragged thousands of meters by any road, leaving a deep mark on the ground, away from the octopus restaurant where Suyu was located. Paper painting The body of the safflower white clad man became like paper and floated to the side gasping for breath so fast. The speed was too fast, and it appeared in front of him in an instant, and he did not have time to react at all, and he was dragged for thousands of meters. Such a terrifying speed, only the lightning fruit and the ringing thunder fruit can have. The lightning fruit was eaten by the Admiral Yellow Ape, which means that you ate the strongest natural ringing thunder fruit. The safflower white man condensed, thunder fruit, my fruit is not comparable to the fruit of thunder. Aniri laughed, his demon fruit ability was given by the adults far exceeding the power of the thunder fruit. Not only can he cast thunder and manipulate thunder, but it also greatly strengthens his physique. Not a thunder fruit. What other fruits have terrifying powers, and can they still control thunder? The safflower white man muttered in his heart. He couldn't think of any other fruit that was so strong. Suddenly, the man in red noticed that Aniru's shoulder was engraved with a four. What is the tattoo on your shoulder that means you are crew number four on board? The man in white asked. Aniru pointed to his shoulder, almost. I am the fourth of the ten blades under the adult. Ten blades? Fourth. The pupils of the red-flowered white man shrank sharply, and Aniru's powerful ability was only ranked fourth on the ship. Who are the first three? He glanced at Yamato, Hinata, and Runeyuan and thought to himself, Fight with me, you still dare to be distracted. The courage is really big. Aniru raised the golden stick. The sky thundered, accompanied by a roar, and six thunder dragons hundreds of meters long descended from the sky. The red-flowered white-clad man was horrified and hurriedly used his shaving to avoid the Thunder Dragon. Chapter 103 The Thunder Dragon shuttled and destroyed the rows of houses, and the red-flowered white-clad man could only keep dodging, flashing in the street, using the house building to consume the power of the Thunder Dragon. Anna sat cross-legged, suspended in midair. The Golden Rod commanded the Thunder Dragon, it's useless, even if you consume the power of the Thunder Dragon, so what? Thunder Dragons like this, I can summon a lot. He was no longer a simple Thunder Fruit. The thunder in the form of the green dragon beast was more powerful, the physical enhancement had also been greatly enhanced, and the weakness of Aniri had disappeared. He was more than a little bit stronger than before. The only thing that could make him feel a little tricky was the nature department. He was still learning the armed color domineering, and he did not fully master the armed color. But these CP0 members are obviously not naturally capable. However, Suyu had told him that his thunder was very special, and whether he could hurt the natural department, Suyu was not sure. The red-flowered white-clad man cast a moon step and flew into the air, his legs like two long knives, emitting two crescent-like impacts. Arashi foot. The red-flower white man's land foot was very strong, far surpassing Luchi's. He had already cultivated the Navy Six styles to a very advanced level, and the power displayed was not the same as that of the ordinary Navy. There are countless possibilities for fighting, not that if you are destructive, you will be able to win. The man in red and white shouted, and I waved the golden stick, you're right. But I'm not only more destructive than you, I'm better than you in every other way. Thunderbird. A huge thunderbird flew out and collided with the red-flowered white-clad man's foot, causing a big explosion. The red-flowered white man frowned. This guy was too strong. The power of thunder he did not dare to hard connect. He could only keep dodging. His iron block is very strong, but he must not be able to stop the other party's thunder. He could vaguely sense that Aniru's thunder was different from ordinary thunder. And there were some special powers mixed inside, and the destructive power was even stronger. I have to find an opportunity to get close to him, or I have no chance of winning. The safflower white man said in a deep voice, Oh, I'll give you a chance to get close to me. The sound of Aniru's teasing voice came from behind, and the red-flowered white-clad man's body tensed up, and cold sweat appeared on his forehead, and he quickly turned around. 
The fingers turned black and wrapped around the armed color domineering finger gun. My fingers are already wrapped in the color of arms, and even if you are a thunder fruit ability, you will be injured under my finger gun. The safflower white man is confident. Sure enough, you have mastered the armed color domineering, this force, I am very curious. Welcome to the thunder. A thunderball appeared between the two men. Before the red clad man's finger gun could strike Aniru, the thunderball exploded. Bang, rumble. The explosion threw away houses within a kilometer radius forming a large pit in the same place. The smoke and dust are billowing and the thick smoke makes it impossible to see who wins and who loses inside. The other four white-clad men caught a glimpse of this scene and were worried. This time, I don't know if I can complete the task of the Draco. If the mission fails, they won't survive. Even if they escaped from the hands of the Void Wings, the Draco would execute them. The Void Wings were more powerful than they could imagine, more powerful than the information given to them by their superiors. They did not know that the information given to them by CP0 superiors was the information before Suyu. And not Suyu's current information. Suyu was growing at an extremely frightening speed, and the number of powerful people under his command was also increasing. Among the four white-clad people, the white-clad man with the black hat held a fast knife in his hand and his eyes were sharp, like the eyes of a goshawk. You were originally a navy. Have you betrayed justice and chosen to join evil? The man in black hat and white said. He had seen the information of the Void Wings, which showed that he had detained a major in the Navy, a disciple of the former General Zephyr. Hinata's appearance is somewhat different from that of the Rear Admiral period, but the black hat and white robes are members of CP0, and Hinata's identity is recognized at a glance. Yes, I was indeed a Navy, but I did not join evil, and adults do not represent evil. Hinata pulled off her gloves, and a layer of steel appeared on her arm. The black hat man in white narrowed his eyes, and his killing intent soared, it's really ugly, the once righteous naval lieutenant has become an evil pirate. Ugly? You Draco's lackeys are ugly, in order to satisfy the Draco, no evil, no human beings, Hinata said. Look at your appearance, it shouldn't be ten blades. Before in the navy, Hinata was only a major, which proved that her strength was not too strong, certainly inferior to him. Not to mention becoming the ten blades under Suyu's command. The combat strength that Aniru showed just now was very amazing. Even he wasn't half sure he could take down Aniru. It can be seen that the combat power of the ten blades is not simple. Hinata pointed to her ankle. I'm sorry, but I'm one of the ten blades. The black-hated man in white narrowed his pupils and saw the numbers on Hinata's ankles. Five! Exclamation mark. Fiftieth blade. One level lower than the guy who used thunder just now. But it's just a notch down. The black-hated white-clad man took a deep breath, it turns out that you can become the 50th blade, so the so-called 10 blades are nothing more than that. It should be that only above the 4th blade can there be terrible combat power. Below the 4 blades, the combat strength is very average. The man in black hat and white quickly came to this conclusion. Hinata's fingers pricked up and she said slowly, The 10 blades are the strongest violent organization under the command of the Lord, composed of the most elite combatants on the ship and they are not strong enough to be listed as the Ten Blades. Even if there are not enough personnel, the weak will not take the place of the Ten Blades. Oh, you were just a naval lieutenant not long ago, what power can you have? As soon as the man in black hat and white had finished speaking, Ganata rushed towards him. His hands turned into steel wolf claws, exuding an air of danger. The man in black hat and white tried to dodge, my shaving is stronger than yours. Forehead, can't move. The man in black hat and white was stunned and looked down to see that his feet were frozen at some point. How could it be? Is this your ability? The man in black hat and white did not have time to defend, and one of his arms was ripped off by Hinata. Uh, the only remaining hand of the man in black hat and white was holding the wound on his shoulder, his face was painful, and the large amount of blood loss made him pale and weak. Ice crystals spread across his legs, causing his legs to lose consciousness. Thump. The man in black hat and white fell to his knees gritting his teeth and questioning Hinata, your ability, isn't it the fruit of the sills, why is it possible to release cold ice, the fruit of the sill is a thing of the past, and I have transformed stronger, Hinata let out a cold breath, don't think you'll beat me that way, the black hat and white clad man roared, striving for the strength of his whole body, grasping the fast knife and slashing out a flying slash, such a close flying slash, even if Hinata has an armed color, can't stop it, the man in black hat and white showed a smile, although he lost a hand, but solved a ten bladed, and he would not be punished too heavily when he returned. Hinata didn't dodge, she couldn't dodge such a close flying slash, her whole body was covered with a layer of steel. This is not ordinary steel, but digital steel, harder than steel. Boom. The flying slash shattered and dissipated, and Hinata was not injured at all. She patted the unwarranted dust on her body and said lightly, Is this your power? It is really small, and it cannot be compared with the power given by adults. The black hat and white man was desperate, and he couldn't understand why Hinata had become so much stronger in a short period of time. Could it be that Hinata had been hiding her strength in the navy before? Or is the navy so stupid as to put such a powerful man in a major position? Can I ask you a question? The man in black hat and white said with difficulty. Yes, 
but I may not answer you. Hinata looked down at the man in white with a black hat. Why betray the Navy? Because of the grown-ups. You Draco's lackeys will never understand how powerful adults are. The Navy is also decaying, or rather, the Navy has existed since its inception to serve the Draco. Can such a Navy be called absolute justice? Lord Draco is a descendant of the Creator, and you are doing this against the will of the Creator. The man in black hat and white roared. Creator? Ridiculously, how could the true Creator have such a stupid offspring? Hinata tiptoed to the ground and the cold ice spread, freezing the black hat and white clad man who had fallen to the ground into an ice sculpture. The other side, the white clad man with a knife scar on his face confronted Rune Yuan, and he said in a deep voice, since that guy is the fourth blade, how many blades are you? Eighth, or ninth? Rune Yuan looks very young, not very tall, somewhat humble, not like a strong person. However, Rune Yuan's bounty is not low, and it should be the existence of the ten blades ranking lower. Rune Yuan was a little annoyed when she heard this and this guy actually looked down on her. She ripped off the black leather gloves on her hand. Look, the little girl is number three. What the? Number three? The third blade? The white-clad man with the knife scar was stunned, and then something bad happened in his heart. The ten blades are obviously arranged by combat strength, and the more advanced they are, the stronger their strength. The little girl in front of her can rank third. Doesn't she mean that she is stronger than the boy who made the Imperial Envoy Thunder? You better than him? The white-clad man with a knife scar condensed. He felt that he was not an opponent of Aniru, and he had no chance of winning against Trun Yuan, who was more powerful than Aniru. This mission is going to fail. What a terrible situation. The flames burned on Rune Yuan's hands, and the hot dragon flame rose up, gradually enveloping her whole body. Good experience. Little girl's strength. The fire dragon king's glory. A huge fireball formed, flying with unimaginable heat towards the white-clad man with a scar. Six Upanishads. Giant Tarashi foot. The white-clad man's legs slashed out a huge crescent shock wave, hundreds of meters in size, and its power was amazing. Don't underestimate me. I'm the strongest of the five. The man in white with the knife scar roared. Chapter 104. The crescent shock wave collided with a giant fireball, and the flames splashed around, igniting the surrounding houses, and some flames fell in the seawater, but they were still burning. All the flames seemed to have spiritual wisdom, bypassing Suyu's position. Suyu took a sip of tea and said lightly, Aniru's talent is very good, and he learned to control his power so quickly. If Aniru does not control it, it will affect a large range, definitely more than a kilometer. His vast vision determines that he is free to control the power of his thunder. Yoma saw the bottom line of Aniru. Yoma, don't slacken off, there are many strong enemies in the future. So you said, it's not up to the point. Yoma bowed his head respectfully. If you don't tighten up and become stronger, your position will be taken away. In the raging flames, Rune Yuan walked step by step towards the white-clad man with the knife scar and the terrifying flames in Rune Yuan's eyes were like gentle water. The white-clad man with a knife scar touched his forehead, there was no sweat, only tiny salt marks. As soon as the sweat came out, it was evaporated by the high temperature. A strong flame. The flame that burns the fruit is not as strong as your flame. What fruit are you eating? With a wave of his hand, a wall of fire appeared behind the scarred white-clad man, blocking the retreat of the scarred white-clad man. This power is given by adults and it is a matter of course to go beyond burning fruit. The white-clad man with a knife scar skimmed the wall of fire behind his eyes and looked at Trun Yuan, feeling the constant flow of power in his body. He scolded darkly. It was necessary to end the battle as soon as possible, and it was very unfavorable to him to drag it on. In the high-temperature environment, the water in his body is rapidly depleted, and his strength will become weaker and weaker, while Rune Yuan will become stronger and stronger. These flames were created by Rune Yuan and could not affect Trun Yuan but would only strengthen Rune Yuan's attack. Six Upanishads. Iron Cannon. The white-clad man with a knife scar stepped on the ground and flew out like a rocket, extremely fast. Both fists wrapped around the armed color domineering. With this trick, he once killed a new world pirate with a bounty of more than 300 million. The flames around Rune Yuan's body swirled, and the dragon flames on his fists condensed at a high degree, forming a cloud of dark flames. The Fire Dragon King's crash fist. Rune Yuan roared loudly and the flames behind her faintly formed the form of the Fire Dragon King's roar. The white-clad man with a knife scar chuckled in his heart, and a huge fear enveloped his body and mind. Fists collide, and the six Upanishads clash fiercely with the Upanishads of the Fire Dragon King. The face of the white-clad man with a knife scar twisted, and as soon as it collided, he felt a huge force coming through his arm. A sharp pain came from his fist, as if the Runlong Yan burned through his armed color domineering chi to his flesh and blood. Some dragon scales appeared on Rune Yuan's forehead, and her strength soared and she threw a punch at the white-clad man with a sword scar. Don't underestimate the little girl. The little girl was the first to follow the adults. Rune Yuan yelled, Gah. A crackling sound sounded from the arm of the white-clad man with a knife scar. At the same time, a pain in the drill heart made the white-clad man with a knife scar crush several teeth. The whole person flew backwards and hit a wall, and the flames burned on the body, thundered. After flying out hundreds of meters, 
the white-clad man with the knife scar knocked down an unknown number of walls, and finally stopped, buried by the collapsed house, and did not know whether he was alive or dead. Rooney Ewan clapped her hands, solved. She walked to the rubble and punched the collapsed house, from which she found the disabled man in white with a knife scar. At this time, the white-clad man with a knife scar was holding a phone worm and wanted to report the situation. As soon as the phone worm was connected, the white-clad man with a knife scar lost his life and did not have time to report. No, I can't wait. A haughty voice came from the phone bug. You're going to arrest us. Rooney Ewan picked up the phone worm and said in a cold voice. CP0 is a group of wastes that even pirates can't handle. Pirate. Listen, I am the palace of Chalulia, the descendant of the great creator, and I now command you to go to Mary Joya and become my slaves. If you dare to refuse, all that awaits you is death. Charlotte Palace said. Something that still wants to treat us as slaves. I order you to come to the Black Wing and become our slaves. Rooney Ewan was immediately furious. Charlotte Palace on the phone bug side was stunned, not expecting Rooney Ewan to talk to her like this. Not only did not follow her orders and ordered her to be a slave, she's a Draco. The most honorable person in the world. A pirate, a pirate, dares to speak to the descendants of the great creator like this. Unforgivable, unforgivable. My anger must be quelled with your blood. The Admiral will come forward and arrest you all. When you are caught, I will torture you for a year. Let you live or die. Charlotte Palace roared hysterically. Rooney Ewan fanned her hand with some disgust. We are waiting for you to catch us. You don't catch us. Sooner or later we will meet Mary Joy to catch you. Charlotte Palace was even angrier. With a gloomy opening. The noble Draco has never been. Before Xiliulia Palace's words were finished, Rooney Ewan directly pinched the phone worm, making Xiliulia Palace angry. I had to smash everything in the palace in anger. Damn. Damn wings of nothingness. Damn pirates. I'm going to torture you. Turn you into the lowest slaves. A bunch of crap from CP0. Even the pirates can't be caught. What's the use of asking for them? The guards outside trembled, afraid that the palace of Chalulia would burn the anger on their heads. The Draco hold supreme power and have an unimaginable position, and there is nothing wrong with killing people in the street and there is no rule that can punish the Draco. Because the rules of the world government were made by the Draco. Even if Charlotte Palace killed them all, and killed their families with her, she would not have the slightest remorse. Draco like Charlotte Palace would not have compassion for ordinary people. Dot. Luci and the others, who were hiding in the shadows, looked at each other and wanted to wait a little longer, looking for an opportunity to capture Suyu. Spandam was not pleased, quick, take this opportunity to seize the wings of nothingness. The people of CP0 have pinned down the hands of the wings of nothingness. No, the wings of nothingness are strong, and he has another person by his side, so we should wait and look for opportunities. Luke shook his head in refusal. There is only one of the wings of nothingness around, and this is a rare opportunity. Miss this opportunity and we will not have a little hope. Spandam was anxious, the CP0 people were defeated one by one, and after all of them were defeated, Suyu's men were all gathered, and they had no chance of successfully capturing Suyu. Luke, aren't you the strongest person in 800 years of the so-called CP9? Can't you catch even two pirates with your teammates? Spandam said irritatedly. The corners of Luchi's mouth twitched, and his heart was very speechless. This is two pirates so simple. This is the wing of nothingness. And the swordmaster next to him has a super high bounty, which is definitely not simple. Isn't the bubble created by Khalifa's demonic fruit ability that can make people lose their power? Combined with Bruno's demon fruit ability, as long as you sneak up on the Void Wing and the Sword Lord, you have a chance to successfully capture them. Spandam thought he was smart at making plans. Khalifa lifted his glasses. My bubble fruit can't make people lose their strength, but the skin becomes smooth and can't stand, resulting in a weakening of strength. The same effect, as long as you succeed in the sneak attack, Luchi, you will handcuff the Void Wing, and then quickly transfer the Void Wing through Bruno's ability. Don't let his men find you. Then we send the Wings of Nothingness to Mary Joy and we're sure to get the reward of the Draco. As Spandam spoke, he fell into a self-illusion, imagining that the Draco had rewarded him with a large number of treasures and promoted him to the top commander of CP0. Luke bonded, pondering the feasibility of Spandam's plan. Seems, one thing is possible. Luchi was still hesitating, but Spandam began to order them to capture Suyu. Several people were very helpless and had to agree. Let's go and get the attention of the Void Wing and the Swordmaster, and you're going to sneak in. Lucy said to Khalifa and Bruno. Understood. Khalifa and Bruno nodded. The other CP9 members follow Luchi and jump to the house, appearing in the sight of Suyu and Ryoma. Wings of nothingness. Come with us. Luchi looked serious, staring at Suyu and Ryoma below. Ryoma and Suyu did not have a look of surprise on their faces, as if they had long known that several people were hiding in the dark. The little ants jumped out and I thought they didn't dare to get on it. Yoma said with a smile. As early as Luchi, Yoma and Suyu sensed them. Suyu did not order them to be killed, and Yoma ignored them. After all, they were too weak, and without Yoma's hand, Batman could easily defeat several people. Let Yoma shoot, 
it is to kill the chicken with a cattle knife. I don't like it when they stand on it and leave the guy with the pigeons. So you said lightly. Got it, sir. Yoma pulled out the black sword Kashui and waved it casually. Luke's heart stopped beating, and an unprecedented horror was approaching. We'll die. If you don't dodge, you'll die. Jump. Escape into the air. Luke roared with all his strength and at the same time he jumped into the air with all his strength and performed a moonstep ascent. The other teammates heard Lu Chi's words, and before they could react, the sword flashed. Bang! The sword Chi destroyed everything in front of it, all the houses turned to dust under the sword Chi, and the ground was scraped down by the sword Chi by a large layer, revealing the yellow and bald land. It was as if a meteorite had hit the earth and destroyed everything on the surface. Standing on the low-lying yellow land, unable to see anything else at a glance, empty. Yoma scratched his head, it seems to be a little louder. Rob Lusai's pupils in the air shrank into a needle shape, and he looked down in horror. That's an exaggeration. The damage caused by this sword is unimaginable. Luchi couldn't think of any way he could stop this sword. This sword hit him, and he will undoubtedly die. The teammates who attracted attention with him have all disappeared. Chapter 105 Boom. Luke swallowed. He knew that his teammates were all dead. Under this sword, even the earth was scraped down a layer, with a small body of his teammates. He couldn't get down at all. Lu Chi landed on the ground in horror, exerting his fruit ability, and his body grew speckled fur, transforming into a standing leopard. Such a strong force. Are you the second blade? Luke asked in a deep voice. Ha ha ha. It seems to be underestimated. Yoma lifted his hair, revealing the numbers around his neck. I'm sorry, I'm the first blade. One! Exclamation mark. Ten blades first. The strongest one. Stronger than the man who had shown the power of terror before. Luke's back was chilling and he knew that there was no chance of a successful sneak attack. The other side is too strong, not a level at all. Is it worthy of being a super pirate in the second half of the Great Passage? The strength of his men is so terrifying. Luchi suddenly thought of something and hurriedly yelled, Califa, Bruno, don't come out. As soon as his voice fell, an air gate appeared behind Suyu. Califa held out his hand, and foam appeared on his hand. Success. Califa was pleasantly surprised. The next second, she was stiff and didn't dare to move, because Suyu was looking at her. It was so terrifying. This look made Khalifa despair in his heart, as if nothing could defeat Suyu. Suyu is like a collection of despair. She had a premonition that her bubble falling on Suyu would not work. Good ability, but unfortunately the master's strength is too poor, and he has not fully exerted the power of this fruit. Suyu said slowly, with some pity in his eyes. Khalifa was stunned. Was he talking about him? Wrong. Suyu's eyes were not looking at her. It's Bruno behind her. Bruno saw that the time was running out and immediately wanted to close the air gate. Did I let you move? Suyu said lightly. Bang. The terrifying overlord color erupted, Bruno and Califa fainted for the first time, their eyes rolled white, and they fell to the ground. After the person with the ability is unconscious, the air gate will naturally disappear. Luchi's forehead was cold and sweaty. This overlord color was not aimed at him, and if it was aimed at him, he could not resist it. What a great overlord color control trick. It was also the first time he had ever met someone who could control the overlord color range. What do you want to do? Luke looked serious. So you stared at Bruno on the ground for a moment then shook his head. If only he had Blackbeard's ability to plunder the fruit of other people's demons. I don't know if that ability was achieved by relying on the dark fruit, or if it was Blackbeard's unique ability. However, according to Suyu's guess, the probability is based on the dark fruit. Otherwise, that fruit would not have been called the most vicious demon fruit. Bruno's door fruit is very strong, involving space, and it is not suitable for combat. After all, it takes time to open the door. The time to open the door, with the reaction speed of the strong, can be counterattacked in an instant, but for transport or life saving, Bruno's ability is very powerful. There is no distance limit, and he can reach another place in an instant. You can also enter alien space to dodge enemy attacks. For example, in the war at the top, if the Whitebeard pirates hit Bruno, they could completely let Bruno open a door and raid the naval headquarters. He didn't want to change Bruno's abilities, he just wanted to use Bruno's fruit abilities by getting Lucy to join him. Lucy can persuade Bruno to join him. So you looked at Luchi, once a genius. In these years in the Seven Waters capital, you should be able to experience the pain of your own strength not being able to progress. Join us, Lucy. You shouldn't be a dog under the Draco. Luchi's brow tightened, being a subordinate to the Draco, and being a subordinate to you, are all subordinates. Why should I betray the Draco? The Draco are aristocrats, descendants of the Creator, with unimaginable status and power in world governments. What do you have? Why should I join you? Yoma, knock him unconscious. So you said, obey orders, sir. Yoma answered. Luchi was wary but his speed was not at all as good as Yoma.5. So fast, Yoma instantly appeared behind Luchi and slashed down with a knife. Luke rolled his eyes and lost consciousness. The last two CPO white men looked at each other, put their hands under the sleeves, and pressed a red button. CP0 members from the depths of the Seven Waters appeared, 
hundreds of people, marching in unison in their direction. You can't go today, the red-eyed man in white snorted coldly, just by those minions. Yamato sneered that these white-clad men who had emerged were not as strong as the white-clad men they had defeated. It should be an ordinary member of CP0, and the few people who have just been defeated are senior cutters. There are more ants, and they can bite elephants. Another green-haired, white-clad man flipped out a pair of finger tigers and they made an offensive gesture. We're not elephants. You're also a ten-bladed one. How many are you? Guess what? Six Upanishads. Fly Lian Lan feet. The legs of the green-haired white-clad man emitted dozens of crescent shock waves, and they attacked Yamato impermeably. Shield of Courage. A shield appeared in front of Yamato, and all the Arashi's foot shock waves landed on the Shield of Courage, making a crackling sound. The green-haired and white-clad man was surprised that his Arashi feet could even be cut open with steel, and at the feet of dozens of Arashi, Yamato's shield did not even leave a white mark. What a hard shield. If he snatched this shield and gave it to Lord Draco, he would definitely be rewarded. Thinking of this, the green-haired white-clad man moved to Yamato's side at high speed and pointed at the tiger and smashed into Yamato's arm. Six Upanishads. Broken tiger. Referring to the tiger forming a tiger-shaped chi on the tiger, he seems to transform into a giant tiger and pounce on its prey from the mountain. Yamato clutched the mace, and the overlord color was entangled, emitting purple-black lightning. Thunderous gossip. Bang. The wolf's tooth rod collided violently with the finger tiger, and the ground under Yamato's feet cracked inch by inch. The green-haired and white-clad man secretly said that it was not good, and Yamato actually had a domineering color. You've also mastered the art of winding up the overlord color. This is a skill that only the strongest people at the top of the sea can master. We are not elephants. It's a dragon. More ants. It won't kill us either. Yamato burst into a roar. The wolf's tooth rod broke through the finger tiger and bombarded the chest of the green-haired white-clad man. Gaga Tilda. The green-haired white-clad man's eyes bulged, his heart was exploded by the wolf's tooth stick, and his mouth spewed blood and flew backwards. Thump. The green-haired. White-clad man fell heavily to the ground. How are you? Can you still fight? The red-eyed man in white asked loudly. The green-haired and white-clad man did not respond at all, and when he looked closely, he found that the body of the green-haired white-clad man had been flattened. Obviously, that blow directly shattered the bones of the green-haired and white-clad man. There is no chance of survival. Yamato unfolded his palms, revealing her numbers. I am the second blade, the second of the ten blades under the adult, Yamato said. The red-eyed man in white stepped back, and suddenly his face was overjoyed. You're finished. Is it called support again? Useless. Just by relying on those little minions, there is no change at all. I can kill all the minions alone. Yamato disagreed. The hundred white-clad people who appeared were here to die, and they had no effect on the battle situation at all. Nor could they change the outcome. The navy is coming. The red-eyed man in white sneered. Navy? Yamato was a little surprised how the navy could suddenly appear in the Seven Waters capital. Could it be that some naval branch came to support? If it is the naval branch to support, it is no different from sending death. The naval branches distributed in this area are no stronger than the level of a rear admiral in the naval headquarters. Useless, you have no other life. Yamato shook his head, flames burning on the wolf's tooth stick. The red-eyed man in white retreated, and Yamato, who did not apply the fruit ability, had already killed a companion in a second. After using the fruit ability, how much will Yamato's combat power increase? He is certainly not an opponent. Naval support can only be expected. Hopefully, it's the Admiral. The red-eyed white-clad man had a secret passage in his heart. The sea. Two naval ships are close to the capital of Seven Waters. The two naval ships were seated by the Brigadier General Peach Rabbit and the T-Dolphin. Shelling. Peach Rabbit drew out a fast knife and shouted loudly. Bang bang bang. The guns of the naval ships were fired in unison. The Navy's artillery is more powerful than the pirates and has a longer range. The guns on the Black Wing were also not as powerful as the guns of the Peach Rabbit ships. The Navy is backed by world governments, has well-established research institutions and Burger Punk, a scientist who is known to surpass human intelligence for 500 years. It was normal for artillery to be stronger than pirates. Aboard the Black Wing, Nami commands the pirates to fight back, while she pilots the Black Wing to dodge the Navy's artillery. Batman flew into the air and kept firing arrows, blowing up incoming shells. On the Navy ship, Peach Rabbit frowned slightly, who is driving that pirate ship? Such a powerful means actually evaded our artillery fire one after another. Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit discover the trail of the wings of nothingness. He's in the capital of the Seven Waters, not on a boat. The lookout on the naval ship shouted, Our first goal is to save people. Head for the Black Wing, Peach Rabbit said. Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, Major Hinata's trail has been found, and no trace of Colonel Smog has been found yet. Found Hinai? Where is she? Peach Rabbit asked immediately. In the capital of Seven Waters. But, the lookout was a little embarrassed, and he looked like he wanted to stop talking. But what's wrong? Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, See for yourself, the lookout said. Peach Rabbit looked at it, and his body suddenly stiffened, eyes full of incredulity. Hinata is mingling with the wings of nothingness. Impossible. Hinata is an excellent navy, 
has always insisted on justice. How can he betray the Navy and join the pirates? Peach Rabbit shouted. Lieutenant General Momo Rabbit, perhaps the wings of nothingness forcing Major Hinata. Adjutant Peach Rabbit said from the sidelines. No. Hinata will never betray justice. It must have been the wing of nothingness doing something to Hinata. Dog. I went to Hinata and asked her for myself. What the hell is going on? With the order of Peach Rabbit, the naval ships began to dock. On the other ship, the tea dolphin felt bad, and there was a faint sense of foreboding. I hope there will be no accidents, CPO people should not be too weak. The tea dolphin thought in his heart. CP0 has the same status as the Navy and the world government, and the people they send are very strong. Chapter 106. Two powerful breaths are approaching. Yoma carried his sword and looked in the direction of the shore of the Seven Waters capital. Yoma, a member of the CP0 who approached, ignored them, and Aniru would take them all out. There are big fish hooked. Suyu whispered. He needed to stuff his chess pieces into the navy so that he could easily know what was going on and what the navy was doing. Just like Doflamingo sent the Vergora to the navy and became a vice admiral, he didn't have time to send his men and slowly grow and promote in the navy. It is most convenient and quick to draw out the strong in the navy and modify its demon fruit. The lieutenant general certainly did not dare to come, so who would it be? Brigadier general, or is it the admiral? Sia was looking forward to it. The two naval ships stocked and Peach Rabbit ignored the Black Wing and directly led a large number of naval soldiers to the battlefield. Giant, don't be impulsive. The tea porpoise shouted in the back. Come with me, I must take Sinner with me this time. Peach Rabbit shouted back. Oops, Giant's personality is not like this. How suddenly became so irritable and excited. The tea dolphin had no choice but to keep up quickly. The two brigadier generals quickly approached Suyu's position. Gradually, Suyu's figure appeared in Tower Rabbit's line of sight. He sat in a chair and sipped tea casually as if no one could alarm him when anyone came. Wings of nothingness. Peach Rabbit pulled out a quick knife. I didn't expect it to be you. To my surprise, I thought it was the pheasant coming. Suyu was somewhat surprised. After knowing some of his details, the Navy did not send a Major General, but only a Brigadier General. Are you looking down on him? It's not like what the Warring States can do. When the Warring States were at the top, facing the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, they were eager to gather all the naval forces together to be foolproof and destroy the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment. It can be seen that the Warring States is a very stable and wise general, paying attention to winning instability. What's wrong with you Hinai? Why would she be mixed up with you? Peach Rabbit asked loudly. The tea dolphin stood not far away, staring nervously at the dragon horse. Let Hinata answer your question herself. I don't think you'll believe it no matter what I say. So you said lightly. Hinata, your old friend wants to meet you. When Hinata heard his words, she spread a light wing behind her and flew back. After seeing Momoto, Hinata had a smile on her face. Sister Giant, you are here. Peach Rabbit's heart tightened. What was the light wing behind Hinata just now? The demon fruit of Hinata does not have the ability to produce light wings. Just now, the speed of Hinata's flight was also very fast, far exceeding the impression that Hinata had left for her before. In less than a few months, what had happened to Hinata? Hinata, have you betrayed the Navy? Peach Rabbit's voice was heavy. She was nervous and expectant, expecting Hinata to say a reason that would convince her. Unfortunately, Hinata's words disappointed her. Sister Giant, I am no longer in the Navy. Hinata shook her head. I became a crew member of the adults. Peach Rabbit gritted his silver teeth and angrily asked, Why? Why should you betray the Navy? Have you forgotten justice? Sister Giant, is the Navy really good? Is that why you joined pirates? If that's the case, I'll bury you with my own hands. Peach Rabbit said firmly, No, Sister Giant, you can't do it. I know you're a human being. Hinata held out her hand and said sincerely, Sister Giant, join us, the adults will give you stronger power. With your foundation, get the power given by the adults, and the strength will not be weaker than that of the Admiral. Peach Rabbit does not have the ability of demon fruit, and his strength depends entirely on his sword skills and two-color domineering. Her strength is close to that of a Navy Admiral, and as long as she raises her strength a little more, she can have the combat strength of the Admiral level and will be promoted to Admiral smoothly. Women have a disadvantage, excluding natural monsters like Charlotte Lingling, usually women's physique will be weaker. This is why Gina defeated Sauron many times, but Koshiro still did not think that Gina had the possibility of becoming the world's number one. Women want to surpass men in physique, there are two ways, one is like Charlotte Lingling, born strange, amazing talent, like an evil god, the other is to eat a demon fruit that greatly strengthens the body. The only demon fruits that can greatly enhance the physique are esper species of the animal system. The corners of Moma's mouth twitched, and it was clear that she questioned Hinata why she had joined the pirates, but instead Hinata persuaded her to betray the navy. Hinata, you have really changed, and you are very strange to me, Peach Rabbit said in a deep voice. As for what Hinata said, she didn't believe it at all. It's not that she hasn't looked for a way to go further over the years, but it's all failed. The strength has reached her level, and if she wants to go further, the difficulty is no less than that of ascending to the heavens. As for relying on the power of the demon fruit to become stronger, she had also thought about it, but all along, 
she had never encountered the demon fruit of her choice. Even if she was an alternate admiral of the navy, she would not get a demon fruit of the Esper species. Sister Giant, I didn't lie to you. Yoma slowly walked towards Peach Rabbit and T. Dolphin, let me be your two opponents. Nameless Great Sword Lord, it is really unimaginable that such a strong guy as you are willing to give life to the wings of nothingness. T. Porpoise cold voice. Oh Roar I am honored to be able to sell my life to adults. Yoma raised the black sword Kashui, and the breath of terror emanated. The tea dolphin and the peach rabbit giggled in their hearts. Very strong. It is quite possible that the top of the sea is strong. Tea dolphin and peach rabbit shot at the same time. A knife flow. Chop. Six up Anishads. Break the army. Yoma was serious, and the black knife Kashui slashed out at a speed that was difficult for the naked eye to catch. A knife flow. Cut the mountain. The pitch black slash crushed peach rabbit's slash. Peach rabbit was horrified, who was the other party, and her sword player level was even stronger than hers. She dodged and the pitch black slash flew past her, almost cutting her off. The attack of the tea dolphin is approaching, and the dragon horse is not in a hurry to cross the knife. Boom. The tea dolphin's dark fist bombarded the black knife autumn water, generating a powerful momentum, and the ground under the feet of the two people cracked layer by layer, spreading out a hundred meters before it could stop. You guy, you're so strong. Pass the prize. Yoma's smile was particularly relaxed. On the other hand, the tea dolphin looked nervous and his arms were trembling. The tea dolphin noticed the number on Yoma's neck and asked in a deep voice, what does that number represent? Bang, Yoma black knife up, tea dolphin cannot suppress Yoma, was slashed in the chest. This number means that I am the strongest under the adults. Ten blades first. Whoever wants to challenge the grown-ups, you need to beat me to be able to do it. I am standing in front of you, the highest wall. Tick tilde. The tea dolphin covered the wound, and the blood flowed down the gap of the finger dripping on the ground to form a blood mark. He was shocked in his heart, listening to Yoma's words, a strong man like him. And nine? The strength will be lower than the other side, but certainly not too weak. The power of the wings of nothingness. How far has it expanded? will not you already have the combat power of the Imperial Regiment? The warning of the Marshal of the Warring States is really correct, and it is true that we must not casually crusade against the wings of nothingness. T. Dolphin murmurs. Plus, can you hold him back? Peach Rabbit whispered. The T. Dolphin smiled bitterly, such a strong statue. Let him drag, it is very difficult. Just now with Yoma close, the other party easily slashed him. And it's very relaxed, and it doesn't look like it's using all its strength. I try my best. The tea dolphin promised to come down. Peach Rabbit stared at the dragon horse, and suddenly slashed out a flying slash with all his strength. When Yoma fought back, the tea dolphin approached. Six up Anishads, Overlord Halpard. The tea dolphin roared, and two fingers seemed to transform into a euphorbia, smashing into the dragon horse with a terrifying momentum. It is worthy of being a general candidate and I recognized this strength. Yoma's eyes were serious, and the black knife Kashui cut out in an extremely strange direction. A knife flow, broken falls. A slash from top to bottom crushed the peach rabbit slash, and at the same time, it slashed the tea dolphin before the tea dolphin's attack fell. The tea dolphin's eyes widened, its mouth spurted blood, it endured the pain, and its face continued to attack viciously. Yoma's left hand quickly lifted up and grabbed the finger of the tea dolphin. The ultimate armed color wrapped around the arm, and he took over the six style Upanishads of the tea dolphin. Yo Roar, it's not so easy to get through me. Yoma laughed. You, your armed color is so strong, tea dolphin said in shock. A small achievement is not worth mentioning. Yoma stretched out his legs and kicked the tea porpoise out. The peach rabbit fell to the ground, and its face was ugly. Not an opponent at all. They couldn't get around the Yoma at all. As Yoma said, he was like a high wall, blocking all enemies who challenged to you. Ten blades first terrible fellow. Peach Rabbit murmurs. After only a few moves, the tea dolphin was already injured, and she did not take advantage of it. Just now, it was almost cut off. Continued to fight. There is no possibility of victory. Nothing can be done. Fall back. Peach Rabbit decisively chose to retreat, and with a big wave of his hand, the naval soldiers raised their rifles in unison and shot at Yoma and the others. Kanata let out a cold breath, and all the bullets were frozen in midair, falling to the ground crackling and shattering. Peach Rabbit saw this and sighed darkly what had happened to Hinata. Hinata had not mastered the power of ice control before. I can't let you escape. Yoma lifted the autumn water, and the purple energy behind it spread. Runeon appeared from behind Tao to and the others, with dragon wings spread out behind them, and flames raged under their feet. Since you're here, do you still want to leave unharmed? Runeon said coldly. The Peach Rabbit and the Tea Dolphin looked extremely ugly, and the situation was beyond their control. Yamato picked up the mace and said to the dying red-eyed man in white on the ground, is this your reinforcement? They seem to be retreating. The red-eyed white-clad man had a grudge in his eyes, not a venomous Yamato, but the superior who gave them the Void Wings information. The true situation and data with the Wings of Nothingness are completely inconsistent. There is no mention of the Ten Blades in the data at all. The first blade was also too terrifying, 
and even the two naval alternate generals were not opponents at all. Know that the Admiral of the Navy has been able to fight with the Admiral for a short time without losing. Whether it is in the Navy or in the world government, it is a high-end combat force. Chapter 107 A Bunch of Crap even the intelligence is wrong. The red-eyed white-clad man cursed angrily in his heart. He was speechless, and Yamato exploded his trachea. Within a minute, he would be completely dead. Hopefully, the two admirals will escape and respond to the intelligence of the Void Wings to their superiors. Let your superiors know that their intelligence is wrong. In this way, his family may have escaped the disaster. If the CP0 members fail in their mission, they will be hunted down by the world government. His family will also be erased or become slaves to the Draco. Either way, it's not good. The adults have said that the guys at CP0 have a dark heart, and in order to please the Draco, they do whatever they want. I really don't understand why you guys are trying to curry favor with a bunch of idiots, Yamato said slowly. Before dying, the red-eyed man in white recalled the scene when he joined CP0. When he was young, he had a crush on a girl, but unfortunately was favored by the Draco and adopted as a slave. At that time, he had no resentment only fear of the Draco. So, when he grew up, he decided to join the world government and do things for the Draco. Because he felt that the Draco people were the most honorable people in the world, it was a great honor to be able to make dogs for the Draco people. I regret it. The red-eyed white-clad man murmured in his heart, and then completely lost his life. Dot. Bang. A terrifying overlord color erupted, stuning all the naval soldiers. Two hours later, Sue found Frankie. French is sleeping at home and Suyu easily gets the design of the Pluto King from Frankie, who, French woke up, before he could open his eyes, a powerful overlord burst out, knocking Frankie unconscious, I helped you solve Luchi's problem, and I took away the design of Pluto, and we can also consider it a fair deal, Suyu laughed, if the people of the world government knew about this, they would definitely be angry and vomited blood, they had planned the design of the Pluto King for an unknown number of years, but it was easily obtained by Suyu, Suyu, who had received the blueprint for the Pluto King, quickly returned to the Black Wing. On the Black Wing, the Navy's alternate generals Peter Rabbit and T. Dolphin were tied up, trapped by Hayalishi's handcuffs and shackles, unable to move. Luke, Califa, and Bruno were thrown into prison. Luchi woke up and opened his eyes to see the iron cage. Where is it? Ironclad, why doesn't my body have the strength? Luchi looked down and realized that he had been taken to the stone shackles of the Sea Tower. Recalling the scene before the coma in his mind, Luchi smiled bitterly, he was caught by the pirates. Nine times out of ten, you won't live. When Smog saw that Luke was awake, he asked curiously, what do you do? Why were they caught? Navy, you've been caught too. Luke was surprised. I've been arrested for a while. Smog shrugged his shoulders, looking helpless. The pirates did not kill him either, as if they were simply imprisoning him. We are members of CP9. Lucy said, CP9? It's not your duty to catch pirates. How did you encounter the wings of nothingness? There is an order on it. Let's cooperate with CP0. Smog understood that CP0 had failed, to the Void Wings, and that Lucy and the others who had assisted CP0 in operations had been captured alive. Have you ever seen Hinata? Smog asked. I've seen it. She's joined the pirates and doesn't belong to your navy anymore. Impossible. Excited, Smog grabbed the iron cage with both hands and roared. Absolutely impossible. Hinata will not betray justice. Justice? The navy must be just. Luke closed his eyes and ignored Smog. In CP9, he knows a lot of secrets and the Navy has done no dirty things at all. When Roger died, in order not to let Roger's blood pass down, the world government slaughtered all suspected pregnant women and newborn children. It's the Navy that's doing it. The blood in the hands of the Navy is very heavy and heavy. Smog was still growling, asking Luke loudly if he had seen the wrong person. As night fell, Suyu was holding a banquet on the deck. The pirates thought that Suyu was celebrating the defeat of the Navy. As everyone knows, Suyu obtained the design drawing of the Pluto King and caught the Peach Rabbit and the Tea Dolphin alive in celebration. It is far more difficult to capture a general candidate alive than to kill a general candidate. If an alternate general wants to escape, he must be many times more powerful than the alternate general in order to stop him and trap him. Luckily, however, he was able to catch two general candidates. The two general candidates were all fruitless. Just one powerful demon fruit that suits them can boost their strength by a lot. At that time, the word candidate can be removed. Ha ha ha, Lord Suyu is getting stronger and stronger, and this time he has captured two alternate generals alive. After letting the navy know. You will definitely be angry, one of the pirates shouted. Alternate Admiral. They are most likely the next Admiral of the Navy, and they were actually captured alive by Lord Suyu, and it is hard to imagine how strong Lord Suyu has reached. It's so cool to follow Lord Suyu. Don't be afraid of the Navy at all. Capture the Admiral alive this time, and capture the Admiral next time. Let the Navy know how awesome we are. This time the Navy will definitely be honest for a while. Ha ha ha. I really want to follow Lord Suyu for the rest of my life. 
Batman looked at Suyu with adoring eyes, just by virtue of your pig brain, do you still want to live with Lord Suyu for the rest of your life? Kinrami said dismissively, your brain is smarter than mine, you can't even tell the difference between sugar and salt. Batman immediately shrugged back, oh, I just sent the peach rabbit to the adult's room. Kim Rami said quietly, when detaining peach rabbit and tea dolphin, so you took into account the sex of peach rabbit and put Jin Rami, who was also a woman, in charge of detention. The tea dolphin put Batman in charge of the detention. Batman was stunned, and then his eyes widened, pointing at Kim Rami and shouting, you man, what a lot of eyes. How come I didn't see so many of your eyes before? Kim Rami looked at Batman with disdain and disdain, you think I'm like you, a fool like you sooner or later at the hands of the navy. By midnight, the pirates were mostly drunk. Suyu waved to Robin and walked toward the room. Robin was stunned, and when he saw the direction Suyu was going, he couldn't help but lower his head. My heart is very troubled. Do you want to go? Not going? Will it annoy Suyu? She wasn't a child anymore, so naturally she could guess something. Oh wow. Robin sighed and walked slowly toward the room. Opening the door, Robin saw the peach rabbit firmly bound by the chains of Hayalu stone. The whole person was stunned. Just let peach rabbit look at it like this. Is this good? Peach rabbit saw the two getting together late at night, guessed something, and immediately struggled. She didn't want to see it. So you took out a stack of papers from under the bed. Robin, analyze it. You are the carder on the ship. Robin took the paper in a daze, and his face instantly turned red, like a ripe little apple. It turned out not to be what she thought. I misunderstood Tilda. For some reason, Robin inexplicably felt a sense of loss in his heart. Why is it lost? Could it be that she? Robin did not dare to think about it, and shook his head hastily, concentrating on the paper in his hand. The more he looked, the more surprised Robin became, and slowly, Robin's eyes widened in horror. She looked up at Suyu. This is the design of the ancient weapon Pluto. That's right. This is the design of Pluto, and there is an ancient text on it that you need to analyze. As long as you successfully analyze, you will be a senior carder on the ship in the future, and no one can hurt you. Even if the world government launches a slaying order, I will save you. So Eugene said, Ancient weapon Pluto. Legend has it that a single shot can destroy an island. The world government has always wanted to get the blueprint of Pluto, and then use the power of Pluto to end the ear of a sea thief. Is this island a large island or a small island? If it is a large island, Pluto's attack can completely sweep away the pirate era. The point is that Pluto is a ship capable of firing cannonballs multiple times, not disposables. After hearing Robin's words, Tao Rabbit was even more excited, and his big eyes were fixed on Suyu. It was a pity that her mouth was blocked, otherwise she would have asked Suyu aloud where she got the design of the ancient weapon Hades. Not good. It was even possible for the wings of nothingness to get the blueprint of the Pluto King. Robin, the son of the demon, is also on the ship, and once Robin analyzes the design of the Pluto King, the power of the Void Wings will soar by a large margin. At that time, let alone the Navy, even the world government will have no way to do anything with the Wings of Nothingness. You have to find a way to get the news to the Navy. You can't let the Wings of Nothingness get the Hades. Peach Rabbit was extremely anxious in her heart, but her body could not move, and the phone worm on her body was taken away, and she had no chance to send a message to the Navy. Robin was shocked when he got the answer in the affirmative. She didn't understand. Where did Suyu get the Pluto design drawings? However, her task was to pause and translate the Pluto design, and she did not ask any more questions. She loves the atmosphere on the Black Wing, which gives her a strong sense of security. Don't worry about being betrayed, no betrayal, and no fear of being chased by the Navy and the world government. My lord, will I go back and translate the Pluto blueprints, or will I stay here and translate them? Robin whispered, go back and translate. Suyu waved his hand, what was going to happen next was not suitable for Robin to see. Oh Tilda, when Robin got this answer, a wave of disappointment welled up in his heart. The mood is a little low. So you saw through her thoughts and reached out and rubbed her head. When you've finished translating Pluto, come back to me. Well, I'll translate Pluto as quickly as I can. Robin said immediately. After saying that, Robin felt shame in his heart. Why do you say that? What the hell was she expecting? Since you are no longer on the run, take good care of your skin. I look forward to what your skin will look like when it is white. So you approached Robin and whispered in her ear. Robin's skin has been dark since childhood, but in fact, her skin is very white, and she only needs good maintenance to become as white as an army. I will. Robin's ears were red, and he ran out of Suyu's room with the Pluto design. Chapter 108 After Robin left, Suyu set his eyes on Tao Rabbit. He sat across from Peach Rabbit and took out a cloth ball so that Peach Rabbit could speak. Admiral Peach Rabbit, it's a pleasure to meet you. Suyu said with a smile. Wings of nothingness. What the hell are you doing to catch me? Peach Rabbit shouted. Suyu squeezed his chin. Of course. I let you join me and let you use it for me. Oh do you think it's possible? Peach Rabbit sneered, she was already a Navy Admiral candidate, how could she betray the Navy and join the ranks of pirates? Not to mention that Suyukai was only 15 years old. No, 
Suyu should be almost 16 years old. Why not? Suyu asked rhetorically. You dream. I will not give in. Although I don't know what sinister means you used to make an art to a pirate, I would never agree. Peach Rabbit's eyes were firm. Suyu took out a demon fruit. This is a demon fruit of the animal great white shark form. Tata was uncertain in his heart not knowing what Suyu was going to do. It was a demon fruit from her collection. Since this fruit is only in the ordinary form of a great white shark, the peach rabbit does not eat it. She wanted to raise her combat strength to a level that was not weaker than that of a general, and ordinary demon fruits were simply not enough. After eating this demon fruit, her physique will not improve too much, but will lead to a decline in combat strength due to more weaknesses. What are you going to do? Let you eat this devil fruit. Luckily, there happened to be a demon fruit on your ship. Otherwise I would have to go out of my way to find a demon fruit for you, Suyu said. The three demon fruits in his hand were very rare, and they could completely cultivate three strong ones, and there was no need to waste them. Modifying with ordinary demon fruits maximizes profits. The system will modify the demon fruit to an esper species, and its modified stigma species is strong or weak, completely dependent on luck. No, Peach Rabbit shook his head hurriedly and clenched his teeth. She didn't want to eat this garbage demon fruit. She didn't want to have one more weakness. Unfortunately, things certainly didn't turn out the way she had hoped. Suyu broke open Peach Rabbit's teeth and shoved fragments of the great white shark demon fruit into her mouth. It's enough to eat a little of the devil fruit. There is no need to eat it all. Then Suyu covered Tao Rabbit's mouth and raised her head. Peach Rabbit swallowed the great white shark demon fruit fragment with a reluctant face. After eating the demon fruit, Peach Rabbit suddenly felt weak. It was caused by the chains of Hayalu stone wrapped around her. Suyu let go of the Peach Rabbit satisfactorily. That's right. Tauta stared at Suyu, as if to engrave his appearance deeply in his heart. I will definitely catch you into Advanced City. Definitely. Peach Rabbit said fiercely. There won't be a day. Suyu smiled mysteriously. Tauta felt Suyu put his hand on her head and rubbed her hair like a bird's nest. What are you doing? Peach Rabbit shouted. Wait a few minutes. Suyu communicated with the system in his heart. System. Modify Giant's Demon Fruit Ability. Ding the host chose to modify Giant's Animal Lion Great White Shark Morphological Ability. Please do not leave the head of Giant with the host's hand. Check out her panel. Name, Giant. Abilities, Armed Color Domineering, Top, Seeing and Smelling Color Domineering, Advanced, Great Sword How, Animal Fish Fish Fruit Great White Shark Form, Talents, Top Armed Color Domineering Talent, Top Sighting Color Domineering Talent, Top Kendo Talent, Low Level Navigation Talent. Worthy of being a candidate for the Navy's Admiral. He has seen and heard that the color domineering spirit has reached a high level, and there is also the top armed color domineering, and he is also a big sword hero. So you sighed darkly. If the three admirals of the navy remove the demon fruit ability and strong physique, the panel attributes will not be higher than the peach rabbit. Peach rabbit is also a big sword master, able to cut out flying slashes at will. The achievements in kendo are extremely high, and there are not many people whose level of kendo on the sea is higher than that of peach rabbit. However, her kendo could not be compared with Ryoma the same as the great sword hero, there were also strong and weak. This gap is very huge. Yoma has been called the god of swords, and has walked a long way on the road of great sword how, it can be said that Yoma's kendo is vaguely surpassing that of great sword how. It is very rare for the peach rabbit armed color domineering to reach the top level, and the monsters with the super level domineering are very few, such as the redhead super level overlord color, kapu super level armed color, etc. With their domineering spirit beyond the level, they can stand on the top of the sea and become legends. Peach Rabbit is still some distance away from those monsters. However, this distance can be filled with the demon fruit ability. The Peach Rabbit without the monster-like physique and demon fruit ability is already so strong, so how far can the Peach Rabbit reach after possessing the physique and ability of the Esper species? The corners of Suyu's mouth rose. After a few minutes, Tao Tu fainted, and the sound of the system also sounded in Suyu's mind. Ding congratulations to the host for successfully modifying Giant's Demon Fruit ability. Giant's modified Demon Fruit ability is the Animoid Fish Fruit, Esper species Halibal form. Halibal, the third of the ten blades of death. Queen Halibal, it's actually this form, a being that is one level higher than Urquiola. Suicide. As for the question of which is stronger, Urquiola or Halibal, people in the past life have been arguing about it endlessly. Ding the host's Black Winged Demon is a strengthened existence, non-Halibal form can be compared. Please do not be arrogant and thin. The mechanical sound of the system sounded. I understand. Suyu clenched his fists. He firmed his strength and would not produce any wavering. If you don't even believe in your own strength, you will become a loser sooner or later. Name, giant, abilities, armed color domineering, top, seeing and hearing color domineering, advanced, great sword how, animoid fish fruit, esper species, fillable form, talents, beyond grade armed color domineering talent, top sighting color domineering talent, top kendo talent. Advanced Navigation Talent, Transcendent Al Overlord Color Domineering Talent, After the Blue Dying Curtain, 
Hullabal became the king of the virtual circle, thus bringing the overlord color domineering spirit of the transcendent level. Closing parenthesis. Siu touched his chin. Many of his men had the talent of overlord color, or surpassed the level. If they grow up, raise the overlord color to the level beyond. The next time you encounter a redhead, will you confuse the redhead? The redhead became the emperor of the sea by virtue of the powerful overlord color, known as the most domineering man in the world. Let him know that there are many overlord color talents of the same level as him on the black wing, and the redhead's expression must be very exciting. Unfortunately, Giant's sight and smell did not reach the level beyond, otherwise if I absorbed her talent for seeing and hearing, my talent for seeing and hearing would have reached the outer level. System, absorb Giant's super level armed color domineering talent. Ding congratulations to the host for successfully absorbing Giant's super level armed color domineering. Siu's armed color domineering talent had not metamorphosed to the outer level, and he still needed to absorb the transcendent Al grade armed color talent again to successfully metamorphose. However, he obviously felt that his arm color had become stronger. After possessing the Halibal form, you can control the ocean currents, which can be described as a dimensionality reduction blow to those with demon fruit ability. So you smiled. With Giant's current strength, it is definitely not weaker than that of the Admiral. Two hours later, Giant slowly opened her beautiful eyes, and the first time she saw Suyu, she pounced on them excitedly. Thank you, my lord, for the power you have given me. Giant said excitedly. Suyu patted Giant, Giant. I need you to return to the navy. Why? Giant was puzzled. Be my eye in the navy. There was a crane standing behind Giant, and only Giant's strength was enough, and the crane would definitely find a way to make Giant general. There is no one behind the T-Dolphin Plus. Let him return to the navy. If he wants to become a navy admiral, he will definitely have to wait until the three generals retire before they have a chance. The navy's world government knife. Sooner or later Suyu will let it stab the world government. When Giant became a naval admiral, he could do a lot of things. For example, entering the city of advance. Back to the navy vying for the position of admiral, I look forward to the news that you have become admiral. Suyu whispered in Giant's ear. Okay, I see, sir. Giant whispered. A few hours later, when the sky was dark, Giant quietly left the room. The pirates on the ship were still having a banquet, unaware of Giant. Yoma, Yamato and the others already knew about Suyu's plan and were silent about it. Ha ha ha, drink and drink. Yoma put his arms around Batman's neck and shouted, My lord. I can't breathe, Batman said with difficulty. Yoma let go of Batman and put the wine to his mouth, drink. Batman drank the wine bitterly. He had already drunk a lot of wine, and one night Yoma and him drank two or three barrels of wine. Where does this little body of his bear it? But you can't drink it. He was afraid of offending Yoma. Don't frown, drinking is a happy thing. My lord, I can't drink anymore, Batman whispered. If you can't drink, go to the toilet. Come back and keep drinking, Yoma shouted. The pirates around them all shouted along with them. Ha ha ha, Batman can't drink enough, so quickly instigated. Although I am not as strong as Batman, I can drink better than Batman. Lord Yoma, we're here to drink with you. Yamato and Hinata are sitting on the bow of the boat fishing. The guy who went out with your division is going to be rescued. Yamato said. Smog can't attract pheasants. Hinata shook her head. Since the pheasant could not be attracted, it was better to pretend to let Giant rescue it and confuse the navy. Suddenly, Yamato's fishing line moved. Yamato's power exploded and Sheng Xing pulled a sea king hundreds of meters up from the bottom of the sea. Bang! Come on people, break it down, made into a barbecue. Yamato shouted. Yamato has caught another Neptune. This time it was hundreds of meters. Such a strong force actually directly pulled the sea king class up, and I don't know how much Yamato's humanitarian power is. Quick, let's break down the Neptune class together, and everyone has a roast meat to eat. The Black Wing is bustling with activity and Peach Rabbit avoids everyone and finds the iron prison where Smog is being held. After easily stuning the guards, Peach Rabbit enters the place of detention. Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, how are you here? Smog was surprised. S-H-H-H, don't make a sound, I'll save you from leaving now. Peach Rabbit whispered. Chapter 109 Peach Rabbit used both hands to easily break the iron cage. Smog and Luke, among others, were wide-eyed. This is an iron cage mixed with sea stone, and the hardness is amazing harder than steel. Don't say that it is difficult to break it open with your hands, even with a fast knife. Moreover, just now, Peach Rabbit has not yet cast the armed color. It is an iron cage that is broken open by virtue of its own physical strength. Boom. Luchi swallowed his saliva, and secretly said that he had a strong power in his heart, and he didn't know how much Tao Rabbit's Tao Force was. Definitely a lot more than he was. He didn't have that power. Smog wondered if Peach Rabbit wasn't a woman. She had been a general candidate for several years, and due to her lack of physical strength, she had no news of being promoted to general. Could it be that the rumors he got were false? Peach Rabbit's physique is strong. Peach Rabbit took out the key and uncuffed Smog's handcuffs. Smog, you run. Peach Rabbit said to Smog. Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, what about you? Smog rubbed his wrists, and after not being suppressed by the sea tower stone, 
His strength was restored for the most part, and the demon fruit ability was also restored. I have a way to leave. Leave me alone, Peach Rabbit said in a deep voice. Smog looked at Luke and the others in the iron cell next to him. Do you want to save them together? I don't have the key to their handcuffs, their Hailishy handcuffs, and they're loaded with bombs that will explode as soon as I leave the Black Wing. Can't save them for the time being. Peach Rabbit was not ready to rescue Luchi and the others, and so you gave her the order to take Smog away. In this way, she can also make up for some of the mistakes of unauthorized action. Tautu led two naval ships to besiege Suyu, but acted without authorization and did not receive orders from the Warring States. If the mission fails to return, it will definitely be held accountable by the Warring States and affect the time when Totu is promoted to general. Take away Smog, plus Peach Rabbit, after this operation, has the combat power of the general level, and Zephyr is guilty of the crime on the head. Even the Warring States could not hold the Peach Rabbit accountable and could not affect the status of the Peach Rabbit. Smog looked at Luke and the others pitifully and didn't say anything more. The relationship between the Navy and the CP9 is not good. Even if it is the same thing as the world government, the meaning of the Navy's existence is to maintain the balance on the sea, which is completely different from the meaning of the existence of CP9. If he could, Smog would save Lucy and the others. Forget it, let them bless themselves. Smog said casually. Luchi, Califa, Bruno are confused. What a situation. Just give up on them. Take us along. We all work for the world government. Navy, we're members of CP9. You can't give up on us. Peach Rabbit turned his head and looked at Luchi and the others. I can't undo the shackles and handcuffs on your body. If you take you away, it will expose us. No one will be able to go. You can uncuff his hands. Why can't you untie us? Khalifa asked. Smog's key is on the pirate guarding the door, and the key you handcuffed and shackled may be on another pirate. Peach Rabbit pointed to the pirate who had been knocked unconscious at the door. Luchi chuckled in his heart thinking that the pirates would change shifts every day and take turns guarding them. The keys should be on different pirates. The pirate who was stunned by Peach Rabbit happened to be carrying Smog's key, not theirs. Bad luck, really unlucky, Luke murmured in a low voice. He knew that if they missed this opportunity, there would be no possibility for them to escape. The world government will not send someone to rescue them, because CP9 members who do not complete the task will be purged. Not only will the world government not send someone to rescue them, it may also send someone to assassinate them. Thinking of this, Luchi couldn't help but sit on the ground in distress, with a thousand thoughts. He understood that Peach Rabbit would not save them. Peach Rabbit ventures to find the key to their handcuffs and shackles, and it is very likely that they will be discovered, not to mention that Smog has escaped, and even Peach Rabbit himself will not be able to go. Even if he wears his lips, Peach Rabbit will not save them. Peach Rabbit and Smog left the prison. Khalifa tried to stop them, but Washk stopped. Don't shout! They won't help us, Luchi said calmly. Khalifa frowned slightly. They stayed in the pirate cyan prison, ready to die at any moment. Is there really no way out? Resign yourself to fate. Luke's deep voice echoed through the iron cell, and all three of them bowed their heads, not knowing what they were thinking. After stepping out of the prison, Peach Rabbit asked Smog to leave first. Smog, you can fly briefly in the air, take the opportunity to escape. Peach Rabbit said. Won't you go? I can escape underwater. Peach Rabbit pointed to the sea. Smog suddenly realized that Peach Rabbit was not a power person, and if she hid in the sea and escaped, even the Void Wings would not be able to catch her. Have you found Hinata? Smog asked suddenly. Hinata has joined the pirates. Peach Rabbit didn't cheat on Smog. The Battle of the Seven Waters was so fierce. The news would definitely be spread. Hinata will soon have a bounty. Smog returned to the Navy and soon learned about it. Join the Navy? No way. Smog was still a little unconvinced. In a few days, you'll be able to see Hinata's bounty. Peach Rabbit finished speaking and jumped into the sea. Smog's body emitted white smoke, flew low, and disappeared in the night. In the room, Suyu was dressed and holding a strip of cloth with blood in his hand. The dark green flash extinguished the strip of cloth, and he murmured. Three admirals of the navy? Soon it will become the four generals. Peach Rabbit's ability is to control ocean currents, and for those with demon fruit ability, it is a dimensionality reduction strike. If you fight on the sea, with the help of the power of the sea, the strength of the Peach Rabbit will climb to a terrifying point. Peach Rabbit catching pirates will become very easy. With the ability of the Peach Rabbit, there is a great possibility that the navy will expand the position of a major general. The Tea Dolphin will be detained first and then the tea dolphin will be modified after the demon fruit is found, Suyu said silently in his heart. The tea dolphin also did not have the ability of demon fruit, and after giving him the power of the Esper species, he could have one more powerful statue under his command. Now Peach Rabbit has submitted to him and become his person. After giving the tea dolphin Esper species the power, Suyu would order him not to pestering the Peach Rabbit. 100% faithful, the tea dolphin will certainly strictly follow his orders. Navy, you should thank me for sending you a statue of general level combat power. 
Su Yu whispered. Naval headquarters. Marin Fando. What? The wings of nothingness are making a big fuss in the Seven Waters capital. Also beat CP0. Jian and Jie Jie have gone. It's gone. Damn. Shouldn't they all be on mission in the new world? How could it appear in the Seven Waters capital? Sengok roared angrily. He had warned all the people above the rank of Lieutenant General in advance, so that they could not act without permission. He thought that those who disobeyed orders would be grumpy red dogs. I didn't expect it to be Jian and Jie Jie who has always been gentle and followed the orders. Damn it. Sengoku clenched his fists, punched the table, and angrily broke through the door and left. Definitely Zafer. That day Zafer behaved a little abnormally in the plenary meeting, unusually silent. Completely different from Zafer's previous performance. It turned out that Zafer was secretly playing this hand. The naval soldiers, seeing the angry look of the warring states, did not dare to speak loudly, and silently hid aside to give way to the road. I was afraid that the warring states would burn their anger on them. Soon. The warring states ran to the naval recruit training base. Zafer was training new recruits, and when he saw the Sengoku coming, his heart giggled. Especially seeing the angry look on the face of the warring states, there must be something bad happening. Zafer, look at the good things you've done. Did you know? Consequences of your doing so. The warring states roared. Warring states, go to the house and say that there are too many people here. Zafer glanced at the naval soldiers around him. If it was as he thought, that kind of thing happened. It cannot be easily passed on. Otherwise the majesty of the navy cannot be maintained. The warring states also knew that they could not speak indiscriminately in public, so they could only suppress their anger and say with a black face, follow me, this incident is not handled well, you will get out of the egg. Zafer and Sengok left the naval recruit training ground, and the sailors who were training looked at each other. What happened? The marshal of the warring states was so excited. It must be a big deal, otherwise the marshal of the warring states wouldn't be so angry. The sea thief attacked the naval branch. Or is it that a certain kingdom has been invaded by pirates? Who knows? Instructor Zafer is away today. We can relax for a day. Easy. Tomorrow, with the anger of Instructor Zafer, the amount of training will increase several times. In a closed room, Sengoku grabs Zafer's collar. Zafer, look at the good things you do. He even secretly contacted Jian and Jiaji to capture the Void Wing. Now the two of them don't know if they are alive or dead, and they are likely to be killed by the wings of nothingness. The warring states roared, as a naval marshal. The last thing he wanted to see was the fall of the Navy's high-end combat power. Every high-end combat power is extremely important to the Navy. It's about the Navy being able to survive. Both Jian and Kagom were regarded by the Sengoku as the future hope for the Navy. The strength of the two is the closest to the existence of the Lieutenant General besides Carp. As long as the strength is further advanced, the position of the next general must be theirs. When they have an accident, after the three admirals of the Navy retire, there is no suitable successor. Is it not to start the world conscription? The world's great conscription means that people with ulterior motives may be added to the Navy. It is not good for the future development of the Navy. Unless it is a last resort, the world conscription will never be opened. Zafer's face was gloomy to the extreme, and sure enough, things still developed in the worst direction. Jian and Jia Jia should be able to escape even if they are not able to defeat the Void Wings. Zafer said quietly, The wings of nothingness are stronger than you think, and according to reliable intelligence, the wings of nothingness's men are very powerful, especially the Great Sword Lord whose strength has reached the top of the sea. Other subordinates are not comparable to ordinary strongmen. It seems that an organization called Ten Blades has also been established, and this message was sent by CP0, and the authenticity is not low. The warring states had a headache, and the Void Wings became stronger too quickly, without logical strengthening, even more terrifying than the rocks of the year. The expansion and strengthening of the Rocks Pirate Regiment also has signs to follow and Suyu has become stronger without logic. Chapter 110 Ten Blades, Wings of Nothingness, what exactly does this guy want to do? Isn't he a member of the Hundred Beasts? How do you feel that his men are stronger than Kaido's men? Sengoku stared at Zafer coldly, you think of a good reason and explain it to Jiru. Crane will soon know about this. Zafer was bitter and remorseful. Snap. Zafer jerked his own mouth twice, his eyes red. I'll find a way to explain it to the Crane. Zafer whispered, follow me, take the initiative to explain to the Crane and maybe get the crane's forgiveness, Sengoku said with a cold face. Jiri has a very good relationship with Jian, who regards Jian as his sister. When you hear the news of Jian's accident, you will definitely be furious. Alas, Zafer also knew the seriousness of the matter, did not choose to escape, and followed the Sengoku to find the crane. The two soon arrived at Jiru's office, and just as they were about to knock on the door, they heard the sound of Jian and Jiru talking from the house. Sister Crane, I'll be back soon, and I've saved Smog. You're all right come back soon. The two looked at each other, and they both saw the surprise in each other's eyes. Is Jian all right? Looks like it's all right. Both Sengoku and Zafer are surprised, and when they push open the door, they see Jiri holding a phone worm to contact Jian. When Jiri saw Zafer, he was furious. Jian, you hurry back, I will say two words to Zafer. Okay, Sister Crane. The phone worm cuts off the connection. Zafer's back was cold, 
and in his line of sight, a statue of the angry Ming King appeared behind the crane. That crane, I also want to save people, Zephyr whispered. The sound is getting quieter and quieter. Boom. Crane slapped the table to pieces and shouted angrily, save people. To save your disciples, just put my sister in danger. She almost died you know. Don't you know how dangerous the wings of nothingness are? That's the super sea thief that even Car propelled. Without the power of the great general, there is no way to fight the wings of nothingness. Zephyr scratched his head, if nothing happened to Giant, I will bear all the blame alone and it will not affect Jian. Ahem, Jian is in trouble. But something went wrong. The crane snorted coldly. What? Something's wrong. Was he killed by the wings of nothingness? The warring states exclaimed. She was not killed, and according to Jian, she and Kaji were not opponents of the void wings and were captured alive by the other side. Crane said slowly. Sengoku was a little confused. The two were captured alive by the wings of nothingness, so why was Jian still talking to the crane just now? What the hell is going on? Sengoku's face was serious. The news of CP0 was given to Giant by you. Crane looked at Zephyr. It's me. Do you know how crap those guys at CP0 are? They didn't even touch the wings of nothingness, and they were all solved by the wings of nothingness's men. Crane said coldly. What? CP0 was all solved by the Nile Wings men. How can it be? How could the men of the Void Wings be so strong? Zephyr's eyes widened and he said in shock. CP0 is a team directly under the Draco, and being selected proves that its strength is not low. The large number of CP0 members united together is definitely not a weak force. Grain Yin calmed his face and said slowly, CP0 is not an opponent under the wing of nothingness at all, and was killed by people with overwhelming force. When Kaji and Jian got your news, they immediately set out to capture the Void Wings, but their strength was far inferior to that of the Void Wings and their party. The two were captured alive and the naval vessel was destroyed. Jian had better luck, and after escaping, he stole a demon fruit treasured by the wings of nothingness and rescued Smog by the way. Unfortunately, Jija was left on the Black Wing, and his life and death are unknown. Smog was rescued, Jija is being held. Zephyr and Sengoku shouted at the same time. The warring states frowned, and Jija was caught, and if this matter was exposed, a storm would be set off on the sea. Abominable wings of nothingness. It was even more seized. This is simply provoking the navy. Warring states wants to beat Zephyr violently again. Zhu ignored the Sengoku. Crane. The cause of this incident is me, and I am willing to be punished. The Warring States held another plenary meeting, and the Red Dogs guarding the G1 branch did not return to the naval headquarters, and the Yellow Ape was fast and rushed back. Two of the three admirals of the navy were present. After hearing the news from the mouth of the Warring States, all the admirals sighed. This matter is obviously wrong with Zephyr, but Zephyr also has a reason for it, and has also made countless merits. How to punish Zephyr? This is a big problem. This matter needs to be reported to the five old stars and the punishment of Zephyr must be decided today, Sengoku said, brew 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 tilde, the Sengoku telephone worm rang, and after connecting, came the voice of a naval soldier, Marshal of the Warring States, Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit and Colonel Smog have returned to Marin Fando, request a high level plenary meeting, let her come, bring Smog, in Smog's rank, it was not enough to attend the naval high level meeting, however, Smog had been imprisoned by the Void Wings for so long, and perhaps knew some of the secrets of the Void Wings, so the Warring States asked Peach Rabbit to take Smog with him to the high-level plenary meeting. Giant is back, it is really lucky, adding luck is not good, falling into the hands of pirates, life is better than death, a vice admiral said. This operation was too much of a failure, the direct loss of an alternate general. The navy was missing an alternate general, and now there is one less, it is really difficult. The navy has three admirals, but only two alternate admirals. All along, the Warring States wanted to train another alternate general and the future navy could also have a guarantee. Unfortunately, things did not go according to people's wishes, and before a new candidate general could be trained, he lost an alternate general first. Dot. On the black wing, inside the iron cage, footsteps sounded, and Lu Chi and the others sat up vigilantly. Eyes are fixed on the gate. Suyu's figure gradually appeared in their sight. Suyu, what are you going to do? Luke's expression was dignified. Suyu looked at Khalifa and Bruno. Khalifa saw this familiar look and his pupils shrank into needles. He's going to cast the overlord. Khalifa was still thinking in her heart. The next moment, she would not faint. Even Bruno was stunned. Suyu opened the iron cage and placed his hand on Luchi's shoulder. System, modify Lucy's demon fruit ability. Suyu said in his heart. Ding the host chooses to modify Luke's animal line. Cat cat fruit. Leopard type. Please don't leave Lucy's shoulder. After Suyu modified the demon fruit ability for Peach Rabbit, he still had a little modification value left. Since the demon fruit has not yet been found for the tea dolphin, Suyu decided to modify Luchi's demon fruit ability first. It won't be long before his reputation points are broken again, gaining new modification points. At that time, it is not too late to modify the tea dolphin. Use it for me, Luke. Your talent is completely delayed by CP9. You shouldn't stay in that garbage place. Suyu's voice sounded in his ears, 
and Lu Chi wanted to speak, but found that he could not make a sound. Su Yu's courage was too strong, and the oppressive force was too great. After approaching Su Yu, he felt as if he was carrying a mountain on his shoulders. Overlord color? No, it's just a glimmer of power leaked out of his overlord color. Luke was shocked. It was hard to imagine how big the gap between him and Su Yu really was. With such a big gap, Spandam still wants them to capture Su Yu? If it wasn't for the guy who was dead, Lucy would have given Spandam a few punches. This is the power of the super sea thief on the sea. Luke fainted in shock. Su Yu withdrew his hand and uncuffed Lu Chi's handcuffs. The sound of the system rings in my head. Ding congratulations to the host for modifying Lu Chi's animal line. Cat cat fruit, leopard type success. Luke's demon fruit has been modified to animal cat cat fruit, esper species grim jiao form. Su Yu Ixi was also a being in the ten blades of death. The sixth blade representing the Leopard King Grimjaw of Destruction. He has fought with the protagonist of the God of Death, Iakago, many times, and also appears in the Millennium Blood War chapter, helping Iakago. Grimjaw's prowess is beyond doubt. With this form, Luchi's combat strength will definitely be greatly improved. Suddenly, Suyu thought of something and said to the system in his heart, System, why is my fruit form in the form of the Black Wing Demon, while Jian is in the form of Halibul? Shouldn't it be the form of the Queen's Horse? There is also the fruit form of Luchi, which should be the leopard king form. According to the system's name for Jian and Luchi's demon fruit, his demon fruit should be called the Elkwi Aula form. The system is used to distinguish the host from the host genus, highlighting the honor of the host, and deliberately uses the name of this demon fruit. If the host is not satisfied, the system panel can then display the form of the queen of the emperor and the form of the leopard king. The voice of the system sounded in the heart, so you suddenly realized and nodded. In the future, there is no need to distinguish between the leopard king and the imperial queen. So you waved his hand. He didn't care about those titles, as long as they are 100% loyal to themselves, the system understands. Panel changed. Grim Jiao is the Ten Blades, Lucy, you have become the Ten Blades under my command, for my use. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose. Once Luke had surrendered, he was able to persuade Bruno and Khalifa to join. Khalifa is not important, he has no shortage of women. What matters is Bruno's ability. With Bruno's abilities, a lot of things are convenient, Suyu murmured in his heart. He already had the Pluto King, and there were quite a few of his subordinates. The next target is the ancient weapon Poseidon, the Neptune. He walked out of the prison and summoned a pirate. Prepare a room for Luke, and he will be our man from now on. Obey your orders. The pirate nodded and entered the iron cage to help Luchi up. An unexpected discovery of Luke's abdomen had a number. 6. The pirate's pupils shrank sharply. This number is the number that only the Ten Blades under the Adult's command are equipped. Could it be that this guy became one of the Ten Blades under the command of the Adult's? Impossible. How strong is this guy? The pirates were somewhat suspicious. In his heart. The Ten Blades under Suyu's command were an honor. Anyone who can become one of the Ten Blades is strong. Chapter 111 Naval Headquarters Conference Room Crunch Tilda The gate was opened, and Jian walked in, carrying his own fast knife Jin Bai Luo on his waist, looking natural and full of spirits, and he could not see that he had been caught by pirates not long ago. On the other hand, Smog was a little miserable, his breath was weak, as if he had not closed his eyes for several days and nights, and his face was weak. Zhuo walked quickly to Jian, Jian. You're all right, Sister Crane, not only am I fine, but I also have a very strong demon fruit ability, Jian whispered. The crane nodded satisfactorily. She knew that Jian wouldn't eat the devil fruit casually. If Jian had eaten the demon fruit, the demon fruit's ability must have been very strong. Ah, uh, strangely, Jian's temperament seems to have changed. It has become more mature than before. Is it because of this incident that Jian has grown? Zhuru didn't think much of it and took Jian to his place. Sengoku looked at Smog. You've been imprisoned for so long. Do you know some secrets of the wings of nothingness? Smog shook his head. He was caught, not undercover, and could know anything. I don't know, after I was caught, I never saw the wings of nothingness again. But I didn't see Hinata in the iron prison, but instead met the members of CP9. Sengoku nodded, indicating that he knew. According to intelligence, Hinata has betrayed the navy and become a subordinate of the wing of nothingness. You don't see Hinata, it's normal. Sengoku said. Smog heard the words of the warring states and saw that Zephyr did not speak out against it. I understand in my heart that the news is not false. Hinata really betrayed the navy. Smog clenched his fists, slammed into the wall with a hiss, gritted his teeth and said, I'll capture Hinata myself. Lock up in advance city. Smog, this is not the place where you, a colonel, can vent your anger and pay attention to your identity. The fire burned in the mountains will be cold and cold. Giant, how did you escape? Sengoku was simply inquiring not doubting Jian's identity. Jian is Zhuru's younger sister, who grew up in the navy since she was a child and will certainly not betray the navy. The most important thing is that Jian has only been imprisoned for less than a day, and he has already escaped, and the wings of nothingness can never shake Jian's righteous heart for a day. Jian wrapped his arms around him. The wings of nothingness locked me in his room. As soon as these words came out, 
The crane looked at Giant worriedly, at the banquet of the wings of nothingness, I secretly opened the treasure chest of the wings of nothingness and got a demon fruit from it. Fortunately, the chain that bound me was a chain with a bomb, not a chain of Hayalu stone. After gaining the demon fruit ability, I broke free of the chains, took the opportunity to escape, and found the iron prison where Smog was being held, and rescued him. Since I didn't know where the plus was, I couldn't take him out. Giant's words will be carefully considered, and you will find subtle flaws. But under the identity of Giant's Navy alternate admiral and the aura of Tjuru's staff officer's sister, no one doubted Giant. You stole the demon fruit treasured by the wings of nothingness? What department is it? The pheasant asked curiously. The department of animals, Giant said. The zoology department. The pheasant frowned slightly. He also thought that the demon fruit treasured by the wings of nothingness would be a rare species. He didn't think about the esper species, mainly because the number of esper species was too rare. What form? Animal fish and fish fruit, the queen form of the esper species. Giant wanted to say that it was the helible form at first, but a voice suddenly sounded in his head. Tell her that the demon fruit is called the queen of finch form. Did the adult change the name of my fruit? Giant murmured in his heart. What the? The half-lying body of the pheasant instantly sat up and looked at Giant in surprise. Not only him but also the naval top brass at the plenary meeting was very surprised. What a species of esper, the rarest variety of demon fruit. Each esper species is very strong, not only has a physique beyond the ancient species, but also has special abilities. Some powerful esper species are more powerful than the natural demon fruit. Oh esper species, no wonder it was hidden in the treasure chest by the wings of nothingness, and it turned out to be the rarest esper species demon fruit. Lieutenant General Burning Mountain said, Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit doesn't have the demon fruit ability, he is already a candidate general, and now that he has the top demon fruit ability, doesn't that mean that her combat strength has been his this time Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit is really blessed by misfortune. Although he was caught by the pirates, he got the demon fruit ability of the Esper species and earned it, a Lieutenant General said. Crane immediately looked at the Admiral with horror. It was as if he was going to slaughter the Vice Admiral. The Admiral bowed his head, not daring to speak afraid that the crane would put on his little shoes. Who doesn't know that the level of the crane is not as high as the three generals, but the power is very large, only a little weaker than the three generals. You can put little shoes on him in minutes. Jeru excitedly grabbed Giant's hand, why didn't you tell me in advance that your demon fruit is an esper species? Sister Crane, you didn't ask. Giant said helplessly. When the two of them talked, she just wanted to tell the crane that she had eaten the esper species. As a result, Jeru cut off the phone bug and said that he would settle accounts with Zephyr. And your strength? Crane asked. With giant's strength, eating an esper species, the strength will definitely increase. Even if it is not as good as the three generals, only need to develop the power of the esper species, you can definitely reach the level of the three generals. <clears throat> giant nodded and didn't say anything more. But Jeru and Sengoku both understood what giant meant. She, strength is up again. Sengoku's A's lit up and he lost the extra amount. But Giant's combat strength really reached the level of a general. Then the overall strength of the navy will not decline. After the Imperial Fish, I have never heard of this Esper Seed Fruit. Sengoku touched his beard, looking for rumors about the Imperial Queen in his mind. But no matter what he thought, he couldn't think of it. Arara, it should be a demon fruit that rarely appears. The pheasant said, some demon fruits are born in a very special location and are difficult to find, which leads to a certain demon fruit not being discovered for a long time and eaten. It's so terrible. The name Queen of the Emperor sounds like an esper species in the ocean, it won't have the power to control the sea. The yellow ape looked at Giant. Yes, the yellow ape general is very knowledgeable. Giant gave a thumbs up to the yellow ape. What? The yellow ape was stunned, as if he did not expect Giant to say this. Not only him, but everyone else was stunned. Manipulating the seawater? Demon fruit abilities are afraid of the sea. Legend has it that after eating the fruit of the devil, it will be cursed by the sea and cannot touch the sea. Sizzle Tilda, a certain lieutenant general took a breath of cool air. If it was true as Giant said, then she will become a nightmare for all demon fruit abilities. Giant, let's see your demon fruit ability, Sengoku said to Giant. Yes, Sengoku looked at the yellow ape, Baru Salino. The you go. The yellow ape hurriedly waved his hand, spare me, the frozen fruit of the pheasant is the most suitable. Warring state's brow tightened, the yellow ape the sky, since becoming a general, more and more salty fish. Before the period of lieutenant generals, there was no such salted fish. After the yellow ape became a general, it was an easy look to face any enemy. And now the warring states could not figure out the strength of the yellow ape to what extent. Kuzin, leave it to me, I'd like to see how strong Giant has become. The pheasant got up and walked outside. All the admirals got up and prepared to watch the battle between the alternate admirals and admirals. Ten minutes later, Giant and pheasant stand opposite each other on the training ground. Located close to the sea, it is the home of Giant and the home of the pheasant. The naval soldiers were talking. Is General Green Pheasant going to fight Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit? It's really rare. Why are they fighting? Is it because Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit is about to be promoted to general? It is impossible, there are only three positions of Admiral, 
From a very early time to the present, it has always been three. And there has never been a fourth admiral. Maybe it's just a normal game, not as much as you think. The pheasant stretched out his hand in his trouser pocket and said plainly, Giant, be careful. Giant held the fast knife in one hand and hung down with the other hand relaxedly, fighting with the general, and she was not nervous at all. Don't be ruthless, or you'll get hurt, Giant said. Allah, I was looked down upon. The ice under the pheasant's feet spread, and the ground was frozen in an instant, in the blink of an eye. The vast naval training ground was wrapped in cold ice, frozen time capsule. A stream of cold ice rushed toward Giant at a very fast speed, and this move, the Admiral did not even have time to react, and it would be frozen in an instant. Giant was no ordinary Admiral and jumped into the air. The knife came out of its sheath and a golden flying slash appeared. The pheasant moved forward with one hand, and a cold bird condensed in the air. Pheasant mouth, boom. After the flying slash cut off the ice bird, it also lost most of its strength, and the pheasant easily dodged it. Giant. Your attack has become stronger. The pheasant couldn't help but say. Giant's previous attack could not cut off his pheasant mouth with one sword. My physique is no longer the same. My physique has become stronger, and the slash will naturally become stronger. Giant said lightly. The physical problems that previously limited her physique are no longer there. She is completely two levels from before. Suddenly, the pheasant found a problem. Giant stood in the sky and did not fall. Your esper species has the ability to fly. Pheasant muffled voice. That's right. Giant nodded. Stop trying. Show your true ability. I also want to try how strong the new power is. Giant whispered, conquer him, queen of the emperor. Bang. Surging golden flames erupted, instantly breaking through the sky. Golden flames formed pillars of light that penetrated the heavens and the earth. The sea is turbulent, and there seems to be a terrible existence in the depths of the seabed. Powerful and terrifying pressure fell, and countless naval soldiers fell to their knees with a loud thud. Even the naval headquarters officers could hardly withstand the pressure, gritting their teeth and looking in shock at the golden pillar of light that ran through the sky. Everyone's pupils narrowed sharply, and a rear admiral muttered, Is this the overlord color? No, it's not overlord, it's just her coercion. Warring states muffled. Chapter 112. What? Just coercion. It's just horrible. The rear admiral exclaimed, Is this coercion? Marshal of the warring states, are you mistaken? A vice admiral pointed to giant in the sky. There's nothing wrong with it, I have the overlord color and I'm sure it's not the overlord color. Warring states condensed. It seems that Giant has acquired an incredible ability. Such a movement is definitely the top esper species. King Yan looked solemn and breathed coldly. Trouble. Giant has become so terrible. The yellow ape who was watching the battle smiled, and the wrinkles on his face were all gathered together. The old man's choice is indeed very correct. Giant already has the combat strength of a great general. The navy finally has one more powerful force. A smile appeared on Jeru's face and the stronger giant became, the happier she was. Although the age difference between the two is a bit large, they are shaped like biological sisters. Hum Zephyr, this time I will forgive you for the sake of the esper species in giant. Crane said. Zephyr scratched his head. Giant was getting stronger, but the loss of the plan, the consequences are still very serious. However, Jeru's decision not to trouble him was also a relief to him. He and Jeru have also been friends for many years, and when they were young, they also went to sea together to fight pirates. A golden pillar of light pierced through the clouds and Giant waved it with one hand, and the golden flame dissipated. Several pieces of white bone-like armor appeared on her body, but because she was wearing a naval uniform, she did not show much skin like her libel. The fast knife in his hand had turned into a shark-cheek giant sword, which looked imposing and very powerful. Giant gently swung the shark's cheek-streaked sword, and the sea in the distance set off a fierce wave, forming a huge wave of 100 meters high. This is the power that Lord Suyu has given me, Giant felt with his heart and a huge force flowed through his body and could burst out at any time. Sword cannon. Giant directly moved, the shark cheek pattern giant sword aimed at the green pheasant, a golden energy cannon fired. With a wave of his hand, the pheasant formed a lot of ice spears in the air. It's terrible, giant, your demon fruit ability. The pheasant's tone was serious, completely different from that of the yellow ape. He really felt that giant's demonic fruit ability was tricky. This energy cannon was very powerful, and if he was hit, even he would not feel good. The ice spear collided with the golden energy and the ice spear was shattered, and pieces of ice crystals flew apart. The pheasant clapped his hands on the ground, and two huge icicles were born on the ground, with sharp tips, and crossed towards giant in the sky. The shark cheek giant sword gushed out golden energy, and giant stared at the pheasant and whispered, Void flash. The huge golden sword cheek cut off two huge icicles, cut open the ice surface, and flew in the direction of the pheasant. The pheasant dodged, and the warring states behind it changed greatly. Damn, pheasant, you dodge. The naval headquarters behind you can't dodge. The warring states roared angrily. Bang. The warring states incarnated as a golden Buddha, 
and the palm of his hand emitted a shock wave. Rumble, boom. The shock wave exploded into a golden flash, and a huge sound resounded throughout the heavens and the earth. The aftermath of the battle blew off many naval soldiers. The warring states changed back to their original state, with surprise in their eyes. This hit, very strong. Giant strength has definitely reached the level of the three generals. Bang. A roar of the sea alarmed everyone. When they looked at the sea, their pupils shrank sharply, and their eyes were filled with horror. The monstrous wave struck, covering thousands of meters as if they were going to sink the naval headquarters to the bottom of the sea. The sea. How could such a huge wave suddenly appear? It's a thousand meters high, and it's getting bigger. A rear admiral exclaimed in horror. When the waves are taken, can the naval headquarters still exist? Is the sea god angry? I have been sailing on the sea for many years, and the highest waves I have ever seen are only a few tens of meters. That's more than a thousand meters. Such a huge wave shoots down, even steel can't stand it, will be crushed and deformed in an instant, not to mention our flesh and blood. Countless naval soldiers were terrified, their guns fell to the ground, and they stared at the sea in a daze. When the waves approached, they were already more than 2,000 meters high, and even the sun covered them. Warring states, Crane, Yellow Ape, Zephyr and other powerful people were also frightened. Such a huge wave shoots down, the naval headquarters will be destroyed. Giant, you're going too far. Warring states roared. What? Is this what Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit will do? It's horrible. Will the Peach Rabbit be able to control the sea? What a joke. Is this such a terrifying demon fruit ability? Really fake. How can what the warring states marshal said be false? The pheasant had a serious look. Ara, your ability is too terrible. Giant held aloft his giant sword and looked down at the pheasant. Since it is a competition, of course, it is necessary to show all your strength. The pheasant spread its hands and two icicles emerged connecting the monstrous waves. Ice Age. The monstrous waves were gradually frozen, and when the waves were about to fall, they were all frozen. The mighty waves are only a few meters away and will fall on the naval headquarters. The pheasant shrugged, your demon fruit is very powerful, but my ability just happens to restrain you. The corners of giant's mouth rose, that's not necessarily true. Scorching sea currents. The pheasant hurriedly retreated. The sea, which had been frozen, began to thaw, turning into boiling hot water forming a long dragon in the air. The pheasant tried to freeze the current again, but it was unable to do so. I actually broke my ice in an instant, and your ability is really powerful. Pheasant can't help but feel a headache. It's not over yet. Pheasant General. The battle between the two sides lasted for several hours. The sea was frozen and then thawed, back and forth a dozen times, and the naval soldiers were confused. This battle did not distinguish between victory and defeat, and the warring states stopped the two in time, continuing to fight who loses and who wins, is not good for the Navy. After this war, everyone in the naval headquarters knew the strength of Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, as well as the power to control the sea. The news spread and shocked countless people. The power to manipulate the sea is amazing. It was simply the nemesis of countless capable people, and the demon fruit abilities among the pirates saw the news and angrily tore the newspaper to pieces, worried in their hearts, afraid of encountering a Peach Rabbit and being engulfed by the sea. The second half of the Great Passage, Blackwing is returning. I haven't seen Kaido for a long time, and when I go back this time, I must challenge Kaido again. Big and excitedly waved his small fist. Suyu held a newspaper with a picture of the Peach Rabbit summoning the waves. The height of the waves was already far higher than the height of the naval headquarters. Such terrible waves, enough to engulf everything. The newspaper said that Peach Rabbit might become the fourth general. The fourth general who terrifies pirates. Things get interesting. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose. Brubble tilde. The phone worm rings, and Suyu connects the phone worm. The phone worm changed its appearance, and Suyu saw at a glance that it was Doff Flamingo. Foo for wings of nothingness, I haven't seen you for a long time, and you've made a lot of trouble these days. Doff Flamingo said, Dover. Is there anything looking for me? Is the devil fruit I wanted to be found? Suyu said lightly. It's really indifferent. The demon fruit you want already has eyebrows. If there is no accident, after a while, the swallowing fruit will be delivered to your hands. Good job. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose. Dover, too, is a smart guy. Only if you have the power to suppress Dover, Dover's knife can be used for you. It's rare to get the praise of your excellency the wings of nothingness. You're not looking for me to reminisce about the past, to tell me what happened. The Whitebeard Pirate Regiment has been moving very frequently lately, and may be at war with the Hundred Beasts, so why don't you go to participate? Not interested. Suyu shook her head. The Whitebeard Pirate Regiment has more pirates than the Hundred Beasts. Thanks to the Whitebeard's strongest name in the world, countless pirates who entered the second half of the Great Passage saw the terror of the Sea Emperor and turned around to join the Sea Emperor's pirate regiment. A large part of the pirates have taken a fancy to the strongest name in the world of Whitebeard and choose to join the Whitebeard pirate regiment, and another part of the more vicious pirates will choose to join the Hundred Beasts regiment. In contrast, the number of pirates who chose to join the Big Mama pirates was the smallest. The main reason is that the mother is moody and even her own sons and daughters. Although Kaido is also a bit neurotic, at least Kaido looks at talent, 
As long as you are strong or qualified, he will reuse you. Suyu rubbed his chin, and it turned out that the meaning of war in Kaido's mouth was war with the white beard pirates. Admiral Sengoku issued an order to let the seven martial seas encircle and suppress you. Let the seven martial seas encircle and suppress me? It was a good note. But unfortunately the warring states miscalculated the disposition of the Seven Martial Seas. Suyu was a little surprised. He was not worried about the Seven Martial Seas uniting. First, the Seven Martial Seas could not be united. The Seven Martial Seas fought their own battles, and with the exception of Hawkeye, the other Seven Martial Seas all became the Seven Martial Seas in order to achieve a certain purpose. Even when the Seven Wu Seas were assembled in the war at the top, they were not really united, and all the Seven Wu Seas were paddling, and there was no idea of fighting for the navy. Second, even if the Seven Martial Seas were united, what could they do with him? He wasn't the fledgling kid anymore. The Seven Martial Seas are united, and he can also crush the Seven Martial Seas. Foo Fur Fur and you don't seem to worry at all, because you killed two Kyu Hai in succession. It had a great impact on the name of the Kyu Hai. As a result, many pirates in the sea began to despise the Seven Martial Seas, and more people challenged the Seven Martial Seas, and there were already Seven Martial Seas dissatisfied with you. Maybe it will rob you. Do Flamingo said. Let them come. So human didn't care. Dover. There have been a lot of pirates harassing you lately, and you're a little upset with me? No, we're partners, how can I be upset with you? That's fine, I'm looking forward to seeing you again, and next time remember to bring your family. Dover on the other side frowned, why would Suyu say such a sentence at the end? His family? Definitely referring to the people of the Don Quixote family, wings of nothingness? What exactly is your goal? Do Flamingo murmured. The phone bug cuts off the connection and the Black Wing connects with a large ship carrying the flag of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment. Chapter 113 My lord, there is a ship of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment in front of you. Nami teleported to Suyu's side. This is her ability, which can teleport and be temporarily invincible. The Big Mama Pirate skies stopped us from doing something. Suyu looked at the pirate ship opposite. On the Big Mama Pirate ship stood a group of tall men with the same appearance. It's Charlotte's ability to frame what he's here to do. Does the Big Mama Pirates want to intervene in the war between the Hundred Beasts and the Whitebeard Pirates? Clement is one of the three stars of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment. No, it is now one of the four stars. Charlotte Snag has not yet been expelled from the General Star's ranks. The current bounty is 800 million. On the Big Mama Pirate ship, Cleric hides among the Cookie Warriors and shouts at the Black Wing. Wings of nothingness to you. On behalf of my mother. I have come to invite you to the tea party in all countries. Not interested. Suyu waved his hand. Cracker's face darkened, and he said in a bad tone, Are you sure you don't want to go? Mum's invitation was not even dared by the Dark Lord. The people who dared to refuse their mother's tea party invitation were all dead. Invitation to Mum's tea party. But it's taboo on the sea. Taboo? Ha ha ha. Suyu laughed. The so-called taboo. Only for the weak. For the strong. The taboo of the big mother is like the gravel on the side of the road, not worth mentioning. No one dares to refuse Big Mama's tea party invitation because Big Mama will only invite people who are not as strong as her. If Big Mama invites strong people such as Whitebeard, Five Old Stars, and Kaidos, she will definitely be rejected. Big Mom couldn't do anything about it. When you talk about the Dark Lord, I remember that your aunt pirates should know where the headquarters of the funeral house is. Tell me where the headquarters of the funeral house is, Sue so said. The revenge of the funeral house. He did not forget. For the Dark King who dared to send a killer to attack him, so you would definitely not let go. You follow me, and maybe Mom will tell you where the funeral home is headquartered. Clement muffled. What if I refuse? So you smiled lightly. Krypton looked at the pirates on Suyu's ship. He looked at the pirates on his ship again and decided not to bother with Suyu first. He knew very well that these people he had brought with him could not stop each other at all. Ahem. The consequences of rejecting mum. You'll find out soon. Cleric snorted coldly. After passing the news to the mother, it will definitely make the mother angry. The next time he came to look for Suyu, he would not be the only one. Mum will definitely take it personally. Seeing that Crutch was leaving, Suyu snapped his fingers. Benata behind him instantly understood what he meant, flew into the air, and released a large amount of cold air. Absolutely frozen gas. The sea freezes at a very fast speed and the fish in the sea are wrapped in cold ice. The ship of the Cleef Rain was frozen and unable to sail. The cold ice spread out an unknown distance, and there was no end in sight. The pirates on the Clee boat were shivering, and they didn't know whether it was because the temperature was too low for the body to shiver involuntarily, or whether they were terrified after seeing this force. The sea, frozen. Isn't this power only available to Admiral Pheasants? Why does that woman have that power too? The pirate cried out in horror. What a strong force. What should we do? Lord Cleric, the ship is frozen and unable to sail. The Krypton hiding inside the biscuit soldier's face was hard to see, Suyu, what are you doing? Suyu held his chin, and Nami and Robin next to him poured him tea and one pounded his legs, 
so as not to enjoy it. There is absolutely no tension in front of the strong enemy. Suyu's sense of contempt made Kraichel angry in his heart. Think you can leave after the harsh words? Think I'm doing charity? Let me teach you what a pirate is, Luke. Let me see how powerful you are now, Suyu said lightly. Obey orders, sir, Lu Chi said respectfully. Seeing that Suyu had sent a man who did not even have a bounty to fight him, the thunder was furious and created a dozen cookie soldiers. He jumped on the ice and looked at Lucy coldly. Did you offend him and send you to his death? Cleric cold channel. Lu gripped off the cape from his shoulder and looked coldly at the cleric. I'm not familiar with this force yet, but beating you shouldn't be a problem. Boy, you're so arrogant. Cricket. Leopard King. Luke was wrapped in white bone armor, his hair became longer. A white bone piece appeared on his forehead, and a long tail was borne on the back. There are also two inverted blades on the arms, which are very sharp. Lu Chi's breath exploded, completely different from his previous one as if they were two people. The body erupted with blue flames, and the terrifying pressure made the shoulders of the cleric hiding in the biscuit soldiers sink. Klugger gritted his teeth and cried out in his heart that it was impossible. What kind of power is this that makes him feel so stressed? Luke in front of him did not seem to be a person, but a monster ready to prey on his soul. Up! Klugger roared. A dozen cookie soldiers rushed to Luke, and in front of the tall cookie soldiers, Luke looked very small. Luke shook his fist, surprised by the explosive power in his body. With such strong strength, my physical fitness has improved by many times. In this state, he was enough to kill himself in one move. The speed had increased dramatically, and he had a feeling in his heart that he could easily bypass these biscuit soldiers and attack the creeks behind him. Luke leaned down like a cheetah trying to pray. Since there is such a force, why should I bypass it? Sue. So, Luke turned into a blue bolt of lightning and rushed to a cookie soldier at a speed invisible to the naked eye, kicking his legs at the head of the cookie soldier. The cookie soldier didn't have time to react and was kicked in the head. After kicking a cookie soldier in the head, Luke did not stop, flashing quickly among a dozen cookie soldiers. The cookie soldier swung his sword quickly, but could not attack Luchi. Cleric was anxious and gradually became irritable. Damn, damn it, how can it be so fast? Why is it so fast? Can't attack. Damn guys, he's too fast. With a big swing of the Klee frame, more cookie soldiers were created to join the battlefield. But in this way, the strength of the Klee frame will drop rapidly. The biscuit soldiers grew and Luke retreated, staring at the Clement behind him. As soon as you get rid of them, these cookie soldiers should disappear, Luke murmured. Thinking of this, Luchi flew into the air, and the sharp claws made blue claw marks. Leopard King's claw. Huge blue claw marks fell from the sky, and the biscuit soldiers resisted with shields. Cheers. Bang. The blue claw marks tore open the shields of the biscuit soldiers, destroying their bodies. One by one the cookie soldiers fell, and the cleavage hiding behind hurriedly created more cookie soldiers. When Luke created the cookie soldier, he emitted five turquoise flakes of light. Leopard Hook. Each one has tremendous power, extremely fast, and difficult to dodge. When Creech found out, it was over, and he couldn't hide from it. Oops. In awe, Klegger hurried away from the cookie soldier. Boom. Bang bang bang. The biscuit soldier was pierced, and the cleric hid behind him, a cold sweat rising from his forehead. If he hadn't dodged in time, he would have been the one who had been pierced. Damn guy. Obviously, there is no bounty and it is still so strong. Are the guys on Suyu's ship all monsters? Krista scolded in his heart. Luchi still wanted to attack, but was stopped by Suyu. My lord, I can solve him. Luke whispered. Luke, you're too slow. Suyu slowly got up and flew into the air. The grown-ups are going to take matters into their own hands. I haven't seen an adult shoot in a long time. The pirates on the Black Wing shouted in surprise. When the cliff frame is finished, it gives rise to the idea that the adult will take a shot, and it is a good thing that he can save his life. Oh just a big mother pirate regiment of the star. The bounty is not even a billion, but also dare to be arrogant in front of adults, death is also deserved, block it, black wing demon. Suddenly, the sky was covered with dark clouds, thunder rolled, and infinite thunder was rolling and roaring. Compared to the scene when Suyu first cast the black wing demon form, the scene is even more terrifying now. The air seemed to be filled with inexplicable forces, suppressing everyone's nerves. Dark raindrops fell on Kreitch's face, and Kreitch's heart involuntarily gave birth to infinite fear. The pair of black wings gradually enlarged under his eyes. Terrible guy, Clement murmurs. This force is similar to the power of mother. And it seems to be more domineering than the power of the mother. Could it be that Suyu also has soul-related powers? Sizzle Tilda. Clegg took a breath of cool air, and the more he thought about it, the more frightened he became. If it was really as he thought, Suyu's strength could restrain his mother. You have to get this news to your mother, Krekka said firmly. In the air, Suyu held out a finger, and the inky black flash converged. Not a flash. Nor is it a bombshell. It's a black flash. Black flash that can only be used in the liberated state. Ten times more powerful than ordinary virtual flashes. It is also the power that Suyu has newly realized. At the moment when the black void flashed and condensed, the hearts of the people on the Klieger pirate ship stagnated, and the breath of death spread. Su, bang, rumble. The black void flashed down, and the huge grand pirate ship exploded, reduced to powder, 
and no pirate could survive. The sea cracked, and the extremely strong biscuit soldiers looked like paper paste before the black void flashed. The clee frame resisted with all its might, and a side of the biscuit was condensed in front of him, covered with armed color domineering. Block it. Clegg roared. He's done his best. But there was no accident, the black void flash easily broke through the biscuit shield, even if the gram frame was covered with a layer of armed color, it only resisted for one more second. The black void flashed across the ice, leaving an abyss that spread out for more than a dozen kilometers. In the distance caused a big explosion, the sea rolled over, and the waves rose. The pirates on the black wing were wide-eyed, and Batman's mouth was wide open, and even if he had expected it, he was shocked by the scene in front of him. The adults don't look tired at all. But just a casual blow has such power. I wonder if this blow of the adult is stronger or weaker than the hot breath of Boss Kaido? Batman whispered. This scene happened to be filmed by a passing newsbird. Chapter 114 Luke, get the Clegg. So you said lightly. He didn't kill the Krypton, he just broke one of the cleric's hands. The cleric is still valuable, and it is a pity to kill it now. Obey orders, sir. Luke escaped into the sea and fished out the Clement from the seabed. This scene was seen by the other pirates, and they were all shocked, and Luchi was not afraid of the sea. He was obviously a demon fruit power. So he looked up at the newsbird that was far away in the sky, and it did not capture the moment when Luchi went to the sea, but it did capture the scene of his shot. Run so fast to do something, you help me increase my prestige, how can I kill you? So you whispered. Whether his prestige can break through again depends on the newsbird. In fact, he just noticed the arrival of the newsbird, so he deliberately shot it and let the newsbird shoot it. If he didn't want the newsbird to take pictures, with the strength of the newsbird, he would have stopped it long ago. Soon. Luke found the unconscious Clement at the bottom of the sea. After fishing up the Clixicon, Luchi secretly marveled in his heart that Suyu's strength was really strong. One blow defeated the cleric. This is one of the general stars of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment. Suyu returned to the Black Wing, and Nami Robin stepped forward to give him a massage. Luke, find out the phone bug of the cleric. After a while, Lucy brought the phone worm of the Clement. After the phone worm connected, the voice of Katakuri came. Krypton, have you found the wings of nothingness? Katakuri's voice is low with an invisible sense of oppression. Katakuri, I'm Suyu, tell me where the headquarters of the funeral house is. Suyu said lightly. Suyu, how will the Klee Aup phone worm be in your hands and what will happen to the Klee Opa? Katakuri's face changed dramatically. It's not okay, just a broken hand, not dead. If you tell me the location of the funeral home headquarters, in a few days I'll send you back the Clement. Suyu said. On the side of the nations, Katakuri heard Suyu's words and fell into deep thought. What does Suyu do to find the funeral home headquarters? The funeral house provoked Suyu. All kinds of possibilities flashed in his mind, and finally out of affection, Kataku said slowly, I hope you can keep the agreement. The funeral home is on Kaka Island. Suyu Ayan revealed a hint of a smile. Very good, Kataguri, worthy of you. I'm interested in you, Kataguri. We'll have a day to meet. The phone worm disconnected, and Suyu waved his hand and ordered the pirates to take the Clement down. Don't kill, I'm not a man without faith, Suyu said. Yes, sir. The pirates took the Clement to the iron cage. Kinlemi. Looking for the location of Kaka Island, Suyu ordered. Kinlemi holds a chart of the Great Voyage, drawn by the Hundred Beasts. Ten minutes later, Kinlemi found the location of Kaka Island. My lord, I found it. Go, the revenge of the funeral house. We should also repay, Suyu said coldly. The garbage in the funeral house. I'm going to slaughter them. Thief ha ha ha. Even adults dare to provoke. There are also killers, and those who underestimate us have only one way to die. Kill. Kill all the guys in the funeral house. The pirates aboard the Black Wing roared murderous. Under the leadership of Suyu, they had not eaten a single defeat, and their self-confidence was getting bigger and bigger. Universal. After thinking about it for a long time, Katakuri decided to tell the aunt about it. After all, after Klitsch came back, he couldn't hide this matter. After thinking about it, Katakuri went to Big Mama's cake room. Big Mom was eating at this time, frantically devouring the cream cake. Mama Mama delicious cream cake. I want it. I want more. Big Mom danced her hands and said happily. Mom. Katakuri came to Big Mama. Katakuri, what have you come to do? Are you bringing Suyu back? Big Mom asked in a muffled voice. No, Mom, the Clement failed and was captured by Suyu. Katakuri said. What the? The big aunt was angry and broke out into a terrifying wave, and the pirates around them showed a frightened expression. It's over, Mom is angry again. It's going to be bad. I hope my mother doesn't kill us. I don't want to die yet. Big Mom leaned down, and the disgusting saliva dripped to the ground. That grab of the cliché, it failed. I was also caught by a small child. What a useless thing. Mom. You can't blame Crooky for this. Suyu is very strong, the bounty is as high as two billion, and it is normal for the Colloid to not be an opponent, Katakuri said. The fact that the Navy was able to give Suyu such a high bounty shows that his strength is very strong. Blindly engaging in sabotage can greatly increase the bounty. But after reaching a certain point, there is not enough strength, and the Navy will not give too high a bounty. After all, the Navy also has to eat, 
and a high bounty for those who are weak will immediately attract the bounty hunters, and then take the heads of those guys to the navy in exchange for a large amount of bailey. The navy didn't have as many baileys, nor will the world government allow the navy to pay high bounties to guys who are too weak. Most of their baileys were in the hands of the Draco. The Draco spends a huge amount of bailey every day. Cannot be used in large quantities to give bounty money, otherwise the Draco people will not be used by and the consequences will be very serious. Category, you said how to punish Suyu. Big Mom said. Mom, you need to take it personally to bring Suyu back. Category said. Mama Mama a bunch of crap, dealing with a small child, and let me shoot. Big Mama roared angrily, destroying everything around her. Category had no choice but to watch as her mother made a big fuss. After a lot of trouble, Big Mom connected Kaido's phone worm. Kaido, I want Suyu. You gave him to me. Big Mom said bluntly. Ling Ling, you dream. That's my guy. Kaido didn't give Big Mama any face. Among the emperors of the sea, Whitebeard is known as the strongest man in the world, and Kaido is known as the strongest creature in the sea, land and air. The weakest is the Big Mother, although the Big Mother is amazingly talented, but does not know how to use her own talent, did not fully develop her own strength. The overall strength of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment is also weaker than that of Kaido and Whitebeard's Pirate Regiment. Kaido, you're looking for death. Big Mama is angry. Ling Ling, if you can kill me, just give it a try. Kaido laughed. I'll make you regret it. Kaido, Big Mama Senhun said. Kaido disagreed and cut off the connection. On the ghost island, Yam Yan Ember said dismissively, that crazy woman, she still dares to speak wildly, and now she is still pregnant. Yes, she's still pregnant. Ling Ling and she spends most of her time giving birth. Kaido picked up the wine gourd and poured a few mouthfuls of tons and tons. Obviously, she has super talent, but she is obsessed with having children, and Lingling Ling is not saved. Yam Yan members have also dealt with big guns and know some of each other's details. He even knew that Lingling Ling and Kaido had had an experience on the rocks boat. Unfortunately, they did not give birth to a single child. Kaido's eyes flashed a glimmer of essence. If the big mother was really pregnant with his child, he would definitely rob that child. The child who inherited the blood of the two monsters of him and his mother must be very terrifying. It's a pity. The number of exchanges between the two is still too small. At night, on the Black Wing, Luke arrives at the Iron Prison and meets Califer and Bruno. It's you, damn guys. The Krypton, also imprisoned in the Iron Prison, immediately roared. He was imprisoned in another Iron Prison as opposed to Bruno's. Do you still want to fight? Luke raised an eyebrow. Do you really think I'm going to lose to you? I lost to Suyu. Cleggy roared. Oh my road has just begun, and your road has come to an end. There is no comparison. Lucy shook his head. If nothing else, the strength of the Krypton will not be explosively improved. He can keep climbing. The power given by the adult. He has not yet fully developed. The more he developed the power given by adults, the more Luchi felt that the strength of adults was unfathomable. You guys, don't be too arrogant. Luke ignored the glitch and looked at Khalifa and Bruno. Khalifa, Bruno, join Lord Suyu with me. Luke persuaded. Khalifa lifted her glasses and said plainly, Luchi, this is not like you. You didn't join the pirates before. What changed your mind? Bruno didn't say a word, and he looked at Lucy silently. In fact, he had already made a decision in his heart. Just wanted to listen to an explanation from Luchi. Luchi was silent for a moment and said slowly, Unlike other pirates, adults' goals are not only to become One Piece, or that the title of One Piece is nothing to adults. I don't want to do things for the Draco people anymore, whether it is for the Draco people or for the world government. If I am not careful, I will be destroyed. Is this kind of frightening day really what we want? The world government has condemned us as defectors, and even if we leave the Black Wing, we will be hunted down by the world government. So why go back? Go back and die? Lucy said a lot. Khalifa nodded. I see, Lucy. In fact, she and Bruno have a good relationship with Lucy and both of them have always had Lucy as the leader. Since Luke joined the pirates, they will join as well. The title of One Piece is nothing to him. What nonsense are you talking about? The title of One Piece is what countless pirates dream of. Even Kaido, the Hundred Beasts, wants to become One Piece. You actually said he didn't care about the title of One Piece. Crouch sneered. Isn't the goal of One Piece to become One Piece and find the treasure left by Roger? Luchi glanced at the Clement lightly and said dismissively, Don't be that adult, compared to those ordinary pirates. Cleric almost died of anger. What is called an ordinary pirate? Is the hundred beasts Kaido ordinary? Is Big Mom ordinary? They all want to be One Piece. Are they all ordinary pirates? This guy wouldn't be a lunatic. You guy, you've been brainwashed by Suyu. It's unbelievable. Lucy unshackled Califa and Bruno's handcuffs and shackles. Welcome back, my old buddies. Chapter 115 Luchi took Califa and Bruno to find a place to live, and then came to Suyu. Suyu stood alone at the bow of the ship, hunting in his clothes, and the moonlight stretched his shadow. My lord. The two of them have surrendered, Luke whispered. Very good, Lucy. So you said lightly. It is my honor to share the worries of adults. Luchi, work hard, don't waste your talent. You were very talented, but you wasted a long time in the Seven Waters capital. Strength is respected on my ship, 
and you can become the sixth of the ten blades because the ten blades have not yet been put together. When the ten blades are together in the future, you don't want to be kicked out of the team of ten blades because of your lack of strength. So you adopted the method of stronger combat strength and higher ranking. If someone exceeds the strength of the ten blades, he can become a ten blades in order, and the loser will be erased from the numbers and become ordinary carders. Luchi's A's were firm, please rest assured, I will definitely keep the position of the ten blades. I hope so. With more and more of Suyu's men, it was very difficult for Luchi to keep the position of the ten blades. This is still that he did not include the peach rabbit in the ten blades, and if the peach rabbit was also included in the ten blades, Luchi's ranking would definitely not be six. The black wing headed in the direction of the funeral home. Meanwhile, the big newsbird Morgans received photos from his men. It's so powerful. One move will kill the senior carders of the Big Mama Pirate Regiment in a second, worthy of a super sea thief with a bounty of two billion, Big Newsbird Morgans said. Tomorrow's breaking point is there, and this time the newspaper can sell again. Ha ha ha. Although the Big Newsbird Morgans is jealous of Big Mum, he will not hesitate to let it out in the face of Big News. The major powers of the world knew his disposition, so few people went to embarrass Morgans because of it. The next day, Suyu's newspaper began to circulate on the sea. The photo was taken very clearly and Suyu spread his wings as if he were a demon king from hell. The black flash released, a single blow cut the sea into an abyss. The power of terror was seen by countless people through the photos, and their hearts could not help but chill. I fantasized in my heart that if I had endured this blow, would I have survived? Most likely, it can't be. This photo directly made Suyu's reputation irritable again. Somewhere in the sea in the second half of the Great Passage, a pirate ship sailed, and one of the men on board wore a hat and flames came out of his hands burning the newspaper to the ground. Little ones, let's challenge the wings of nothingness. Firefist Ace shouted, ha ha ha, after defeating the wings of nothingness, will the bounty on Ace's ship become two billion? One of the pirates laughed, challenging the wings of nothingness? Do you really want to challenge such a formidable opponent? Another pirate was very worried. What are you afraid of? Captain Ace is a natural ability, the same ability as the three admirals of the navy. Even if the void wing is strong, it will not be the opponent of Captain Ace. That's right. How can a wing of nothingness be Captain Ace's opponent? Not long ago, Captain Ace had just turned down the Navy's invitation to the Seven Martial Seas. The Seven Wu Sea is known as the three major forces of the sea together with the Emperor of the Sea and the Navy, and the Navy invited Captain Ace to join the Seven Wu Sea, which is enough to prove the strength of Captain Ace. But the Void Wings killed two Seven Martial Seas. Those two Seven Martial Seas are very garbage, they don't even dare to come to the Great Passage, they can only bully some little pirates, are we little pirates? The pirates constantly praised Ace making Ace, who had not suffered setbacks since going to sea, a little fluttery. The corners of Ace's mouth rose and he laughed. Defeat the wings of nothingness first, then go find Kaido the hundred beasts, and then become one piece. Ace said confidently, if there was no Suyu, Ace would challenge the hundred beasts Kaido at the next stop, preparing to snatch the name of the strongest creature in the sea, land and air. Of course, all this was his fantasy. At this time, Ace had not yet mastered the two-color domineering, but it was able to use the overlord domineering spirit freely. Whether it is physical fitness, fruit development or domineering, Ace is far from the top strong. It was only by relying on the strength of the natural burnt fruit and the excellent bloodline talent of One Piece Roger that Ace broke all the way from the East Sea to the second half of the Great Passage. Not long ago, the Navy invited Ace to become the Seven Martial Seas, and after Ace refused, he sank the Navy's ships, and the bounty rose again, and there were already 400 million. He is currently the most popular of pirate supernovae. Ace was interested in Suyu, a sea thief who was 15 or 16 years old and already had a bounty of 2 billion. Although Suyu in the photo is terrible, Ace does not think that he will lose to Suyu. After all, he didn't even pay attention to Whitebeard and Kaido at the moment. From the fact that he later broke into Ghost Islands alone and challenged Whitebeard many times, you can see how proud and confident Ace is. Kasha Island Funeral House Headquarters The head of the funeral house, Beakro receives news that the Black Wing is approaching. Stussy, how could you be so kind to pass me a message? Pierrot wondered. His relationship with Stutzy was not good. It can be said that all the Dark Lords have a bad relationship with him. Pyclo is so crazy that he destroys everything with gas bombs at every turn, which is simply inhuman. Even the Dark Lord, who had done all the evil things, looked down on him. Oh, Pierrot, don't underestimate the wings of nothingness, it's a presence that even the Admiral can't solve. If you don't want to die, run away. Stussy said coldly. I understand. But I wrote down this vendetta. The wings of nothingness is very strong, but he must have a family, a relative. I will send his loved ones to hell one by one and let him feel the horrors of the funeral home. Pike Rosenson smiled. If you can do it, do it. Stussy's purpose was simple, to let Pike Rowe cause some trouble for Suyu. She is also a member of CP0, which recently slaughtered a large number of CP0 members, resulting in the failure of the mission. 
The Draco was therefore very dissatisfied with the CPO and punished the remaining CP0 members. Although Stussy was an old man in the CPO, he was also punished. This upset Stussy and decided to take revenge on Suyu. Moreover, the Drake also gave CP0 the task of eliminating Suyu as much as possible. Stussy did not expect Pykele to be able to solve Suyu, but with Pykele's means, it should be possible to weaken the power around Suyu. The Wing of Nothingness has ten blades under his command, and is the elite combatant on his ship so you must be careful. Ten blades after a while it will become bladeless. Pierrot smiled darkly. Meanwhile, Blackwing approached the funeral home headquarters and did not advance further. Is it okay? Suyu asked. My lord, I can already open the door to the funeral house headquarters. Bruno nodded. His demon fruit development degree had not yet gone up. The distance between the door and the door was limited, and the distance could not be ignored to open the door. By this time the Blackwing was close to the funeral house's headquarters and his door was able to open to the island. Open the door, Suyu ordered. Bruno opens an air door and opposite the funeral home is the headquarters of the funeral home. Yamato held out a hand and said in amazement, it's really a magical power, and with this power, it becomes much easier to chase. Those guys in the funeral house, they can't jump off. They couldn't have dreamed that before our ship had docked. The people had already arrived at their headquarters. The guys in the funeral house are all damned, this time we must catch the leader of the funeral house, Pierro. Let him know our horrors. The pirates are full of murderous intent, eager to rush over and kill Pierre now. Suyu's eyes flashed with murderous intent and he waved a big hand. Ten blades follow me and destroy the headquarters of the funeral house. Be sure to kill Pyro. Yamato picked up the wolf's tooth stick, stepped over the air gate, and appeared on the island. This guy doesn't dare to provoke Big Mum, he even dares to provoke adults. He is really looking for death, Rune Yuan said as she stepped over the air gate. The first blade Yoma, the second blade Yamato, the third blade Runjin, the fourth blade Aniru the fifth blade Nina, the sixth blade Luchi. Suyu's ten blades team shot together, and this time, he would not give Piero any chance to resist. Whoever dares to help Piero will go to hell together. Nami looked at the team that attacked this time and couldn't help but smirk. The adults are determined to destroy the funeral home, and even if the big mother comes, she can't stop the determination of the adults. Nami said. Khalifa raised her glasses, she had also seen the power of the ten blades and naturally did not doubt Nami's words. I'm going to help too. Are you a combatant? Nami was surprised to see and Khalifa. Of course. Khalifa looked up and down at Nami. You're not a combatant? She's seen Nami's ability to teleport, talking and laughing with you on deck one second, and teleporting to the ship's pole the next second to observe the storm. After inquiring, Khalifa learned that Nami's demon fruit ability was teleportation. Knowing Nami's ability, Khalifa was very envious in his heart, and the ability to teleport was well utilized, very powerful and it was absolutely invincible to carry out assassination missions. Nami shrugged and spread her hands, of course not a combatant, I'm just a navigator, or an adult maid. The corners of Khalifa's mouth twitched, were the people on the Black Wing monsters? Talents who can teleport are not combatants on the ship. What waste? Nami patted Khalifa's shoulder, honestly be a data clerk, don't think about fighting, you are too weak. Khalifa seemed to have received 10,000 critical hits inside. Robin, who was watching the play, covered his mouth and smiled softly. Do you want to come and help me? I happen to be missing a helper for sorting out the documents. Khalifa shook her head. I'm still more inclined to be the adult secretary. If possible, she was more like a combatant. Then talk to an adult at night. Maybe the adult will make you a secretary. Nami smiled evilly. I see. Not far away, a small boat carried a tall, blonde man with wild blonde hair, a crescent-like and slender beard, a very strong upper body, and very small legs. He held a large knife in his hand and looked a little silly. Next to the strong man sat a small old woman. Her face was covered with disgusting makeup, and wrinkles were all over her face. Chapter 116 Rumble Roar A loud dragon roar caught their attention. Looking in the direction of the funeral house headquarters, I saw a huge flame dragon flying in the sky. Mom, what a big dragon. The blonde man was surprised. Wimble, don't make a fuss. How can there be dragons in the world? Barkin said with a disgruntled turn of his head. When she saw the shadowy figure of the flame dragon, she was also frightened. Are there really dragons in the world? Shouldn't that be just a legend? Barkin murmured. Mom. Are we going to the funeral home? Wimble said dumbfounded. Don't go first, observe the situation. Barkin wouldn't put himself in danger. The appearance of a flame dragon above the funeral house was obviously abnormal. This flame dragon is definitely not on the side of the funeral house, that is to say, it is the enemy of the funeral house. Found by the flame dragon, it was difficult to say whether the funeral house could continue to exist, and she was not in a hurry to rush to the funeral house. Mom, but you said yesterday that you were going to earn money for the funeral home, Wimble said. There's nothing wrong with making money in the funeral home, but it's also about timing. These guys in the funeral house are not good people, and if I guess correctly, it is this flame dragon that the funeral house wants us to help deal with. Barkin's brow tightened, the wrinkles on her face were more, and with her overdressed face, 
She looked very disgusting. Yesterday, the head of the funeral house, Beagro, sent her a message asking her to help deal with a man who would give them a huge amount of treasure after the fact. How could the greedy Bajin disagree, and immediately agreed, taking Wemble to the funeral house overnight to collect the deposit. I didn't expect to be at the headquarters of the funeral house, but I saw such a scene. On the island, Beagro has just cut off a call with Stussy. Bang! The roar was audible and a huge shockwave overturned a large area of houses. The temperature on the island rose sharply. Pierrot felt a hint of heat. Who? Bang. The gate was slammed open and a killer broke in. Adult. There are enemy invasions. There is a dragon in the sky. It's spewing flames at the island's buildings. Pycro's face changed dramatically. Damn. It's the wings of nothingness. How did he come so fast? As soon as Stussy's news arrived, Sue broke in. Are the guards all a bunch of crap? I didn't even notice that a ship was approaching. Pierrot roared angrily. My lord, no boats are near. They suddenly appeared on the island. The killer said. Pierrot giggled. Suddenly appeared on the island. What exactly did they use? The incomprehensible Pietro decided to escape first, and if he continued to stay here, he would undoubtedly die. He's crazy, but he's definitely not stupid. Colliding head on with the prepared wings of nothingness, he didn't have the guts. On the island, Sue was separated from his subordinates and he walked very leisurely in the funeral home headquarters, as if on vacation. The so-called Dark Lord, for ordinary people, is very powerful and will be very afraid of Picro. But for the super pirates on the sea, the strength of the funeral house is not terrible. In the eyes of the Sea Emperor, the Dark Lord was just a group of guys with a wide range of forces, and they were not a threat. He didn't have to send out so many people, because he did not want to spare a funeral house killer. He decided to let six people intervene and jointly destroy the funeral home. The Dark Lord who was first lonely was Dar Flamingo. But now his fate has changed, Sue so said lightly. He stopped and looked at a special building in front of him. It resembles a black bowl buckled upside down on the ground, which is very different from the surrounding architectural style. Sue so approached the black bowl building, and two bullets shot at him at the same time, one left and one right, aiming at his arms. Bang tilde, the bullet landed on Sue's body, and it was bounced off with a bang. Sue's skin didn't even leave a single mark. As early as the time of the Kingdom of Peace, his steel skin was very strong able to defend against bullet attacks. Not to mention him now. Even if you attack him with artillery, you won't be able to hurt him a single hair. The two killers hiding in the shadows were horrified. Is this the legendary sea thief? Bullets can't break the skin. He didn't use armed color just now. Why didn't we use armed colors to stop our bullets? Monsters. It's a monster. One of the killers said in horror. In the next instant, the Suyu in their eyes disappeared. When I was in the land of peace, many people said I was a monster. Suyu's voice sounded behind the killer. The killer's body stiffened and turned his head mechanically. You, when will it come to me? The killer said in disbelief. Just now, Suyu raised his hand and waved it gently. The killer's head disappeared, and the headless body slammed heavily into the ground. Fingers flashed a dark green glow and the virtual bullet hit another killer with great speed. Bang! Boom! The killer blew up the ground beneath his feet, leaving nobody behind. After lightly solving the two major killers, Suyu kicked open the door of the Black Bowl building. Bang! The gate shattered. After entering, Suyu saw rows of iron cages, all mixed with Hayalu stones, and the hardness was extremely high. In each of the iron cages were one or two people, their eyes dull and unfocused, as if they were dead people. After seeing Suyu break in, they looked at Suyu in unison, their eyes flat. Who is this? How come I've never seen it? It must have been Pierre Gru's men, and I don't know what methods. He likes to torture people. Oh, Pycro, this bastard. Sooner or later he's going to hell. Hell? Who can send Pierre Crot to hell? He is the Dark Lord, and he has a relationship with Big Mother, who dares to move him. The prisoner in the iron prison, you say every word I say. Suyu unfolded his sight and found a guy hiding in a corner. The man was wearing a white coat and thick glasses, like a researcher. Hey, you're in charge here. Tell me what's going on here? Suyu asked coldly. The man in the white coat said tremblingly, Lord, I am not the person in charge, just a small researcher, the person in charge has already sneaked away, and I don't know where he is. Oh well, Sue so sneered, there are his people all over the island, Analu's sight has covered the entire island, who can escape? The person in charge of the white-clad man's mouth is now uncertain where he died. Tell me what's going on here. Sue so patted the white-clad man's shoulder. The huge force directly shattered the shoulder of the white-coated man, and the pain of the bone cracking made the white-coated man's face change suddenly and the cold sweat was direct, which was very painful. Adult. This is the research room built by the chief. The white-robed man endured the pain and fear and said in a broken voice. Suyu raised his finger, and a dark green flash appeared, aiming at the eyebrow of the white-robed man. I'll give you thirty seconds and tell me everything here, or I'll kill you now. Suyu's voice was flat, but the man in the white coat felt extremely frightened. Don't look away, my lord. I say, this is the cyborg lab built by Chief Pycro dedicated to cultivating powerful cyborgs. The people imprisoned in the iron cages are all experimental material. After a brief account by the man in the white coat, 
so you understood the meaning of the existence here. The artificial man in the white coat's mouth is not a robot, but is similar to the bloodline factor experiment done by Vince Mockgage. Collect the bloodline factors of powerful creatures and the bloodline factors of the strong ones, combine them to create monsters with powerful talents. Piercrot is ambitious and wants to use this technology to expand the power of the funeral house and engulf the other Dark Lords. Because the experiment is very difficult and the success rate is extremely low, Piercrot often sends the killer of the funeral house to assassinate the strong, collect the bloodline factor, and grab a large number of experimental materials by the way. These guys in the iron prison are the unlucky eggs caught by the funeral house killer, who are often beaten and tortured by the staff. Not only that, in addition to these people, there are many experimental materials on the underground floor. So you touched his chin, as the man in the white coat said, the killer who attacked them in the first place was an artificial man. The body is filled with poisonous gas. There is no pain, no matter how seriously injured, it can also get back up and continue to fight. Once dead, the poisonous gas in the body will explode, destroying all the lives around it. In addition, artificial people have almost no feelings, and only when there is an accident in the experiment will people create feelings. Take me to the place where artificial people are trained. So you said coldly, yes, please, my lord, don't kill me. The man in the white coat pleaded bitterly. At this moment, the people in the iron prison learned that Suyu was not a person of pure grot, and they were immediately excited. Hey, gremlin, let us out. Get us out. I can give you infinite wealth. I used to be a sea thief. The bounty is 80 million. Damn guy. Where are you going? Come and let us go. Bastards. Where are you going? When I go out, I can share my wealth and women with you. I have 13 women. Shut up. Suyu let out a low sigh and the terrifying overlord color erupted. In an instant, everyone rolled their eyes and fainted, losing consciousness. These guys aren't good guys either, and the funeral house chief, Beagro, is smart enough to know that large-scale arrests will lead to a crusade by the world government. And the guy who was too weak, P. Keller couldn't look up to either. Most of these people were pirates, thieves, or mountain thieves, and after they were captured, the world government would not only not crusade against him, but also relax its surveillance of him. A funeral home exists in large part because Pierrot is smart enough. If Pyclo dared to send a killer to assassinate the Draco, the next day, the funeral house would usher in the slaying order. Boom. The man in the white coat swallowed his saliva and was terrified. What a power. This is the legendary overlord color domineering spirit that only those who have the qualifications of a king will have. The man in the white coat led the way in front and came to the underground of the Black Bowl building. My lord, I know the location of the strongest artificial man which is said to be a monster created by using the bloodline factor of the sea emperor's aunt and the bloodline factor of the sea king. Extremely talented, but due to some instability, he has not yet been assassinated by Pycro. Chapter 117 Suyu was a little surprised to hear that even the bloodline factor of the great aunt could be obtained. How strong are these killers in the funeral house? As for the Neptune class, although Neptunes claim to be the overlords of the sea, they are strong and weak, and powerful Neptunes generally live in deep sea areas and do not easily float to the surface. Most of the Neptunes that people can see on the sea are ordinary Neptunes. The strength is not too strong, and the Blackwing has also encountered more than one Neptune attack, each time being easily solved, and then the Blackwing began to add food. With the strength of Pycro, it is still relatively easy to get the bloodline factor of the ordinary Sea King class. The man in the white coat scratched his head and whispered, I heard that it was the Big Mother's hair that Lord Picroy got at the tea party and the bloodline factor extracted from a large amount of hair. The corners of Suyu's mouth twitched slightly, which turned out to be the big mother bloodline factor obtained by relying on this way. He also thought that Piccolo had drawn his aunt's blood. But is there also a pedigree factor in the hair? Take me, Suyu said. The artificial person with a big mother bloodline factor is definitely stronger than the genetically modified people of the Vince Mock family. The man in the white coat pushed open an iron door and crossed the dark corridor to finally reach his destination. What came into view was a row of people with closed eyes, dressed in pure white clothes, lying calmly on the iron bed, their hands and feet firmly fixed by the iron chains of the seat tower stone. After Suyu and the man in the white coat walked in, they did not open their eyes, as if they did not feel anything. Adult, these artificial people are all failures, in a vegetative state, and if no one wakes them up, they will never wake up. My lord, the strongest artificial man is in front. The man in the white coat pointed to the four figures in the deepest depths. So you followed the direction he was pointing and saw four eggs. Each egg is more than two meters tall, with a white pattern, which looks very mysterious. Are these eggs artificial? Why are they egg-shaped? So you asked. Because they haven't been conceived yet, that is to say, they haven't come out of the egg yet. The man in the white coat wiped a cold sweat and said with difficulty. This egg is specially made to breed the strongest artificial man, and there are super nutrients in the egg. Enough for them to grow fast. Absorb those nutrients can make their bodies stronger. One month in the egg is equivalent to the growth rate of a normal person in a year. The four eggs have been around for 20 months, 
and when they are opened now, the artificial man inside is about the equivalent of a normal person in a twenty-year-old state, open these four eggs, so you ordered. The man in the white coat hesitated, my lord, they are still unstable, and if you rush to wake them up, they may attack you. Wake them up, so you said lightly, big mama he is not afraid, let alone an artificial person created with the big mama bloodline factor. Yes, the man in the white coat was helpless, and the man had to bow his head under the eaves, hindered by Suyu's strength. He manipulated the instrument and began to awaken the four artificial people. After a while, the four eggs began to tremble violently, and the iron ring that held the four eggs in place was shattered. Boom! The man in the white coat moved back tremblingly, looking frightened. Although he was not a participant in the artificial human experiment, he also knew some internal secrets. Cyborgs can be implanted with orders, such as some cyborg killers in funeral houses, who are implanted to unconditionally obey Pi Close orders. All the cyborgs who could be implanted with the command were taken away by Pier Crow, and the cyborgs who remained here were all unstable products, unable to implant the command, or implanted the command, but still out of control. To control these guys, you need absolute power to make them surrender. The artificial people in these four eggs have actually grown to a perfect state, because they cannot implant commands, so until now, they have not been awakened. The artificial man in the four eggs in front of him, known as the ultimate artificial man, has the power to surpass all the previous artificial people. Although it has not been tested, it can be inferred from the huge amount of nutrients they absorb that their physique is already monster level. The man in the white coat swallowed his saliva and silently approached a wall. The palm of his hand pressed three times against the wall, the wall flipped over, and the man in the white coat disappeared into the lab. In one passage, the white-clad man frantically fled for his life, bursting out all the power in his body. Fast, be sure to hurry. If you are caught by the monster, you will die. The man in the white coat did not believe that Suyu would let him go. The pirate's methods, the white-coated man has seen. If Suyu let him go, then Suyu would not be a pirate. Whoops didn't catch up, ha ha ha. He must have been entangled in the ultimate artificial man. The man in the white coat laughed as if he had escaped. In the laboratory, Suyu ignored the white-coated man. No one can escape from this island, and no matter how the man in the white coat escapes, he will eventually die. I'll kill you later, Suyu whispered. He looked at the four eggs, and after a flash of white light, the four eggs opened and out of them came four maidens. The four girls looked to be about twenty years old, with skin, delicate faces, good figures, and pink hair. Surprisingly, they look the same, have the same body shape, and there is no difference in appearance at all. After the four young girls saw Suyu, they burst out with amazing momentum. Invariably, they took a fighting posture. Suyu smiled, just so, let me see how powerful the monster created with the Great Mother Bloodline factor is. The four young girls scattered and rushed towards Suyu together very cooperative. So you grabbed a young girl's fist, and after feeling this powerful force, he nodded with satisfaction. This force is stronger than Batman. Born with more strength than Batman, he deserves to be the ultimate artificial man. The other three maidens attacked Suyu with great speed and momentum. Beneath the seemingly weak exterior, there is a monster-like power. Suyu dodged while testing their strength. Suddenly, a young girl hugged Suyu's legs. The other two maidens clamped Suyu's arms at the same time. The fourth girl's legs were like iron tongs, and she clamped down on Suyu's neck and kept pushing hard. The four of them just had no eye contact or verbal communication, but they were able to cooperate so much. Is it a heart-to-heart -heart connection? Suyu said. Suyu's body shook, and the girl holding his arms was shocked. He grabbed the girl's legs and slammed them. Boom. The maiden was smashed into the ground by his immense force. The floor of Rao's laboratory is made of steel, and under the strong force, it has also formed a no small crater. Then Suyu grabbed the neck of the girl who was holding his legs and lifted it into the air without the slightest thought of pitying Xiang Xiang and cherishing you. Surrender to me, or die, Suyu said coldly. The strength and potential of the four young girls are good, with the bloodline factor of the big mother, if they are well cultivated, they can form a combat strength that is not weak. Bang, powerful overlord colors erupt, the sky above the island changes, and the dark clouds rotate as if the end of the world. Somewhere on the island, Yoma slashed through hundreds of killers with a sword and looked up into the sky. Adults have exploded into overlords, it seems to be faster, otherwise adults will be angry and it will be bad, Yoma whispered. After speaking, Yoma raised the black sword Kashui. Pitch black armed colors cover the blades. A knife flow. God flash. Quang Wang slashed down like a heavenly sword. The terrifying dark sword Chi split the earth and the sky, and the mountains that blocked the road were also cut. The terrifying blow directly smoothed out most of the house buildings of the funeral home, and the island was on the verge of collapse. Hiding on the island, Piccolo's body stiffened turned his head mechanically, and looked at a huge wound on his shoulder. His right arm is gone. Just now that earth-shattering sword chi fell, his right arm accidentally touched the sword chi, and in the blink of an eye, it was stirred into flesh by the sword chi, and there was no time to react, and the armed color domineering chi could not be defended. 
by close pupils shrank into needles, and fear spread within him. Why is it so powerful? How could they be so powerful? Pierre Crow roared in disbelief. He is the Dark Lord. It's like a loser's dog right now. The two sides were not one dimension at all, and the killer of the funeral house was like a turkey tile dog under Sue's hands, and was defeated in an instant. If the ultimate cyborgs can be controlled by me, maybe I can repel them, Pierre Crow thought to himself. Unfortunately, there are no ifs in the world. Pierre Crot's hard work for more than twenty years will cease to exist today. Dot. Inside the laboratory, four young girls knelt in front of Suyu, bowed their heads, and stretched their faces. We are willing to surrender, the four girls said at the same time. Suyu was a little confused. These four young girls surrendered so easily. After he broke out, the four young girls did not hesitate a little, and directly fell to their knees on the ground, choosing to surrender to him. However, since he chose to surrender, so you did not continue to attack. I hope you will not betray me, and after surrendering to me, you will absolutely obey my orders, understand? So you would not tolerate anyone betraying him. Understand, master, that we will absolutely obey orders. We are implanted in our bodies to obey the master's orders. You are our chosen master, we will never betray you. So you frowned. You were implanted with an order? Didn't the men in white coats say they were in a state of instability? If they had been implanted to obey their master's orders, they would have been awakened long ago. The commands implanted in our bodies are 100% obedient to the master's orders, but who the master is will be chosen by ourselves? You are the only host we chose, the four girls said at the same time. So you pointed to a young girl, you, commit suicide, obey orders, master. The girl who was pointed out did not hesitate to punch herself in the head. As her fist approached her head, so you grabbed her wrist and said with satisfaction, stop. At the speed of the girl's punch, if he didn't stop this punch, he absolutely couldn't stop itself and the girl's head would be exploded by his own fist. She proved her loyalty with her actions. Obey orders, master. Find a dress to put on and follow me. So you waved a big hand. The four young girls were well cultivated and could become very strong combat forces. Chapter 118 The four young girls changed into white clothes and followed Su Yu expressionlessly. From now on you will be called Tifa 1, Tifa, Tifa, and Tifa 4. See, Su Yu said. Understood, master. The four girls answered at the same time. Su Yu did not understand these instruments and could not awaken the remaining artificial people, so he decided to leave with the four maidens. The battle to destroy the funeral home should also come to an end. Su Yu slowly pulled out the supreme fast sword Fenra, and the dark blade exuded a terrifying ferocity. Swinging Fenra, the dark green sword Chi cut open the ceiling of the laboratory and broke through the thick layer of soil. As the sun shone in the laboratory, Su Yu turned to the four girls and said, Follow me, obey orders, master. Sula flew back to the ground through the huge crack that had just been cut out. The four Tifa jumped quickly and soon followed him back to the ground. Su Yu looked at a tall figure in front of him with interest. Pierre we have finally met. Pikro's face was gloomy, and he held a large scythe in his left hand. Su Yu, you guys, when you send out assassins, you should fantasize about the day. Su Yu threw Fenro and walked step by step towards Pierre The two killers behind Pikro flashed in front of him, holding a fast knife in their hands staring at Suyu with murderous intent. I also followed the orders, how about letting me go? That knife is something that the Draco people want, and if I don't give it to the Draco, it will usher in a catastrophe, Pierre Grohr said in a deep voice. You mean, I'm not as good as the Draco? Do you have to kill me? Pierre Crot snorted, forced into a desperate situation. Pierre Crot is already a little crazy, and his face is as vicious as a ghost. When you provoke me, your death is already doomed. As soon as Suyu's voice fell, the two killers swung their swords at him. Tifa 1 and Tifa would jump out and block the killer's fast knife with their arms. The two killers showed some disdain at the corners of their mouths, and resisted their slashes with flesh and blood, which was really stupid. When the knife slashed at the arms of Tifa I and Tifa 2, the faces of the two killers changed dramatically. The fast knife was blocked. How could it be? Without using the armed color, it blocked my slash. The killer shouted in shock. You don't deserve to fight your master yet. Tifa 1 punched violently. The killer didn't have time to dodge and was punched in the abdomen with a rattling sound. The killer's eyes flickered, and under great force, he flew out like a rag doll. Ribs were broken by Tifa 1 1 or 2. Not to be outdone, Tifa slapped the killer's face, and the killer's jaw was directly fanned, and the flesh and blood were blurred. Pierre Gros saw that his two proud killers had been easily solved, and his face showed a look of confusion. Suddenly, he thought of something and immediately shouted, This is an artificial man. You robbed my cyborg. Able to resist the attack of the sword with flesh and blood. Such an artificial person only has the ultimate artificial human created with the big mother bloodline factor. His hard work for more than twenty years was snatched away by Su Yu. Thinking of this, Pierre Crot spewed out a mouthful of blood, attacking his heart with rage, and his eyes turned blood red. Damn, Su Yu, damn you. Even snatched my stuff, Pierre Crot roared. He had always hoped to rely on the ultimate artificial man to dominate the sea. As a result, the ultimate artificial man was made, and the owner of the allegiance was not him. How can this be accepted by Pierre Crot? Pierre Crot, with your strength. 
You can't subdue them with absolute strength. So you said lightly. Pycro went mad and fell into a state of madness, wielding a large scythe with one arm and desperately attacking Suyu. Tifi number three and number four were ready to move, but Suyu flashed in front of Pycro in an instant, quickly swinging Fenro and slashing out a very fast knife. Burst. Piercro's mouth was wide open. Blood was splattered, and the wound spread from the shoulder to the abdomen, deep visible to the bone. Thump. Pycro fell to his knees, the blood flowing in large quantities causing his strength to plummet and his face turned pale. Is this the gap? Pierre Crop thought to himself. Just one stab, he was defeated. Wings of nothingness. Too strong. Being able to kill him in a second. The strength of the Void Wings has definitely reached that level. I can't help it. I'm not reconciled. The extreme reluctance in Pyclo's heart brought new strength, as if returning to the light. Pyclo gushed out strength in his body. I want you to die. Let's all die. Wings of nothingness. Pyclo clutched the scythe and tried his best. The arms wrapped around the scythe. You're too slow. Suya so struck and slashed at Pycro again. The knife was faster, and half of Pycro's body was cut off. The blood stuck to Fenra, and in the blink of an eye, it was absorbed by Fenra. The scythe fell, and Suyu easily caught the scythe with one hand. Pycro, it's time for you to end. Click. The scythe was also cut off. Suyu so slowly collected his knife and led the four maidens towards the direction of the Black Wing. Pycro is dead and the killers on the island are handed over to the Ten Blades. As for the white-robed man who escaped, he would be caught, and with the sight of Aniru, he would be able to go deep underground and sense the location of the man in the white coat. Aniru would not spare the man in the white coat. After returning to the Black Wing, Nami saw four girls with the same appearance and said in surprise, Lord, where did you find them? Quadruplets? Well, quadruplets. So you said lightly. He didn't tell Nay Mediti for one that they were artificial humans. Publicizing their artificial human identity will definitely be rejected. Although T for one they have no feelings and don't care about this. But Suyu didn't have to do that. Khalifa walked over to Suyu and looked like he wanted to stop talking. Suyu sat down at the bow of the boat and glanced at Khalifa. What's the matter? Go ahead. Khalifa heard this and said, My lord, I want to become a combatant. Yes, but you can only be an ordinary combatant. You can't be a Kada. Khalifa's strength is too weak. Placed in the East Sea. She is still a master. In the second half of the Great Passage, there are too many pirates stronger than Khalifa. None of the fighters on the Black Wing are weaker than Khalifa, they do not have the ability of demon fruit, but they have a strong physique, and many of them have armed color domineering. The ten blades on his ship belong to senior carders, and Batman belong to ordinary carders. Khalifa fights Batman and is killed by Batman in three moves. Batman's armed color is very strong, especially Batman has been mixed with Yoma since learning the identity of Yoma, and asked Yoma for armed color. Today's Batman is very different from the Batman when he first went to sea. Understood. Khalifa was a little reluctant. She wanted to be a Kada, not an ordinary combatant. By this time, the headquarters of the funeral house was in tatters and the island was about to collapse. The ten blades also returned one after another, and Yamato transformed into a battle Tyrannosaurus beast, gathering high temperature energy bullets and giving the island its final blow. With a loud explosion, the funeral home was completely reduced to the status of the past, and the island ceased to exist. The man in the white coat hiding beneath the island died with infinite fear. He never expected that the ten blades would directly blow up the entire island. Rune Yuan flew back first, holding a demon fruit in his hand. My lord, I have found a demon fruit. Rune Yuan said excitedly. Big Yi stared at Suyu with a blink of an eye, his eyes expectant. Well done. Suyu rubbed Rune Yuan's little head. Rune Yuan narrowed her eyes happily, like a kitten enjoying the caresses of its owner. Ding congratulations to the host reputation value exceeded 1 billion. Gained 2 prestige points. Suddenly, the voice of the system sounded in Suyu's mind. Hearing the sound of the system, Suyu was even happier. Jiajie can always be locked up in the iron prison. After that demon fruit, Suyu was also prompted by the system. Superman is the fruit of strength. A decent demon fruit can strengthen the body in a short period of time. Let people have superhuman physical fitness, improve speed, strength, endurance, defense, vitality and so on. The magnitude of the improvement depends on the degree of development. The fruit is well developed, and it is not impossible to improve the physical fitness several times in a short period of time. For a strong person who focuses on physical exercise, this is a good demon fruit. It's a pity that it's not a permanent strengthening of the body, otherwise this demon fruit would be considered a superior fruit. However, this had no impact on Suyu. He didn't need much of a strong demon fruit. Holding this demon fruit, Suyu walked towards the iron prison in the cabin. When the lemurs have all returned, they will set sail for the land of peace. So you said to Nami. Having sailed the seas for a long time, he wanted to return to the land of Washinoka for a while. Coupled with the fact that the Hundred Beast Regiment was going to go to war with the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment, it was not appropriate for Suyu not to go back. In the Iron Prison, the plus is joking about the cleric. Ha ha ha, Cricky you guy, lost to the Sixth Blade. The strength is really bad. Add a laugh. Krypton's face darkened, 
I wasn't defeated by that guy. I was defeated by Suyu. Are you a naval alternate general different from me? They were all arrested by Suyu. The face of the navy will be thrown away by you. It's different. I was caught by a combination of multiple ten blades, and each blade ranked higher than the sixth blade. Jiajie said with his chin raised. The corners of the cleavage twitch. Is this inexplicable sense of honor serious? You losers, not the winner. Your look makes me feel like you're the winner. Soon, my mother will save me and go back. And will the navy save you? Krekus sneered. Definitely save me. Plus affirmed. His position in the navy is not low, and the navy will not give up on him easily. Oh, I don't believe it. Krek laughed. Boom. The iron door opened wide, attracting the attention of the two men. Sue you. Wings of nothingness. The two shouted at the same time. There was a strong sense of jealousy under his eyes. After being arrested, they also had a sufficient understanding of Suyu's strength. Plus, I've brought you something good. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose. At sea, Anairi had just prepared to return to the Black Wing, and observed a ship in the distance through sight and smell. Where the pirate ship, dared to approach our ship. The courage is really big. Anairi muttered. Chapter 119. Good stuff. Jiajia was stunned. There was a vendetta between him and Suyu. On one side are the admirals of the navy and on the other side are pirates on the sea. It was definitely like water and fire, and he was also caught by Suyu. How could Suyu be kind enough to send something to him? There is definitely a conspiracy. Add to the calculations and be cautious, pretending to be relaxed on the surface. Don't be nervous, don't be careful. I've got something good for you. Suyu lifted up the extra meter and walked outside. Where are you going to take me? Let me go. Add a yell. When you get to the place, you know. The backs of the two gradually disappeared into the iron prison and Clegg bowed his head without words. He was already scared by Suyu. That day attack by Suyu left a deep impression on him. He even suspected that Big Mama was not Suyu's opponent. Mom, this is a monster. I hope you don't send Katakuri or Smuggy. Krypton murmured in his heart. Neither Katakuri nor Smuggy could take Suyu or save him. There is also a good chance that they will be left on board. Only when the big aunt came in person could there be any hope of saving him. Unbeknownst to Krigger, Suyu made a deal with Katakuri for his life. Somewhere in the room of the Black Wing, Suyu took out the strong fruit. Plus, this is the devil fruit I prepared for you. Suyu said. The devil fruit prepared for me? Are you kidding? I'm the navy, you're a pirate, how could you be kind enough to prepare demon fruit for me? Jia Jia didn't believe what Suyu said. Suyu gave him poison to eat, which was more normal than giving him demon fruits to eat. From today on, you're also a pirate. Suyu smiled and laughed. Jia Jia glared angrily and shouted. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. I would never join a pirate. You die this heart. Just a demon fruit wants me to join the pirates. You dream. I'm an alternate admiral in the navy, and at this point, you should understand it. Ordinary demon fruits have no attraction to me at all. The garbage demon fruit will not strengthen my strength, and it will also make me weak. Jia Jia didn't lie, and to his extent, it was difficult to improve his strength. Ordinary nature systems could not improve his combat strength much. Only higher natural systems such as frozen fruits, sparkling fruits, and magma fruits can raise the strength of the plus to another level. He is also not a sword master, and has no intention of the famous sword. No matter what Suyu took out, he couldn't attract him. No, you'll join the pirates. Suyu shook her head. I stuffed the strong fruit in my hand. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Jiajia was tied up. He hadn't eaten well and slept well in the past few days, and he didn't have much strength himself, so he couldn't resist Suyu's strength at all. He could only watch as Suyu shoved the strong fruit into his mouth. After eating the strong fruit, the whole person is not good. Hai Laoshi's chains made his strength drop again, and he soon learned about the ability of this demon fruit, and his face became ugly. Boosts body strength in a short period of time. This demon fruit was very worthy of him. He was a strong physical type, but unfortunately, the ability of this demon fruit tree was too weak, and even if it was matched, it would only temporarily increase its strength. Damn, you mean it. Let me eat this devil fruit. What's in it for you? Didn't you let me join your pirate regiment? When I eat this demon fruit, my overall strength does not increase but decreases. Suyu patted Jiajia's shoulder hard, and his fingers slowly forced. Soon, you'll know why. Suyu smiled mysteriously. Ding the host chooses to modify the superhuman strong fruit of the plus. Please do not leave the shoulder of the host. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose upwards. After seeing the panel properties of the plus meter, he sighed in his heart. Worthy of being a strong person of the physical skill type. Jiajia is not a famous sword master like Tao Tu, but his physique is strong making up for the gap between him and Tao Tu. In addition, the two-color domineering spirit of the plus is not weaker than the peach rabbit, and he is also proficient in the six styles. Many six-form Upanishads were created, and the understanding of the six-form was many times higher than that of Lucy. Ding congratulations to the host for the success of modifying the added demon fruit. The added demon fruit has been modified to animal dragon fruit, esper species infinite dragon beast form. Infinite dragon beast, one of the four dark kings in the digital world. His whole body is made of digital alloy, and he has super defense and overwhelming strength. The infinity cannon behind it is extremely powerful and can easily blow up a city. 
he has posed a great threat to the protagonist group. With the blessing of the system, the added armed color domineering talent has become a transcendent level. So you chose to absorb the plus super level armed color domineering talent, and then his armed color domineering talent reached the outer level. The armed color domineering reached the outer level, and his armed color became stronger. Only what I have seen and heard has not yet broken through to the external level. As long as he breaks through to the outside level, his three color domineering spirit will surpass the limits of the pirate world. There are so many dragons on my ship, Suyu murmured. Runeyuan is the fire dragon king, Yamato is the battle tyrannosaurus beast, and Aniru's green dragon beast. Now add the plus infinite dragon beast. With the extremely strong defense and overwhelming power of the infinite dragon beast, your combat strength should be even higher. The corners of Suyu's mouth rose, and he didn't know how much of his combat strength could rank into the first few of the ten blades. He was not prepared to let the extra meter return to the navy. Peach Rabbit returned to the navy with great strength and certainly would not be suspected. Because there is a crane standing behind the Peach Rabbit, he often deals with Kapu and Sengoku. The addition is different, he has no background, and he can become a naval alternate general, completely by his own efforts. He returned to the navy with a powerful force, plus the Peach Rabbit also returned with a powerful force before, and with the mentality of the warring states, he would definitely be suspicious. Instead of making the warring states suspicious and secretly investigating the extra plan, it is better to directly leave the extra meter around. There are Peach Rabbits in the Navy, and he also has the opportunity to install undercover agents in the Navy. Peach Rabbit, you should be able to become a general soon. So you said silently in his heart. With the crane behind him, it should not be too difficult for Peach Rabbit to become a general. And the sea is changing, and the waves are everywhere. The Redhead has been called the Emperor of the Sea, and although there are still pirates who are not convinced by the Redhead, the navy must know that the redhead will certainly be able to stabilize its position. The fact that the redhead fought Kaido without falling behind can prove how strong the redhead is. Coupled with his growing prestige, it increased the burden on the navy. In such a situation, there are cranes pushing the waves. He is pushing, Peach Rabbit only needs to work hard, and can definitely become the fourth major general of expansion. Just let me put a little pressure on the navy. Adding to the pirates, the news of the surge in strength reached the ears of the navy, which will definitely make the pressure on the navy increase. Chapter 120. Two hours later, Jiajia woke up. Bang! After the added demon fruit was modified, the Heilu stone chain had no effect on him anymore, and he easily broke free of the chain. My lord, see the extra count. Jiajia said respectfully. Plus, I need you to make a name for yourself in this sea and let the world know that you have joined the pirates. So you said to Jiajia. Understood, sir. After being modified by the system, the plus meter is no longer for the sake of the navy. Go out with me and wait until the evening to set your ranking. So you walked outside, got up and honestly followed Suyu. Walking to the deck, Batman flew in and said anxiously, My lord, there is a pirate ship approaching us. There's a very powerful guy on board. Lord Aniru and Lord Lucy are at war with each other. Very powerful guy? Aniru and Luke shot at the same time. Who is so strong? Although Aniru had only recently mastered the two-color domineering, relying on the Esper Beast breed green dragon beast form, his strength was superior to that of the Admiral. Although it was not as good as the Admiral, it could definitely crush the ordinary seven martial seas. Luchi had not long since he gained his ability, and the two-color domineering had not yet been learned. Reliable fruit ability can also fight with the Krypton, and the strength should not be underestimated. Who will be the enemy that the two of them will fight at the same time? So you developed a hint of curiosity, came to the deck, and saw the two sides fighting fiercely in the distance. The other side wielded a large knife and wrapped a powerful armed color, and did not retreat in the face of the attacks of Aniru and Luchi, but had to confront the two head on. This is Whitebeard's son, Edward Wemble. Suyu was stunned. Is this stupid person? Edward Wemble's IQ was not high, and he had a scar on his neck from a circle of stitches, which was suspected of being overexposed in the early years. It is not clear whether he is born stupid or whether he is stupid. Whitebeard's son? When will Whitebeard have a son? Is what you say true, my lord? Batman shouted in surprise, attracted the attention of the others on board. The three words of Whitebeard represent the strongest two words on the sea. With a shock fruit and powerful trickler domineering spirit and monster-like physique, Whitebeard is not afraid of anyone. It has a super dominance over the sea, and the Whitebeard pirate regiment has always been called the strongest pirate regiment. He is also one of the three sea thieves of the last era, and the legendary pirates who have lived together with One Piece Roger and the Golden Lion. Kaido had seven defeats in his lifetime including Whitebeard. The three words Whitebeard alone can attract the curiosity of pirates. Whitebeard has a son, is the strong man who fought Lord Aniru and Lord Luke the son of Whitebeard. Oh the news, I didn't know Whitebeard had a son. The strength is still so strong. No wonder that man could fight two ten-bladed lords. It turns out that the blood of the world's strongest man flows through the body. It's a bit like, his beard is similar to a white beard, only it's more slender, and he also uses a large knife. Sai it seems that it is really Whitebeard's son. I really did not expect that Whitebeard has a biological son, and he is still receiving sons. 
The pirates talked a lot, wantonly ridiculing Whitebeard. Whitebeard didn't show up in front of them, and they wouldn't be afraid of Whitebeard at all. My lord, how did you know he was the son of a Whitebeard? His bounty was only 200 million. Robin asked curiously. She searched the memories in her mind, remembering that she had once seen the bounty of Wimble, which was 200 million. In the pirate is not low belongs to the sea thief. But the value of 200 million is not worthy of the status of Whitebeard's own son. Apparently, the Navy did not yet know that Wimble was Whitebeard's biological son. Otherwise we wouldn't have given Wimble such a low bounty. I learned it from Kaido's mouth. So you casually said. He couldn't explain to Robin that he had learned about Wimble from the comics in a previous life. Simply throw the pot directly to Kaido. Kaido is the emperor of the sea like Whitebeard, and it is reasonable to know some of Whitebeard's little secrets, right? Robin nodded and looked at the two sides of the battle. So strong but the bounty is so low, Whitebeard hides him very well. Robin said, in a short time, his bounty will not increase. Suyu shook her head. No one instructed Wimble to sabotage, and with Wimble's IQ, he would not take the initiative to do sabotaging. The bounty will not rise. The bounty of 200 million is estimated to have been obtained after the attack on Zephyr. Now Barkin has not yet fooled Wimble and is doing things in the name of Whitebeard. Whitebeard is still at its peak and its combat strength has not declined. The old fake who dared to do things in the name of Whitebeard with Wimble would surely attract Whitebeard. Whether Weber is Whitebeard's biological son remains to be studied. According to Suyu's speculation, the probability is false, otherwise the old guy would have taken Wimble to confess his relatives long ago. Barjin was very greedy for money, and after Whitebeard's death, he let Wimble massacre the Whitebeard pirates under the banner of Whitebeard's son, and snatched the treasure left by Whitebeard. Chasing white-bearded pirates are running around the world. This is where normal people can do things. Whitebeard was killed, and instead of seeking revenge on the Navy and Blackbeard, he had to chase after Whitebeard's men. He is really Whitebeard's own son, as long as he shows his strength, he will definitely be able to gather a part of the remnants of the Whitebeard pirate regiment and form his own pirate regiment. So you touched his chin. Wemble this guy has a problem with his head, as long as he kills Barjin, it is easy to control. This is a high-end combat power delivered to the door. Although Wimble is stupid, he is very strong, otherwise he would not dare to claim the son of Whitebeard. After the Battle of the Werbable, Admiral Yellow Ape came into contact with it, saying that it had the same strength as the Whitebeard of his youth. Being able to chase after the Whitebearded remnants of the pirate regiment alone, the strength of the strength can be seen. He also once cut off one of the arms of General Zephyr. There are rumors that Wimble sneaked up on Zephyr, and some people say that Zephyr was already 65 years old at that time, and his combat strength was declining, so he was cut off an arm by Webbull. But either way, it proves that Wemble is very strong. Add in, let me see your power, so you said to the Jiaji beside him. Obey your orders. Jiaji stooped slightly, and then his legs were forced, like cannonballs, to rush to the two sides of the battle. Who? Anira reacted instantly, staring at the plus. Luke and Wimble also stopped at the same time, watching the extra meter warily. It was you. How did you guys get out? Anira arrogantly brandished the golden stick ready to give Jiaji a thunder. I'm also a subordinate of the grown-ups. Jiaji grinned. Chapter 121. Anira frowned. You guy actually joined. But even if you joined, I wouldn't give him to you. This is my prey. Lu Chi said coldly. No, this is not your prey. This is my prey. Jiaji waved his hand. He was not afraid of Anira and Luke. With his foundation, after receiving the power of the Esper species given by the adults, the combat power had climbed to a terrifying point. Not vain to anyone. Let him fight with the four emperors or the admiral. He will not hesitate a little. Wimble, they're a gang. Get rid of them all. Barkin shouted on the boat. Mom, I'll be able to hack them to death soon. Wimble said dumbfounded. The eyes radiate a wisdom light. Wimble's large knife was wrapped in an armed color, and under the strong armed color, any defense would be slashed. Wimble is not a great swordsman, he is just strong. A knife down, not many people can bear. Barkin has great confidence in Wimble, which is her supreme masterpiece. It is also the bottom card that she can survive and the second half of the Great Passage. With Wimble present, even the strongest opponents are not afraid. A few years ago, they encountered a naval ship led by former Admiral Zephyr, cut off one of Zephyr's arms, and killed most of the naval soldiers. Barkin had a preliminary estimate of Wimble's combat strength. Although the other party is a well-known void wing, with the power of Wimble, even if it cannot be defeated, it will not be a problem to take her to escape. Luke dodged the big knife, and the strong wind was able to destroy the big stone. This guy, so much strength. Luke was horrified. He had steel skin, and the strong wind could make his cheeks tingle. In other words, if you are an ordinary person, even if you are not cut, you will be hit hard by the strong wind. Leopard King's claw. Luke spread his long claws with both hands and quickly swiped at Wimble's abdomen. Burst. The claws brought up a piece of blood. Wimble continued to attack like no one else. Bastard. You hurt me. Wimble is going to hack you to death. Wimble raised his large knife. Anira held aloft the golden rod. His body swelled, and in the blink of an eye, 
He transformed into a thousand meter monster. This was the first time that Anairi had transformed into a green dragon beast, and his previous enemies were not worthy of letting him exert his full strength. The powerful force excited Anairu, and the dragon's mouth opened, Welcome to the divine punishment, this will be your end. Suddenly, the thunder rolled, and the thunder in the dark clouds collided with a dazzling light. Barkin trembled and hid in the cabin trembling. Dragon. He turned out to be a dragon. How could it be? Barkin shouted in fear. Bang. Welcome to the thunder. Anairu gathered his strength and lowered a pale thunder ten meters thick, like the punishment of the gods and the wrath of the heavens. Pillars of thunder pierced through the heavens and the earth, bombarding the Wemble who held his sword high, abominable, Wimble roared, Luchi's A's froze, this guy has such a strong vitality, after eating this move, there is still combat effectiveness, don't underestimate him, this guy's physique is beyond your imagination, the body transformed into an alloy body, and the overwhelming power of the infinite dragon beast spread through the body, he clenched his fists, and the powerful force raised the corners of his mouth, to deal with a powerful monster, you must subdue the other party with stronger strength. The bonus disappears instantly. Six up Anishads. Instant shaving. Faster than the speed of shaving, it can burst out of the sky in an instant, so fast that it can even produce several after images. Ten plus around the thunder pillar flickered. The thunder cleared, and Wemble revealed that he was pitch black and looked badly injured. But the momentum has not yet declined, it is still very scary. Like a ferocious beast, it exudes a frightening atmosphere. Wimble is going to kill you all. Wimble roared. Wimble slashed at the plus and the large knife passed through the plus. He was puzzled, fake, stupid, add a sneer. The ten remnants can be said to be all false, or it can be said that all of them are true. Because he was so fast, Wimble could not touch him no matter which figure he attacked. The plus flashed behind Wimble's back, raised his alloy arm, and swung it with full force. Boom, the iron fist slammed heavily into Wimble's back. His skin exploding and blood splattering. Wimble instinctively swung his knife backwards and raised his hand to block. Boom, the two men collided with each other, creating a terrifying wave of air that made the entire ship shake constantly. Good strength, you guy doesn't know combat skills, it's all about instinctive fighting. Add a deep voice, it hurts, I'm going to hack you to death. Wimble shouted attack plus, the arms are constantly exerting force, the plus is constantly erupting in strength, the infinite dragon beast is known for its overwhelming strength, and it has the power of the infinite dragon beast, and the plus is not vain at all. Jiji gradually suppressed Twibor's large knife, I remember who your boy is. The person who cut off the arm of Grand Admiral Zafa a few years ago is you. Who is Zafa? Why can your power suppress me? Wimble roared. He was still being suppressed in strength for the first time. Before fighting Zafa, the strength of the other party did not surpass him. You boy. It was not Zafa who sneaked in, a few years ago, after Jiji got the news. He was also very shocked. Zafa is a fruitless person relying on his strong physique and armed color domineering to ascend to the throne of the general. It's extremely difficult to cut off one of Zephyr's arms. Jiaj always believed that Wybor had sneaked up on Zephyr. Who is Zephyr? I do not know. Wimble's eyes narrowed, and he rolled backwards, not fighting the jackpot. With his brow furrowed, he saw that Weber's IQ was flawed, and he really didn't know who Zephyr was. I really don't understand how a fool like you can have an arm domineering spirit and a domineering sight and smell. Not only did he have it, but Wimble's two-color domineering spirit was also very strong stronger than most people on the sea. It's hard to imagine how talented Wimble was. If the other party is not a fool, the strength can definitely go to a higher level. One lie. Seeing the two separated in the sky, Aniru summoned 10,000 thunderbolts to attack Wimble together. Plus, what are you communicating with him? That's a fool. Think he can answer your question? Aniru shouted. Leopard King's claw. Luke pulled out a blue claw mark, cut through the thunder, and attacked Wimble. Add in mind, hesitate in battle. Your life may be lost at any time. The corners of his mouth twitched. You two little devils. I've fought more times than you two combined. No need for you to shoot. He is not my opponent. Not before. Neither is it now. After saying that, Jiaji got serious. The alloy unfolded, his hands turned into giant metal claws, and two cannons appeared behind him, with a mechanical force hits covering his head. Jiaji transformed into a huge infinite dragon beast, tens of meters high, full of alloy. No dead angle defense will make any enemy feel extremely headache. Even the internal destruction that mastered the armed color domineering spirit could not hurt the internal organs of the additional meter. In this state, the added internal organs are also alloys. Chapter 122 On the Black Wing, a group of pirates opened their mouths when they saw the transformation. What kind of monster is this? All over the body is metal, some kind of special demon fruit ability. Like a magnetic fruit, you can manipulate metal. That's being able to manipulate metal. It's not about creating metal. It was obvious that he had transformed into a large amount of metal himself to become that big monster. Such a big metal monster, the defense is definitely super strong. Robin on the ship glanced at Suyu faintly and thought silently in his heart, even the admiral of the navy has chosen to join him, 
which is really terrifying. Thinking of this, Robin couldn't help but be glad he had chosen the right one. With her back to Suyu, she can definitely spend a long time in peace. When she finished analyzing the Pluto King, Suyu's power would become more and more terrifying, and the Navy would not dare to attack Suyu at that time. She was completely safe. After the infinite dragon beast appeared, Wemble was suppressed and beaten the whole time, and Nero nor Lucy was willing to intervene anymore. The battle continues, and if nothing else, the extra will surely win. They didn't shoot, and the result was the same. This guy is so strong. Aniru changed back into human form and looked at the two sides of the great battle. Are you talking about the extra or that idiot? Luke stood beside him. Of course, it is an extra count. It is completely pressed against the fool. The strength that the fool is best at is not as good as the plus. If no one else shoots, it will definitely be an extra win. Aniru shook his head. He is not as strong as Jij in terms of pure physical strength. Before the addition, he was a candidate general or a pure body type of candidate general, you know how high this gold content is. Now, after getting the power given by adults, the strength has risen, and it is normal to be stronger than you and me. It is also a matter of course to be able to beat Wimble, Lu Chi said lightly. Jij is not a sword master, his strength lies entirely in his two-color domineering, excellent combat skills and strong physique. Even without the demon fruit, the strength of the plus is still the number one in the sea row. Sooner or later I will surpass him, surpass all the ten blades and ascend to the first throne. Aniru said proudly. He always thought that he did not go up the ranking because the two-color domineering was too weak. When the two-color domineering is strong, his ranking will definitely be higher. Lu Chi shook his head, not too optimistic about Aniru. The first position of the Ten Blades, which is so good to sit. The strength of the first-ranked Yoma has long reached the level of the top of the sea. After receiving the power given by adults, he is still developing his fruit ability to make himself more powerful. It's hard to get past Yoma. Luke is also ambitious, but so far, his primary goal is to keep his current position from dropping. You two exercise your two-color domineering spirit well, and the enemy will become stronger and stronger in the future. Suyu's voice sounded. The two turned their heads in unison and responded respectfully. Suyu walked to the cabin of the barge in pirate ship below, and saw that he easily found barge in. Boom. The gate was kicked open. Miss Barjin's ugly face appeared in Suyu's eyes. It's time for you to hit the road, Miss Barkin. Suyu said lightly. You know me. Miss Barkin took two steps back. Of course I know and thank you for bringing me such a powerful man from Wimble. Sue smiled. Miss Barkin's pupils narrowed sharply, and he angrily exclaimed, Bastard, you've got your eye on Wimble. That's my son. You're absolutely not allowed to take advantage of him. Your son? Ridiculous. You think you can fool me? Sue sneered. Wimble is my son. You don't talk nonsense. Miss Barkin had a somber face. Forget it. Sue waved his hand and said lightly, Whether Weber is your son or not, it doesn't matter. Wimble I took it trouble you to die. Kill me. Wimble will definitely avenge me. Miss Barkin glared. Maybe. Suyu raised his finger, and the dark green flashes converged. Don't do it. Don't kill me. I'll tell you a secret. Don't kill me. Miss Barkin felt the breath of death and shouted in panic. She doesn't want to die yet. She also wants a lot of treasure. She can't fall here. Miss Barkin's desire to survive exploded, tears flowing out, and he burst into tears. Let's hear it. Suyu looked at Miss Barkin with a smirk. He also wanted to know what the secret was in Miss Barkin's mouth. And the true life of Wimble. Boom. Miss Barkin swallowed, his eyes looking frightened. Don't kill me. I'll show you how to control Wimble. Please don't kill me. Wimble has a simple personality. As long as there is meat to eat, he will obediently obey. I wasn't his mother. Wimble was picked up by me, and he bore some resemblance to the white beard of his youth. I suspect he is somehow related to white beard possibly a relative or something. Alas, Sue sighed. The look in his eyes was indifferent, and the look in Miss Barkin's eyes was like looking at a dead man. I should have guessed it, you guy is really lucky. You can pick up a powerful fool on the road, and you can fool him into your son. Miss Barkin smiled reluctantly. What the grown-ups want is Weber, I will give you Wemble, and you will give me a small life. What are you doing here? Miss Barkin's face stiffened and she did not dare to tell Suyu that it was the funeral house that invited them to come. Suyu had just destroyed the funeral home, so wasn't he angering Suyu? Multiply. The dark green flash pierced through Miss Barkin's forehead, bringing up a blood flower. Miss Barkin's pupils gradually lost their luster, and his body fell to the ground weakly. Suyu closed his hand and said coldly, Needless to say, in fact, I know that you are the helper invited by the funeral house. The funeral house does not spend a lot of money to invite you, with your unprofitable character. How can you come to this sea? The battle outside was nearing its end, and after exerting all its strength, Wimble was not an opponent at all, and it was only because of the terrible vitality that it could hold out for so long. Wimble was covered in blood, his arms trembling, and in the collision with the plus, a huge force shook his arm. You're so strong, Webb gasped. If it weren't for the fact that the adults didn't order you to be killed, you would already be a corpse. Added a mechanical say. So you had already walked out of the cabin and held out his hand to Webble. Webble, we are not enemies. Your mother entrusted you to me. Next, 
you follow my boat. Chapter 123 Wimble was stunned and said, My mother asked me to follow you. What about my mom people? Your mother is gone and has decided to return to her hometown to spend her old age. So you said lightly. I don't believe it. Although Wimble was stupid, he was not stupid enough to be fooled to this extent, and he was fooled away by two random sentences. Luke twitched at the corners of his mouth and sighed in his heart. The tricks of adults are also too simple. It's good that the other party has a problem in his brain but you can't come up and fool him. And Wimble had just been beaten up. How could Webbable believe Suyu's words? Suyu smiled, Wimble, your mother told me before she left that you like to eat meat. In the future, follow me. The meat tube is enough, you can eat as much as you want. When Wimble heard the meat, his eyes lit up, but he was still a little wary. Your people just hit me. I don't believe you. It was a misunderstanding, and now that the misunderstanding is solved, he will certainly not hit you again. Suyu snapped his fingers. Ten blades, say hello to the new members. The flame dragon flew out of the black wing, its huge body obscuring the sky, and the huge dragon head protruding out of the clouds. Dark clouds turn into clouds of flames in an instant, and raging flames burn in the sky. Yamato transforms into a battle tyrannosaurus beast, tens of meters high, flying in the air, dropping an infinite sense of oppression. This should be my first transformation. Yoma smiled and transformed into a giant dog. The silvery white fur fluttered with the wind, there was a crescent on the forehead, and the terrifying momentum rose. All ten blades completed their transformations, and one giant beast surrounded the Wimble. Wimble felt the horror they unleashed and couldn't help but be a little frightened. Wimble, these people will be your companions from now on. Having them, later encountering enemies, you are not alone to fight anymore. So you said lightly. Wimble followed Barkin, and he was alone in every battle, with Barkin's timid character and weak strength. How could he fight alongside Weber? Even if Wimble were killed, Barkin would not fight with Wimble. So you took out a piece of paper again. This is a letter left to you by your mother which says let you follow me. If you don't believe me, you can go to the cabin and look for your mother and see if she's there. Webb took the letter suspiciously, he did not know the words at all, saw that the letter was densely packed with words, and mistakenly thought that what Suyu said was true. Then he went to the cabin to look for Barkin again, but found no trace of Barkin. Suyu smiled lightly and quietly watched as Webb looked for Bajin. After killing Bajin, Suyu secretly threw the guy into the seat to feed the Sea King. As for the letter, it was written by Suyu for Robin. Wimble is most likely illiterate, and even if he knew the words, he couldn't tell how the handwriting of Barkin and Robin was different. Wimble did not find Bajin, and he believed in Suyu for most of it. Why did your people hit me just now? Wimble asked. He always felt that something was wrong. Suyu's people just beat him, and Suyu said that it was a misunderstanding, so wasn't he beaten up in vain? Misunderstanding, he mistook you for an enemy, and you just saw that we were destroying a funeral home. He's thinking of you as a funeral homemaker. That's the way it is. Wimble, think about it. We have so many people, if they wanted to kill you. They would have done it a long time ago, how could they invite you to the ship? It was your mother who couldn't bear to take you to suffer hardships, so she entrusted you to me and let me take you to eat well and live a good life. Before leaving, he told me that he must give you meat. So you continued to flicker. I believe you, is there really enough meat tube? Wimble said dumbfounded. Of course, as long as you obey. Then I'll go with you. Welcome to join, Wimble. After Suyu so finished speaking, the ten blades returned to their original form. Wimble followed Suyu so to the Black Wing, and after boarding the ship, the pirates kept looking at Wimble. For Wimble, the pirates are curious. Son of Whitebeard. Powerful force. Whoever it is, will be curious. What about the ship doctor? Treat Wimble. He will be our companion from now on. Suyu shouted. The ship's doctor Hoggerback immediately ran out. Rest assured, my lord, this little injury will soon be cured. Hoggerback's best practice is trauma. If it is an internal injury, Hoggerback may not be able to save it, but the external injury will definitely be saved. When Hoggerback gave Wimble treatment, he couldn't help but take a breath of cool air. Why Boar's wound was too serious, the wound was deep enough to see the bone, and he was an ordinary person, who had died long ago and could not die again. Monsters, such strong vitality, with such vitality, it is no wonder that they will be favored by adults. Hoggerback murmured. During his life on the Black Wing, he saw many powerful people. He also knew the subordinates who were favored by Suyu. There is no simple cargo color. Each one was no weaker than his previous boss, Moriah. Hoggerback medicated Webb and found that his face was unchanged and he did not make a sound. Doesn't this guy feel pain? Hoggerback was surprised. Strong-willed people can endure pain, but they will definitely react. His medicine was applied to the wound and would cause a lot of pain. Even a man with a strong will can't help but scream. Wimble's face remained unchanged, as if he didn't feel the pain. Hoggerback was sure that Wimble wasn't holding onto the pain but that he really wasn't feeling it. Half an hour later, Hoggerback patted Wemble's arm. Okay, come back to me tomorrow for a change of medicine, and in three days you'll be cured. In fact, he wanted to pat Wemble on the shoulder, but found himself not tall enough. I had to pat Wemble's arm. You're more than six meters tall, close to seven meters tall, Hoggerback said. I don't know. Wimble replied dumbfounded. Little ones, 
bring the meat. With a wave of his hand, the pirates would carry a large amount of roast meat to him. Suyu's meal is very large, and he can eat a lot of roast meat every time. The pirates are also accustomed to it. Exercising is extremely energy intensive, and they must eat more meat to make up for it. The more Suyu ate, the stronger his physique became, and he needed a huge amount of energy to support him to exercise. Wimble, come and eat meat. Suyu beckoned to Wybor, for this stupid crew, only need to roast meat to tame. It is simply blood money. If you let the warring states know that Suyu only used roast meat to control such a powerful combat power of Weibull, he would definitely be envious. When Wimble saw the meat, his eyes lit up and he rushed to the roast and began to feast. You certainly didn't lie to me. Wimble's mouth was stuffed with roast meat, and he ate like a hungry ghost reincarnated. Eat more, eat more to recover quickly. Suyu ha ha laughed and picked up a piece of roast meat to eat. These meats are from the Neptune class, which contains a lot of energy inside, and ordinary people will be full when they eat a piece. He could eat about 50 pounds, and the roast meat entered his stomach and would soon be broken down. Chapter 124 Universal Cake Island Category received the news that the funeral house had been destroyed. The funeral house was destroyed so quickly, and the strength of the wings of nothingness cannot be underestimated. I didn't choose to confront him head on. Category thought silently in his heart. If he had heard the news of the capture of the Krypton, he would have chosen to confront the wings of nothingness. Most likely destroyed was the pirate ship he led when my mother learned the news. She must have been very angry, so don't tell my mother first, Category murmured in a low voice. Every time the head of the funeral house attended the tea party, he would bring a large number of desserts to the aunt, which made the aunt very happy. The funeral home was destroyed, and I would not be able to participate in the tea party in the future. When Big Mama learned the news, there was a good chance that she would attack the Void Wings, according to his guess. The Wings of Nothingness were close to the Kingdom of Peace. Attacking the pirate ship of the Void Wings will surely provoke another Sea Emperor Hundred Beast Kaido Navy. Sengoku frowned and let go of the information in his hand about the destruction of the funeral home. The funeral house has been destroyed. How many forces have the Wings of Nothingness destroyed? Suyu has become a climate, with the weather of the Emperor of the Sea. If he were not a member of the Hundred Beasts, there would definitely be pirates who thought he was going to become the Emperor of the Seas. There are countless killers under the funeral house and the family of the admiral has been assassinated, and the warring states have also thought of destroying the funeral house. The navy is out on mission to uphold justice, but the family behind it is in danger. How does this allow the navy to carry out its mission with peace of mind? However, after struggling to find the headquarters of the funeral home, the plan has not been implemented. Unexpectedly, the wings of nothingness did it first. It can also be regarded as indirectly helping him solve a troublesome matter. However, there was no joy on the face of the warring states. It was completely vigilant and depressed. Fortunately, the Navy has one of the strongest fighters, and the Navy's prestige can be established to deter some pirates. Sengoku remembered Peach Rabbit and couldn't help but smile. The appearance of the Peach Rabbit made him breathe a sigh of relief. Even if there are four sea emperors on the sea, the Navy can still suppress the sea. Sengoku, giant's strength and merit are enough. It's time to give her a place, Crane said. I'll negotiate with the five old stars and give me a little time. Sengoku rubbed his eyebrows. Since its creation, the Navy has been the three major generals. There has never been a fourth general. Trying to persuade the five old stars to expand the position of Admiral is not an ordinary difficulty. The New World Sea Thieves are emerging in an endless stream. The seven martial seas have been lost one after another, and now the position is still in a state of absence. The Navy urgently needs a strong force to show the supremacy of the Navy. Otherwise it will only make the pirates more and more arrogant. Making Peach Rabbit a general is the best choice, Crane said unhurriedly. This era is too chaotic, and under all kinds of pressure, the five old stars are likely to agree to the expansion of the Admiral. The news that the Admiral was captured by pirates has not yet spread. Once the news spread, the majesty of the Navy would be greatly reduced, and the pirates would be even more arrogant. The news that Peach Rabbit has become a general can perfectly overwhelm the impact of the plus plan being captured. Warring states. You should know that sooner or later the news of the increase will spread in the sea. Wings of nothingness is not a good stubble and will not be kept secret by the navy. Crane reminded. I understand. Warring states muffled. He had already made an appointment to meet with the five old stars. Just tomorrow. New world. The sea near the world. As the red-haired pirates were sailing, Jesus violently crushed the newspaper and shouted angrily. This little devil. His fame grew so great that even the funeral home was planted in his hands. The redhead patted Jesus on the shoulder. Rest assured. Sooner or later I will avenge you. I want to take revenge myself. My armed color is even stronger, and this time I will definitely be able to break his steel skin. Jesus' eyes were full of murderous intent, a vengeance of broken arms, and he did not wear heaven together. He was a sniper, and after cutting off an arm, his head was a little worse. Some of the snipers are thousands of miles away. If it wasn't for that little devil last time, we would have laid the position of Emperor of the Sea a few months ago. That's right. The hundred beasts are no stronger than us. Kill him. 
The next time you go to war with the hundred beasts, you must pay a heavy price for both the little devil and the hundred beasts. The pirates discussed, and Beckman smoked a cigar at the bow of the ship, quietly waiting for the coming battle. Shanks, are you sure you can suppress Big Mama? Beckman asked. Ha ha ha, Beckman, don't you believe me? Even Kaido can't win me. The redhead laughed. Big Mama's soul fruit is not simple. She can become the Emperor of the Sea at the same time as Kaido, and her strength is definitely also a monster level. You must be careful not to be by Big Mum. Beckman had a calm face. We're going to win this time. The redhead has a determined look in his eyes and is very confident. He needed a fierce war to prove that he was not weaker than other Emperors of the Sea, and to completely establish himself in the highest position in the New World. The sea near the land of Wanaku. Yamato shouted at the bow of the Black Wing, We're finally back. I haven't had a fight with Kaido in a long time. This time I must beat Kaido to the ground. Yamato said as he waved his small fist. The pirates on the ship all twitched at the corners of their mouths, and sighed in their hearts. What a big filial party. Boss Kaido will be very happy after he knows it. Probably, should be happy. Rune Yuen wrapped her arms round her and stood at Yamato's side. Yamato, your hard strength is not enough. Yesterday's battle. If it were not for you restraining the dragon system, not an opponent at all. Yesterday, due to the addition of the plus, the ten blades were re-ranked. After the unsuccessful challenge to Ryoma, he set his sights on the second blade, Yamato. As a result, he was defeated by Yamato, who possessed the dragon beast Nemesis, and became the third blade. Kagom is also a dragon, restrained to death by Yamato's battle Tyrannosaurus beast form. If you want to defeat Yamato, you need to have the power of a far greater sum. Yamato had just been able to equal Kaido with the battle Tyrannosaurus beast form a few months ago, and now that his strength was even higher, how could he be Yamato's opponent? The guy got the third blade and my ranking dropped again. Rune Yuan was annoyed. Just steal the fun. Fortunately Wimble has not yet received the power given by the adults, otherwise your ranking will drop. Yamato sneaks a smile. Rune Yuan still wanted to say something, and suddenly found a ship in front of her. Jack's ship, Rune Yuan pointed into the distance. Chapter 125 I haven't seen the ship king in a long time. Suyu smiled. In the few months he had been out to sea, he didn't know how many artificial demon fruits he had harvested by the ship king. Pirates off the coast of Wanaku also found the Black Wing. That's it, Lord Suyu's pirate ship. Lord Suyu sailed back. If Lord Suyu had come back early, he wouldn't have let go of the troublemaker. That's right. After the guy made a big fuss on the ghost island, he actually managed to run away. If it wasn't for Lord Kaido leading the Carders to fight against the Whitebeard pirates, how could he let him run away after arrogance? Oh, it's a pity. The next time we meet, we must not spare that little ghost. When the Black Wing landed, Suyu heard the pirates talking. He beckoned to one of the pirates, Come here, Lord, you're looking for me. The pirate ran to the front of Suyu with a smile on his face. What happened? What are they talking about? Suyu asked. The pirate's face showed a hint of anger. Lord, you don't know. A few days ago, the Whitebeard pirates sank the transport ship of the Hundred Beasts, causing us to lose a batch of Heilishi cargo and lose a billion Baileys. When Boss Kaido heard the news, he took the lead in leading the Fire Disaster Boss and the Epidemic Boss and the Carders of the Hundred Beast Regiment to fight with Whitebeard. The day after they left, Pirate Supernova Fire Fist Ace broke into Ghost Island, clamoring to fight you and Boss Kaido. All the Carders went to fight the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment and the pirates left behind could not stop the Fire Fist Ace. After the Fire Fist Ace made a big fuss on the Ghost Island, he ran away and is currently missing. Suyu Ian remembered this plot, if he did not appear, Ace would meet Yamato on the Ghost Island, and the two would fight each other. He took Yamato with him, and Ace didn't meet Yamato. Now, if Yamato meets Ace, he can easily defeat Ace. Yamato's strength is not something she can compare with in the original book. As it turns out, Kaido is at war with Whitebeard, Suyu murmured. In the plot, Kaido also led the Carders of the Hundred Beasts Regiment out to fight, and there was no explanation of who the battle was with. If you think about it, the only forces that can make Kaido lead all the Carders into battle are the Navy and other Sea Emperors. It is impossible to go to war with a Navy on all sides, and Kaido's brain circuit is a bit strange, but it is definitely not stupid. When a single four Imperial Regiment encounters the Navy, the piece of armor that will definitely be killed will not be left. Then there are only the Big Mama Pirates and the Whitebeard Pirates and the Red-Haired Pirates. Big Mom can rule out, Kaido and Big Mom will fight when they meet, but there is no deep hatred, not desperate. Whitebeard and Redhead both have a vendetta against Kaido's, and the two sides have a good reason to go to war. Mitsuki Mita, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, was killed by Kaido. Whitebeard had long been upset with Kaido. If he hadn't been able to kill Kaido, he would have killed Kaido thousands of times. In the same way, Mita was also a member of Roger's pirate regiment, and it was reasonable for the Red Hair to attack the Hundred Beasts and avenge Mita. Jack's ship is here. What about the others? He wouldn't have lost to Fire Fist Ace, Suyu said in a deep voice. Ace is not yet armed and sighted, and is definitely not Jack's opponent. Jack's attack power is not strong, but the defense and vitality are outrageous. Even Fuji Tiger, 
Sengoku, and Crane were unable to slaughter Jack. There was a reason why they didn't give their full strength, and there was also a reason why Jack's vitality was strong. My lord, Jack is not on Ghost Island, and when he hears that Boss Kaido is at war with Whitebeard, he drives a small boat to the battlefield alone, and lets us escort the artificial demon fruit back first. Suyu looked at the treasure chest on the ground, and when he opened it, six artificial demon fruits came into view. Dover, this guy only gives six artificial demon fruits at a time. Suyu raised an eyebrow. This speed is too slow. When will I be able to form an army of artificial demon fruit abilities? The hundred beasts are not as rich as the world government and can study pacifists. In order to improve the overall strength of the hundred beasts, Artificial demon fruit is the fastest way. This is also the result of Lord Jack's strong request, which has always been five at a time. The pirate whispered, Dover, this guy, he must have kept the artificial demon fruit. So you said lightly, Yamato, you go with me to find Kaido, and the others stay. Yoma, you are in charge of guarding Ghost Islands and the Kingdom of Peace, and if the Navy and the red-haired pirate regiment dare to come, they will be destroyed. Before I return, Lucy and Aniru. You two obey Yoma's orders. Plus you take the Weaver and Katakuri to hand over the cleavage. Kanato and Runeyuan, you go and gather all the excellent shipbuilders in the country. Order after order was given, and the pirates had their own tasks. The pirates on Ghost Island looked at Yoma, Aniru, and Luchi doubtfully, and whispered, They guard Ghost Island and the Land of Peas? Just the three of them? Is it strong enough? It doesn't look strong. These three are all strange. They don't look like strong. Hearing their words, Batman shook his head, not to blame them for not believing. Without seeing their power, who would believe that the three of them had the strength to fight against the red-haired pirates. He didn't know Yoma's strength before, and a lot of trouble had happened. Don't underestimate the Ten Blades under Lord Suyu's command, that's a strong man that even Kapu can repel. Ten Blades? Was it created by Lord Suyu? The pirate on the Ghost Island asked curiously. That's right. The Ten Blades are made up of the most elite combatants under Lord Suyu. Every member has great power, look at that stupid big one. He once cut off one of the arms of former Admiral Zafer, who was a member of the Ten Blades. However, his specific ranking has not yet come out, and I don't know how many will be ranked, Batman said seriously. Sizzle Tilda. The pirates took a breath of cool air. Cut off one of former Admiral Zephyr's arms. Even if it is a former Admiral, it is a naval Admiral. It turned out to be the pinnacle of a sea. In the eyes of the sea thief, the other Lieutenant Generals in the Navy except for the alternate Admiral and Vice Admiral Carp were not worried. But no one is going to underestimate the Admiral. Really fake? He cut off one of Zephyr's arms? He looks like he has a bit of a problem with his head. Can he really cut off Zephyr's arm? The pirates were a little incredulous, and Wemble looked tall and big, and he was holding a large knife, which was very frightening. But scary appearance does not mean strength. The naval hero Carp is not tall, but the strength is scary. Batman had expected them not to believe it, and pointed to the diminutive man next to Wimble. Do you know him? Only then did the pirates notice the extra charge. Suddenly, one of the pirates exclaimed, General, Admiral, who? Who is the Admiral? The three admirals of the Navy are not as long as he is. Not the three admirals of the Navy, but the alternate admirals. He's an alternate admiral in the Navy. How did he get to Ghost Island? Hearing this, the pirates took up arms and aimed at the plus. Cold sweat came out of his forehead, dealing with a naval alternate general, ten deaths and nine lives. It was a being close to the top of the sea and its combat strength was so strong that it was not at all existence that the Firefist Ace could compare. All guns down. That's not the enemy, the Batman roared, shocking many pirates. He's an alternate admiral in the navy, how can he not be an enemy? The pirates shouted. Jirji has already joined the Hundred Beasts regiment. It is currently the 30th blade under Lord Suyu's command, Batman explained. Hearing Batman's explanation, the pirates put down their swords and guns suspiciously, but their eyes were still vigilant. Jirji rolled up his sleeves and revealed his simple three, look. I am already a member of the Hundred Beasts. The pirates on the Black Wing also explained the extras, which reassured the pirates. Ha ha ha. The Navy Alternate General joined us. The strength of the Hundred Beasts Regiment has increased greatly, and it will definitely be able to defeat Whitebeard and become the world's first Sea Thief Regiment. One of the pirates laughed and said, How can the Whitebeard Pirate Regiment be our opponent? Even the admirals of the Navy have joined us, and the Hundred Beasts will finally reach the top. Find the legendary treasure. Dot. Suyu so stood on top of Yamato's transformed battle Tyrannosaur beast, his hands wrapped around him, the wind blowing, and hunting in his clothes. Yamato, have you realized the ability to see who is a dragon? Suyu so said. My lord, it's a little bit worse. Hurry up and understand, or you won't be able to keep the position of the second blade. Suyu so said lightly. Yamato was able to press the head because of the dragon beast nemesis. Without dragon beast nemesis, Yamato is not yet an opponent of the plus. Rest assured, my lord, I will soon be able to understand. At that time. I will compete for the first place, Yamato said excitedly. Yoma has a dragon character in its name, she can restrain Yoma, very reasonable, 
Right, my lord, this time I'm going to challenge Kaido and snatch the captain's place. Make you the captain. Suyu smiled, he also had enough strength to walk to the front of the stage. Coupled with his ten blades, the overall power of the Hundred Beast Regiment was already super strong, becoming the first Imperial Regiment. It is not impossible to even recreate the prestige of Locks. One Piece, boring game, the title of Overlord of the Sea I took first, Suyu said lightly. At that time, Locks was the Overlord of the Sea. Locks' goal is not to become One Piece, but to be the King of the World. Suyu and Locks have the same ambitions, but Locks failed, and Suyu would not fail. He knew how strong the world government was, and before there was not enough strength, Suyu would not show all his strength. The defenses of the Kingdom of Peace are too weak to stop even a Fire Fist Ace and we must find a way to stop the little pirates from breaking into the land of peace. So you thought of a person, Aquaman, Poseidon, White Star Princess. Snatch her up and let her summon the Sea King to lurk in the sea near the land of Washinoku, and when an inexplicable pirate approaches the Kingdom of Peace, he will let the Sea King class overturn his pirate ship. The daughter island where the female emperor is located is in the Windless Belt, and because there are huge Neptunes in the Windless Belt, the average pirate ship cannot approach the daughter island. Save Daughter Island from the risk of being attacked by a large number of pirates. Wanokino is not in the Windless Zone, but he creates an environment similar to the Windless Zone. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.